Hello and welcome to the TPK Adventure Campaign. This is a uh, Shadows Hello of and welcome to the Adventure. TPK Adventure Campaign. Um, this yeah, is a, I mean, I, I'm super excited to see what's going on. I have TPK Adventure Campaign. Um, so yeah. Let me just mute that and restart. That was terrible. Um, whatever. We'll carry on. We'll go in. Uh, before we delve into details of the actual adventure, um, let's uh, go around and introduce ourselves. My name is Tom Pickering. I'm going to be role-playing such things as wolves, farmers, and maybe the moss on the walls as the game master. Um, so yeah, let's go from top to bottom here. First up is going to be Mr. Fiddlebottom, aka Taylor. How about you give a quick introduction who you are and who you'll be playing? I am just a lowly UK Counter-Strike player and I'll be playing Fiddlebottom. Smooth. And I'm a druid. Um, very secret one. And I guess do find out more after. Oh, very mysterious. Well, let's move on and let's go to your brother, Figglebottom. Hey, I'm uh, I'm Oscar. Playing my name is Figglebottom, the younger brother of Fiddlebottom. I'm a uh, a thirty-year-old kind of young adult, uh, teenage uh, forest gnome, about two foot tall, and um, he is a ranger. And you'll find out more as uh, as the campaign goes on. Awesome. And what about the one and only Flair, aka Damp? Hello. I am Big Damp, but today I am Flair. Uh, you might know me from my catchphrase, I am flaring right now. And I have a bow because I am a ranger. I hunt stuff, I go into the forest, I live amongst the trees. Uh, nature is my vibe. I have a dead dad, that's all you need to know. <laughs> Just a just a casual uh, trauma drop there. Absolutely love it. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> wouldn't stuff. be a <laughs> wouldn't be a D and D session without a dead dad. Uh, next up is going to be Halden Saint. How are you doing, mate? It's been a while. Uh, a very very long time ago, I was a PUBG commentator slash amateur competitive player. Neither of which works. So now I work in a nine to five. Um, but that is where I know Tom from. And in terms of my character, I'm playing Halden, who uh, goes by Hal. For sure, my character. I'm playing Halden, a very, uh, let's say, unassuming and amateurish farmhand. He is not really known for anything, no skills in particular. Uh, but the one thing he is known for is being from the Proctor family, who are devout followers of the god Durandel, um, who is the god of uh, compassion and suffering. So his father uh, often runs the uh, funerals and the burials of people that die in the village. Uh, and his mother is a, a healer. She's in, um, yeah, by no means a doctor, but she does some some folk healing with you know, herbs and and potions. So he's taken some some skill uh, from that. But he's a lot of uh, inspiration from his god. He's a very devout follower. Very nice. Uh, he's and... a paladin as well. I should, I should add that. <laughs> yeah. Although he doesn't know that yet. Yeah. So we. we... I'll, I'll get into it in a bit, but everyone's going to be level one. But they'll be kind of you know playing off of that there, just lowly villagers. Onwards though. Let's carry on. Uh, Malachi, is that is that how I say it correctly? Yeah. Right, so, um, my name is Minimoz. I'll be playing Malachi Ravenhurst, who is the village weirdo. He's seen some things, he is traumatized, and he is not very well off. He's a poor, poor man. Yeah, like, like most of the town as well, uh, or village rather, to be very specific, a hamlet. Um, next up, the one and only Slimkins, a.k.a. Mr. Theo. Hello there. Yes, I'm James Slimkins, and I'm going to be playing Theo Hogsvale. He is a, a halfling pig farmer in the village, um, and he's uh, sort of well known to be the butt of the joke for everyone, uh, despite his cheery demeanor about the whole thing. Um, he's, he's never really... Uh, he wouldn't, you know, kill a fly. He's uh, harmless. Harmless. Well, tell you what, <laughs> harmless is what you're going to be going up against. But good, awesome. I, I love it. That was uh, that was fantastic. Um, aside from a little bit of tech hiccups from myself for getting to mute Twitch whilst I'm on there, absolute dumbass me. Uh, yeah, awesome. We are going to have a break halfway or thereabouts halfway through, which will be about 15 minutes. Um, there'll just be music in the background. Um, but otherwise, it's going to be going on for about sort of three to four hours. Um, I imagine four hours. Um, in our main campaign that uh, Oscar uh, or Flame uh, plays in, we've got about 58 sessions in, and for a while we were averaging at six hours a session with max of eight hours or even more. It was ridiculous. 
Um, I've pushed it down now to about four to five hours <laughs> trying to get there. But either way, uh, that's... Um, what else have we got listed here? Blah, 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 blah. Perfect. So, the adventure we're delving into is Shadows of Thistledale. Um, how long could this be? Could be one session, could be more. Really depends on what happens in the session, how everyone feels. Um, I think it may well carry on. Um, really depends on what happens at the end of this. It's going to be a bit spicy. I've had a few friends who I kind of hinted at um, what this story is about. Uh, and they tried to do a lot of guessing, but none of them were even close. The party going to be starting at level 1, like I mentioned, using the experience-based system, which is actually my first time doing a pure uh, experience-based system. I usually do a combination of both uh, hybrid system. Um, but this is where, essentially, combat and non-combat encounters um, will gain you experience, or the player's experience, and which will be split across the whole party. So you have the total amount at the end of the combat, which will then be split across everyone. Um, so, for example, if you kill a uh, monster that gives 100 e XP, then essentially everyone will get 17 XP because it's rounded to the uh, the closest whole number. Um, and then, yeah, level 2 requires 300 experience totals. So keep that in mind. Um, there is a chance, very small, um, that we'll see a level up in this session, but I don't think so. Um, maybe at the end. For the first one to three levels, players will instantly get the benefits uh, once it's all uploaded onto Foundry, which is the platform we will be using. Um, but after that... Uh, essentially it will be a long rest requirement um, for it as well and that may change it might be that i say that you actually have to go through a full seven day down period of uh collecting yourself going through a few different parts uh, there's also not, not going to be any multi-classing throughout this campaign there might be a few other perks and abilities i do a lot of home brewing so we will see where we get with this especially as this is a fully home brewed world uh, including own pantheon that i have put together need to fill out more uh, the amount of writing i've done in the past like two days is absolutely fucking insane um, I run a mix of players, uh, plays of style, styles of play rather. Um, but ultimately, ha having fun is what matters. Um, although I do like logic, which is kind of counterbalancing sometimes. But ideally, if you want to try and do something really cool, be creative with it. Tell me how you're going to do it, and that would be great. Uh, I also run and like I do use inspiration, and at the start of every session, usually I get someone um, from the party to do a little bit of a recap. Um, that's not really possible this time round. Um, so I will be getting the group to essentially play off rollies, which will be essentially a roll in a 1d20, and whoever gets highest will get a point of inspiration for the for that specific session, which is essentially the ability to be able to re-roll, uh, well, do another roll whenever you do like any like skill checks or saving throws, attack rolls. You can use it after you've rolled or before, but you have to then use the new roll. Any questions from my players? They won't shake their heads, but they nope. they're not on camera. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'm all good. I'm all caught up. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's dive into everything here. So I'll do a quick transition. Ba -da -ba uh, and you should now on stream see a nice, lovely backdrop here of the village. Some sheep. Some little bit weird looking sheep as well at points. But um, actually, anyway. Tom, uh, do people need to be in that ambience? channel oh there's only you two are of completely us right i'm an idiot oh. but for all the players if you could quickly go and click on the watch together link in the, the uh links channel we have got audio and that is where we're going to be using it uh, music wise talking of which oh. it has actually just stopped so yes it did <laughs> that is perfect timing yeah <laughs> Let me just switch over to this one, which will be fitting a little bit for this next part. <clears throat> yeah, once you're in there, give me a thumbs up. Looks like we're all in, I think. Yeah. I think I'm in. Usernames would be useful, but if you haven't, then that's fine. Um, cool. Yeah, that is 70 yeah, people. Quick math. All right. Everyone is there. That is good. Glorious. Now we're in. You've got that. First off, let's just get it out of the way. Let's get the first roll of the campaign uh, in here. So if everyone can go and roll a, a 1d20 in the chat on the right-hand side for me. Um, if you just type in slash r 1d20 or you can click the little dice which indicates a d20. So we've got 15 from Howden. 17 from Malachi. Uh, 13. That's a oh, private thanks. roll though. Yes, yeah, apologies. Oh, three from flat. 
Unlucky. So we've got um, two others need to go. See, I'm clicking it. Oh, do I have to type it? After? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you're twice, that's fine. Your first roll was a natural one. <laughs> <Taylor. Damn. laughs> oh dear. And then, that's right, you got you got rid of it 14. already. So it's Malachi. Oh, you have it? a point of inspiration. Victory is mine. <laughs> Victory is yours. Uh, if you go to your character sheet in the top left near your portrait, you can click uh, the dice icon there, which will then glow. That will indicate that you have a point of inspiration. If you're using the right, if you're using the uh, Special sheet. Ah, scene. Yep, got it. Got it. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. So essentially, uh, you'll be able to use. Do you, do you know? Do you know what inspiration is? Do you want me to re-explain? Re uh, pretty much just a re-roll of a bad roll, right? Yeah. So you get to roll another dice whenever you're doing a check. It's essentially advantage, but I treat it very much like luck, where you can use it after the fact. But unlike luck, you have to use the new dice. Um, yeah. Also, if you want to do something super cool that is just a little bit nuts, um, you'll be able to use that inspiration dice to be able to try and boost that at times. I might be like, use this inspiration dice to be able to do that. Also, if you if you do really creative and awesome things, I might well just reward you with the inspiration point as well as we go, just because it's a, a way of being able to enable and cool a play. Uh, and that's what it's all about. Have some fun. Anyway, moving on in. We've been all through that. If any questions come up, obviously let me know. And in chat, if you want to know anything, let us, uh, let us know. Type in chat. Abby in chat has played a decent chunk as well with me, or probably about 10 sessions or so, so she'll know and be able to answer some questions. Anyway, let's get into the scene. <clears throat> in the heart of a mystical Eldarian realm, nestled amidst enchanting glades, lies the quaint village of Thistledale, a humble hamlet its modest homes and meandering lanes tell a tale of resilience against the whims of fate. Here, ordinary lives intertwine with the magic of Bloomtide. Bloomtide being the actual springtime. Craft an existence born from uh, the Earth's bounty. For Thistledale, life has been a quiet melody. Each villager a note in a harmonic symphony of everyday existence. The sunsets paint a warm hue over makeshift homes, revealing the scars of economic hardship etched into the village's hard landscape. In the rhyme of Thistledale's daily life, the villagers, millers, weavers, shepherds, and herbalists find solace in their communal struggles, embracing a peaceful existence defined by meager means. However, the serenity that once cradled Thistledale has been disrupted. A shadow has fallen across the village, haunting the glades and tarnishing the simplicity of its daily routine. For the past week, a relentless pack of wolves have emerged from the shadows and terrorizing the villagers and laying waste to their cherished livestock, such as sheep, a pig, and uh, a few cows. The pastoral tranquility that defined Thistledale now quivers in the face of this predatory menace. The meadows, once a haven of serenity, echo with the desperate cries of the villagers. Their peaceful, impoverished lives now stand at the precipice of uncertainty as the howls of the shadows, shadow wolves pierce the night, leaving behind a chilling reminder of the imminent threat. In the lumen darkness, a whispered urgency emerges. The villagers of Thistledale must unite, not as warriors or heroes, but as common folk, bound by the thread of their shed, shared existence. The struggle for survival unfolds, weaving a tale where ordinary lives must confront extraordinary shadows. The journey begins in the shadows of Eldoria, where the destiny of Thistledale hangs in the balance, entwined with the enigmatic forces that govern the realm. Whew, all right, that was a bloody lot. Now, as a bird swoops down into the village, it's fairly early morning, around 7 a.m. We pan into the village square, where there is a group of around 50 people shouting and pumping their fists in the air. Some with pitchforks and others with makeshift clubs. A couple with bows and arrows. At the center of the people stands an individual on top of a small raised platform. Ropes dangling behind them. This person is someone in the village that everyone knows. But, 
a rather dashing blonde-haired farmer who was usually busy claiming his sheep produce is the uh, produce the best wool in town, all of which are now dead, slaughtered by the pack of wolves. Bert clears his throat <coughs> and shouts above the noise of the crowd. All right, Thistledale, here's the plan. We're not waiting for those wolves to come back to us. We're taking the fight to them. Split into two groups, one heading down the northeastern trail in the Mistwood Forest, and the other down the northwestern trail. Now, I know what you're thinking, but you've never fought wolves be heart before. <laughs> well, you're right. But who better to navigate these glades than the ones who tended to them all their lives? But grins with a touch of cockiness, exuding a farmer's confidence in his ability to handle land. But again, you can see a little bit of, uh, you know, fear in his eyes. All those of you with me, we're forging ahead. Keep your eyes peeled. And if, if you see those wolves, don't, don't be shy. Let them, let them know Thistledale's coming to mess with them. Make sure to blow one of the safety trumpets to let us know you've been you found the wolves. Together we'll corner those wolves and bring an end to this menace. Thistledale, let's show what we're made of. Onward, my friends, to the Mistwood Forest. And there's a big cheer around the village square. And I'll just quickly switch this as I should have done it already. There you go. There's a big cheer around the village square, and that goes about splitting the groups. You will end up in group A. Along, alongside Bert. He turns around and is going to ask the group which trail you guys want to take. Uh, <laughs> north. North, north, northeast. Northeast. Yes. It was northwest, wasn't it? Northeast, northwest. or northwest. Oh, well, they're both north. Oh, Christ. A, a, a little two foot gnome in leather armor and. Two pouch, two leather skin pouches, seemingly filled with rocks, proclaims, "Let's go to the forest. The forest. That's where they are." Yes, but which part of the forest? Yes, 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 yes. We'll track them down. I know those forests like the back of my hands. And lead the way. Uh, okay. Which, which route did you say? One the of the one forest, forest. forest. <laughs> so you have the north e uh, northeastern <laughs> trail and you have the northwestern trail. You're essentially going to be going, traveling yeah. north. Um, so if I quickly just switch us back to the uh, landing page, which I know Twitch have actually not seen, on the right hand side, you can actually see a little bit of a terribly drawn map by some ranger um, here, just to <laughs> give a, little, a general overview. <laughs> and the forest essentially where it says danger, that is where you're going to be heading. <laughs> Uh, through the glades and uh, up into a couple of different paths and heading northwards. Uh, a few a few different uh, trails there. A yeah, very large pine forest. I say west. We go with the sun behind our backs. Okay. West. Yes, west. West could work. Yes. Right. West. Burnt nods. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a smart choice, that is. Um... Now, you're part of a group of 21 people currently. Uh, they're in their bouts. Um, the whole group is made up of villagers. None of none of you, none of them are combat trained. Some of you, you know, have some weapons and have been hunting, uh, you know, local wildlife. Some of you have family who previously helped keep wolves and other such things at bay. Um, but these guys, uh, the rest of them definitely don't really have that quiet sort of connection, but they've done their best. They came here prepared, bringing a few different things. Some are only equipped with torches, others with spears, with unlight, unlit torches on them as well. Um, you do actually have, and I'll just actually switch this review right back to this for now. Um, you do have an option actually to get a couple of different items if you so wish. Um, there's a, essentially a table, uh, a cart run by uh, just a, sort of an individual, a, a couple of um, older gentlemen and a few children as well who've essentially spent the night trying to prepare a couple of different things, uh, including there's some pouches of uh, sand that could be potentially used to throw at uh, creatures' eyes or people's eyes to try and blind them uh, temporarily. There's nets, there's uh, oil flasks that you could try to throw at individuals and set them alight. Um, there's also some uh, pit trap sort of kits, something like a, a shovel and a few other bits if you want to do some preparation and trap some things into them as well. 
and essentially it's like pit traps uh you'd have to go in through and dig a sort of a concealed uh pit and there'll be a few checks behind that as well um and then if creatures or anyone falls in them they'll take 1d6 bludgeon damage per 10 10 feet they fall and extra damage if there's i don't know like acid at the bottom of the pit or spikes fire whatever um there's also pitchforks uh there's also a couple of slings they're kind of very rustic slings nothing like uh the likes of one of our rangers has there's also what they like to call torch spears which essentially does a mix of piercing and fire damage uh, and might well set uh, a creature alight um, there's also some whips so I don't know if any of you want to pick up anything extra, and if you haven't already got some food on you, some I rations. Think I will go ahead and grab an oil flask if they have one, and also the torch spear. <laughs> oh. I'll grab those two items and stow them away discreetly. <laughs> All right, there you go. I'll... Oh no, I won't be taking any weapons. I'll just be coming along to make sure that everyone else is all right. Uh. <laughs> You know, I'll just... I'll, I'll bring more food, actually. That's a good idea, yeah. All right. I'll take Boys. five rations, please. And they uh, wrap up a few bits in um, some cloth, uh, a couple of uh, bits of bread, um, try and, like... And some, like, trail mix, essentially. It's nothing, anything crazy. Um, yeah. But they Dried have... meat and nuts and fruit and stuff. <laughs> yeah, and there's a few different options, so you'll be able to take what, what you prefer. But um, you should already have some in your inventory, if I'm right in saying. You can just add on yeah. an extra five. And also, we are using the encumbrance system. Um, so, keep in mind, if you go above the first bar in your inventory, it's like Flair, for example, you're currently technically encumbered. Um, which means oh your speed will slow down slightly. Oh my, oh dear. Mm. Um, and if you go all the way to the very end of that bar, you'll be very encumbered, which means like <laughs> your speed will over half um, and a few other effects will happen, and you essentially have to make some constitution checks to be able to carry on over any sort of real distance. So, um, oh shit, I think I'm already encumbered as well then. Yes. Uh, I, feel, I think you're fine. Uh, it's not the first bar. So there's the first bar, and oh. then there's the second one. Yeah, uh, the second one. The okay. second oh, yeah, one is the right, one you then. need to keep an eye on. So, for that, you're, I think, over by 0 0.2 pounds. Yeah. I am encumbered. Oh, we can't hear you. Your mic is muted, my dude. Oh my god! <laughs> I was muted this whole time. I was just like, okay, I'm gonna drop these two hand axes I have on me. Uh, I don't think they'll be very useful if anyone else wants them. Go for it. Um, and for everyone, there's a little lock on the top right um, above some of your items. If you click that, it'll then turn red. Uh, you can then edit your items and remove them by right-clicking on them. Uh, just uh, It's locked just in case. Um, you, can do, you can leave it off if you want, but it's up to you. Uh, yeah. How much did my rations cost? Uh, oh. Nothing. This is all. Free. Oh, oh, this, sweet. This is, this is yeah. just the village. Yeah. These are just the villages. You as best they can. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Um, how, so are we how saying many... um, the two brackets are those two thresholds you're on about? No, no, no. So mm -hmm. the the very first bracket is just you're fine. Second bracket, once that's filled up, you're encumbered, and then once it reaches the very end of that bar, you're heavily encumbered, uh, and there'll be con big consequences. I'm just squeezing past the second bracket. How much? Yeah. How heavy is the whip? Uh, I will how tell do... you. Sorry, I need to figure out how to. I'd imagine extremely light. To be honest. Three pounds. Yes. Three pounds. Yeah. Okay, I'll pick up the whip as well. All right, add it to your inventory. Um, not who how many? I'm not picking anything up ever. Do I see <laughs> on this table? At least, like a dozen. How big is a pouch of sand? Um, is it like palm sized or? Yes, larger? it weighs uh, half a pound. Uh, I will take five pouches of sand five, and put okay. them in my backpack. You see, uh, as, as you take them, there's uh, this little kid who looks very happy, who has just been filling these up with uh, oh. cut, like <laughs> essentially just some like dirt and such. Um, and if you have a quick look in there, you can see there's like some horse manure and stuff flicked in there Perfect. as well. Dried horse manure. Um, I'll blind the wolf with these for you. Are you going to be sticking with that voice? I will respect you if you do. Yeah, I'm going to try. <laughs> All right. I'll if uh, yes, if you're struggling with the weight of your uh, your gear, let me carry the burden of the food. Yes, good um, idea. I'm a strong man with a big backpack. <laughs> Gives food. <laughs> Lots of food. of food. All the food. <laughs> How much do you have? Uh, like, if you take it out of your inventory, I'll add it to mine. Yeah, so I will give leave myself with one day's worth of food and give you whatever's left of the table, which I can happily take without people getting too greedy 
I mean, giving me the evil eye. Should I say five days? Was it? No, I can. Yeah. Uh, what was? The, I, I think you said five, Tom, right? Yeah, it was five. Um, minimize. You are. Yeah, you're exceptionally above. Yeah. Moment. I'm pretty um, sure it's because I've got a chest in my backpack. <laughs> what? <laughs> which is 25 pounds, which I have no idea. Yeah, let me go and delete that. Um, unless you want to carry a chest with you. I'll, I mean, you can if you want. No, no thanks. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is impressive. <laughs> there we go. That's Removed. freed me up a bit. Do uh, I change the I amount also, of charges? Is that how it works? I don't think I need 13 torches either. Uh, so... You can, yeah, you Would can you like remove to, uh, some torches if you want. Uh, each torch lasts an hour. Um, do you want to pass me a few? Oh. Do you have? Yeah. Oh. If you want to take thirty, uh, ten torches, I can give you ten torches. Maybe not ten. I'll take five. You will take five, and I'll just leave five stuck in the ground. Yeah, there's uh, how do uh, I... not 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 charges. Uh, so there's a okay, there's so the name, and then there's the uh, number next to the name. If you change that amount. Yeah. Oh yeah, so, I, so where it says two, I should go to seven. Okay. Can I also give you a few torches, like two or three? But if I just carry five total, and then you will leave the rest behind. Ah. Uh, we'll be okay. Okay. Right. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, so I've. Given I've got five. ten torches as well. I think we'll be yeah. all right. Yeah. Um, how do I Enough. add torches to my inventory? Do you not have any at the moment? No, no, I don't. Have... Okay, let me sort that out for you. Do I do? Do I go to the? Compendium thing, right? Uh, I've just done it for you. I do not need two crowbars, thank you very much. Yeah, you Does anybody want a crowbar? <laughs> anybody want a crowbar? And Does anybody want a hammer? I have a hammer. Very I just keep... Just, I, I can just carry some random store if you want me to. Stuff that that might be useful, though. We have two hammers and two crowbars. Yes, yes, yes. We want oh. to give one away. We don't mm. need two. Why did we have two? All right, I'll, I'll take a crowbar. I don't mind a crowbar. And I think my hammer will suffice. You're very strange. Why do you have two crowbars? Why do I have two hammers? We don't know, but we do. Strange, man! Yes. Just, um, I guess for, like, background here, Malachi, whereabouts in the village do you tend to live? Far away. In not so much as a house, but more of a ruin. Just but I've out come there. across these ruins before, Tom, do you think? <laughs> I presume we all know each other, right? Yeah, I'd... would you be walking around town much? Uh, I'll be, yeah, walking around, muttering to himself. Yeah, I'd say... Quite a lot. Yeah, you'd all know of Malachi. He's always just been a bit of a fucking weirdo. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> not like a dangerous weirdo, just someone who, you know, keeps themselves mostly... Aside from when they're talking to themselves as they travel to, through town and pick up some food and do other bits. Um, and I imagine for Malachi, what, what is the reason that you're wanted to help the village here? Because my dreams keep on telling me I need to. Oh, okay. And they won't stop. All right. They just don't stop. Every night. The same <laughs> thing. Every night. Interesting. Okay. Um, um, I, I think I would probably know Malachi quite well, given my, my family's religion and commitment to helping probably the most destitute people of the community so i presume i'm, I'm fairly well acquainted with them. <laughs> it depends i mean if you if he came around knocking on your door which is framed by uh well it has like a, a frame around the door but then there's just like a hole in the left hand side of it and you could just walk straight past if he came around knocking would you how would you how would malachi have had reacted to that um in the terms of generally, ooh, new person, hello person, yes, oh, hello, it is you. How are you doing there, Hal? Did you bring more food? Yes, warm food. Always. Cold night. Cold night. I can always do what I can. Yes, that's why we like you, Hal, you kind person. Awesome. Um, yeah, so you, there, there is definitely this um, village view on he, he's a village weirdo um harmless friendly enough not to be too much of a, of a concern but definitely uh, out there a little bit of a of a wild one so is there anything else you guys are wanting on the town no <laughs> i want to go for a walk and uh i, I would say actually um 
<laughs> as a point of uh, interest. As you guys sort of start gathering up, the other party have already uh, started to leave, and they sort of say their goodbyes to a few individuals. Um, there's a pair of oh, um, a husband and a husband who sort of um, brace hat, like put their heads together, give a kiss, and they, they end up sort of breaking away and walking off in two separate directions. <laughs> one with just the first group, and one with the second. Um, a pair of that they tend to work on the farms, just shearing sheep. Um, during the times of the year which that happens, I can't quite remember when. Uh, it's spring at the moment, um, bloom tide is what it's called in this setting. Um, and similar to our real world, that is when the lambs essentially come flopping out. Um, and that is kind of what attracted the wolves. But amongst your group of other villagers, because um, it's not just you, there is also someone that you would all kind of know about because he is someone who's heavily appreciated. It's actually Oscar the Beekeeper. Um, and he has actually gathered um, a couple of... Um, essentially, he, he's uh, gone out of his way to get a bunch of hornets together. He loves his bees. He's not going to do anything with them. But he's also got a couple of hornet bombs, essentially. Uh, <laughs> where... <gasps> People are staying their distance away from him because he's got this loud buzzing I sound. I would love a hornet bomb. I have like <laughs> an 18 in hand animal handling. I got this. This is epic. Bee grenades! Bee it's, grenades. it's essentially that. So essentially, okay. uh, I, I mean, I'll add it to your inventory in a moment. Um, but and I'll it, drop something else. It's it's very wild um, on, on this. It weighs a pound, so I don't know if you will have to drop anything. Okay. Um, just give me another torch. He doesn't have a crazy <laughs> amount of them. I just taken out all and my torches. Has, yeah, he only has three of them. Um, so do you go up to him, to him and ask him for one? Yes, I. Uh, he knows my dad, of course. You know, they're very close friends. Uh, I'm like, hello, good, good man. Uh, I would love one of your bee bombs. <laughs> me oh. too. Well, I mean, they're they're not bee bombs. They're they're hornets. Wouldn't okay. wouldn't throw bees. Hornets though. Sorry, my 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 apologies. <laughs> Even better though. Sure. Um, I've got three. Um, sure, I, I can I can give out two of them. Uh, okay. Figure bottom. Um, I mean, you both know the the woods, but be careful if you fall over. Uh, the, the the casing could crack, and we could be um be in trouble. Do you also have any uh extra you know bees lying around that might like you know are friendly would make great pets? <laughs> Stares at Good you. Good to fight along. Uh, bees fighting along. I mean, if you can't... yeah, like a swarm, a good, a good old hive st swarm. Oh no, I mean they're they're all back at back at my yard. Um, and just definitely giving you a bit of like a weird stare. Like, I would love to try to like tame these bees if I can. <laughs> <laughs> are you saying that to Oscar, or are you say it? To yes, me? Okay. I mean to both. You both hear it. <laughs> As he's fuming at the fact that he just keeps calling him bees. No, oh, I mean, <laughs> no, 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 I mean so hornet, he, hornet. He's got hornet bombs, right. essentially hornet nests. Oh um, yes, okay. And then he's got bees, but he's okay, very so I'd like to tame the bees specifically. Uh, okay, uh, I, I don't know how I feel about that to be honest. Uh, so you know what? Are you still in his job? Roll a, roll a persuasion check. Okay, what should I roll? What die? What do I do? Uh, so if you go to your sheet. <laughs> okay. Um, and then in attributes on the first tab. Yes. Uh, you can and see I click your persuasion. skills. Yeah, persuasion. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah, let's see. Uh, oh, wait, hold oh, on. Uh, normal, correct? Yep, normal. All right, three, two, one, bam. Oh. Ten. Ten, okay. Fourteen. Fourteen mm. total is quite a lot, but this is his living. This is someone who okay. loves his bees. This is what brings him popularity within the, uh, within the village as well. He's the guy with the honey. But he um, did know, he did know my dad. They were very close. Did know your dad <laughs> he was like, indeed. He said he'll take care of me when you know my dad passed away. It's, it's a whole thing. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> well dear, um, <laughs> I, I don't think the time is appropriate now. But perhaps when we get back to village. Okay. Okay. Uh, when we get I'm back to it. village, and there's definitely like a local concern. But I will say, if you both survive and you come back. You can certainly try okay. and speak to some bees. <laughs> I like this. I like this. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, you can have Eric the Eric the bee maybe one day. Um, Lovely. Eric the eye the bee. It's <laughs> probably maybe one person who would get that. Um, all right. So, 
Uh, I think I added that to your inventories. Can you just confirm? Because I got a bit distracted there. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> yes, let me yeah. see. I don't think I did, actually. So. Yeah, I don't have it. He's trying to find a crowbar as well, but I couldn't I find know. it. Oh, I can I can add that to your list. Thanks. Uh, who was that? Me, Slim. Slim, all right. Mr. Theo. Theo, sorry, yes. <laughs> oh, that's me with my little crowbar. Yeah, you're going to have to... At least I need to, I don't know, open some boxes or something of more food yeah. while we're out there. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> crowbar. All right. There we go. I've added one to your inventory. I will open it up so you guys will be able to search through all the items as well, but... Um, I don't know, I'll have to think about that because there's a bunch of stuff in there which I don't want you guys to see. So, spells is fine, but items is a little bit different. Uh, but it would make my life easier, so, hmm. questions, questions. Onwards and upwards, so you guys have decided to go to the northwest. You've finished preparing yourselves. You're setting off a little bit later. It's 7 a.m. Uh, when this meeting had kind of come together. By the time it finished, it was about 10 minutes past. It's now coming up close to actually half past 7. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a walking journey up through the glades and up into uh, the, the forest in the first place. So, I'm going to ask, who wants to lead and guide all the way up into the forest? I think one of the people with the forest experience, no? <laughs> yeah, I do have a Not good survival experience. If you, if you need a guide, I can do that. Biggle's always up for one. Biggle knows the way. We trust him. I know the way! So I prefer the forest, yes. though! I, I will say... Uh, either you can... Uh, help, or you can do one roll. And, like, won't, like... Tell me which one of you is going to be leading this charge, and you'll make the survival check with advantage with the help of the other. Flair, you do it! Your dad will be proud! Okay. Kill those wolves! Sure, sure, sh yes. <laughs> I can't take you seriously with that voice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I love it personally. I love the uh, commitment no, it's good, it's uh... good. Uh, So do I roll, or what do? I, what should uh, yeah. I do? So roll a survival check. If you okay. Go to sheet. My sheet. I go. With advantage. And ooh, you know. I have a plus five. Lovely. Yeah, and so with advantage. the advantage button. Okay. Plus five. Ooh, all right. Right. That is solid. Ones. No. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> no, 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 nine. that is pretty good. And so along this way as well, who is going to be keeping an eye out? Who, if they, if I don't know, maybe the wolves are going to intersect you and come and rip your throats out. My guy's not particularly perceptive, but he would, I think, always try and stay either near the front or near whoever he thinks is the weakest. Um, so if that's not near the like, if if there's some old people in our group, for example, then he'd be near the back. Uh, roll an insight check for me. He's crap at that as well. <laughs> um. Oh no! Oh, I told you wow. he's crap at it. <laughs> I told you he's wow. bad at it. <laughs> I, 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 I have two dice on my desk that I rolled until I hit ones, thinking I could get it out of the way. <laughs> like Little that. did you roll the digital <laughs> yeah, dice. The <laughs> so oh. you decide to just keep an eye on Malachi. You 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 stay close to him. Makes sense. All the other villagers, yeah. they're fine. Malachi? Oh, I don't know. That's a little bit wild. Um, and he's so, a bit yeah, twitchy. Sense, anyway, considering I know him. <laughs> he's a bit twitchy, <laughs> looking <laughs> around. <laughs> <laughs> who, who wants to make a perception check to keep an eye on your surroundings as you're making this uh, first part of the journey? Sure. I'm, I'm very perceptive as I, well. You, I you cannot. You are, <laughs> oh, I cannot? Okay. You did the survival check. Okay. I can try. I can't, yeah. as he helped. All right, I, all right. I've got a plus two. All right. I'll give it a go. Go Ooh. for it. Yeah, he's, I'll help the old man look around at the back. Go for it. Go, random dice roll. A solid six. Uh, roll another one, you got advantage. Oh, we got advantage, come on. Thanks to Theo saving your bacon there. It's going to be worse, isn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great. It's not great. <laughs> All right. Uh, seven. <laughs> seven for a total of nine. That's not that great, I'm not going to lie. But, so mm. you're going to be making an absolutely fantastic progression here because that, what was it a total of 15 on your survival check absolute bang and you guys know this um this area very well luckily it's probably not going to be all that dangerous what you do see along the way but they do kind of surprise you is actually just a uh, a skittering of um actual just rabbits that just run across your path 
uh, probably about five of them who head off into a roaring which probably flair you know of um but i think for you figure i don't think you'd potentially know as you're more of the forest focused indiv individual um on that front but so there's nothing too dangerous on this front luckily at this point it doesn't seem like the wolves are uh, out to get you this far in uh, and you do actually make it in pretty good time because being able to roll that 15 it's only going to take you about one and a half hours uh to get up there so let me just go and make sure i update that on my side as well also yeah it's the third day of the month as well in the, the first month of spring uh so it is now it was half seven so it is now nine o'clock uh, and you come to the edge of the woods and you've specifically managed to guide the the group there flare to the right trail start um you know that this one you're gonna be able to go pretty far on it but then you're likely gonna have to break away because it just ends uh, at a stream essentially um and then you're gonna have to go on foot and try to go via other means essentially but you'll be making survival checks with advantage if this is uh, your favorite terrain whoever's going to take the lead on this uh who no, wants to go through this there's going to be a little bit more of a navigational challenge on this front it's the start of the forest right yeah okay during the walk as we went got up here figure would go hey flair yes <laughs> What was your dad's name? Uh, you know, he was the most well-known man in the village. The folk hero. The classic. He yeah, was what called was the his classic. name? The classic. I met him a few times. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. Have you- He's a had... nice man. Mm. Yeah. Boss. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Thanks for making me think about my dead dad. Very cool of you. What? <laughs> if we... He- It just gets really awkward. <laughs> He was good at killing the wolves. Yeah, he trained me really well. So I think we'll be fine. Was we he buried them. in the village? Um, the, uh, I think he has like a giant statue in the in the village that he's buried under. I imagine that's what that would entail. <laughs> so I'd assume my dad probably did the uh, yeah the funeral. Oh wow! Okay, so we're like interconnected. Mm. You were there, right, Flair? The funeral. Hmm. I mean, no, I was watching from, like, the treetops, but I, I was there, in a sense. It was okay. very sad. Yes, everybody's good at killing, till they're not. <laughs> then they're bad. All right. Okay. I'm going to look for tracks. You're going to look for <laughs> tracks. Um, so what I am actually going to ask for is a group check here. So if I can get everyone to roll a survival check for me. Do I get advantage? With advantage and or if, if you're... Forest. If you're forest, if, you, if you've got favorite terrain, forest... Um, you can roll with advantage. Oh, this is just a D20. Wow. A D20. Oh. Well, yeah, if you look in... So if you go to your skills... I'll take that. You can roll the one <laughs> oh, and so the three. Just click survival. Yeah, <laughs> click survival and then click normal. Oh, dear. That's right. The forest gotcha. is mine. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I've got an idea. <laughs> We're not great at this, are we? Oh, but I do have a... <laughs> I'm not a survivor. A couple are all right. Okay, and let me see. Me, me and Figle are gone. Yes, yes, we do. You should both, you should both disappear. <laughs> gone forever. Let me do a roll. Then they're just following each other's tracks in a circle or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you know how, like, one of your steps is longer right, on one side, so they've, they've just gone going in circles because they're trying to walk in a straight line. Okay. they The rest of the part group ended up rolling pretty decent as well. They're just following your lead. There was a natural one on one of theirs. But yeah. Oh, and yeah. So just to quickly go back over over some rules here, uh, there's sometimes where critical success and su critical fail will come into play when it comes to skill checks. But otherwise, only if I spec specify. Critical fail okay. and critical success works on rolls when you're attacking. That is the main thing. If you get a natural twenty, you're always going to hit, um, unless a spell or an effect or something comes into it. Same for a natural one. Although I don't think there's any real counters. Um, for countering a natural one um if something if it's a funny situation i might decide to have some kind of fallout from that like um flame in our other game sh has shot his cross the bow maybe three times and each time rolled a natural one uh, yeah. and shot one of his teammates uh in the legs a couple of times i heard um, about that one yeah <laughs> a few different times happens uh, 
Yeah, I think they're like probably like a month or two apart as well, which is kind of funny. What happened with me? I'm a bloody half thing, aren't I? <laughs> I've rolled natural ones, mate. It doesn't happen. It never oh, happened. I forgot about that. I forgot about that, that mate. That is going to be tasty. So, Malachi just seems very, very well sort of adapted to this terrain. Um, <laughs> potentially, have come, would you have come out here beforehand? Like, just going on walks and wonders? Oh, yeah, there's free food out here. Okay. <laughs> is there... Is there anything weird or wacky you might have done out in the forest? Loads. Pause. Okay. Be There's like control. random effigies <laughs> that I've just put places. Uh, but no one I, knows what they are. Can I have both uh, Flair and Figglebottom roll history checks on me? Okay. See if you've come across any of these and at least remember them. No. Pretty good rolls, actually. As you both see uh, Malachi catching people as they go to step the step into rabbit holes. It's kind of just like a little bit of a reminder for for you, Figgle, anyway. Flair, you you can't kind of catch on due to other other moments, but you've definitely come across tracks and just dead bodies of rabbits that don't quite look like they're done by foxes or um, like snakes or like other predators within the region, but you could never quite work it out why. Um, kind of weird. Okay. But, okay. And you how never, did never would have taken? How did they look like they were killed? Or, um, feet missing. Exploded. And I look at them and I'm like, these the rabbits weren't killed by natural mm. means. <laughs> yeah, that, that's in the past. That's not right now. That's <laughs> something that you guys were. Oh, okay, fair. Not yeah, it was, it was like a flashback. <laughs> uh, to I a see. Moment. Um, <laughs> yeah, he, he hasn't just quite literally like torn apart like a rabbit in front of you guys. Um, I hope not. With his teeth. Just... I don't know actually, Malachi. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, yeah, you know what, Malachi? There's a rabbit probably about 20 feet ahead of you. Do you do anything? There's too many people. <laughs> okay. okay, cool. Uh, moving onwards. Um, so, oh, my Google just activated. That was weird. Uh, everyone else, you, you tend to, you, you know, overall, you guys succeeded on this. I uh, just wanted to give Malachi a little bit of ups on that front because he did pretty good. Halden, you know, you're pretty good as well. Keep an eye out on things. Um... All right, onwards and upwards from that. Is there anything that you guys want to say or do along this journey? Uh, can I go like into the treetops and just like jump from branch to branch as we're going? Jeez, just like, right. you know, keeping it a vantage point. <laughs> okay, um, so you want to go up on top of the pine trees. Yes, uh, and, and just jump from tree to tree, like okay. Tarzan. So what I will need <laughs> from you is yeah, one. They're quite tall. <laughs> first off is an athletic <laughs> regular check for me. to go up okay. there. <laughs> And then we'll need to one. have an acrobatic check to see how okay. you do. <laughs> Boom. Do you know about the default damage? And 11. This is our first death. This is my domain. I, I live in the trees. It's all calm. You know, for how long do you live in them, though? That's the question. <laughs> Years. <laughs> Years. So, pine okay. trees grow up Boom. to 260 feet tall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't scare me. D&D full damage caps out at 200 feet, but... I don't, I'm not counting that because the terminal <laughs> velocity comes die. in about 600 feet. Um, but it doesn't matter because at 200 feet, you would take up to 120 damage. Um, okay. Yeah. Sure yeah, 120 right. damage. Um, so That's almost 100 gnomes. <laughs> uh, and that would just be certain death. Um, okay. that Not all these trees are 260 feet tall, though. They're anywhere between 50. Uh, to about probably 160 in places. You do know there are much bigger trees and uh, pine trees uh, as you get deeper and a bit closer towards the mountains, um, but you've never been that far. Going past the stream is never really something that's been advised, and your father uh, would definitely have told you, mm. don't cross the streams. Um, <laughs> which... Okay. <laughs> Bad things happen when you Freezing. cross the streams. <laughs> yeah, um, but you've rolled a 13 on your athletics check. Um, okay, and can I also say that I do have a whip I was planning to try to swing with, like from tree <laughs> to tree. Awesome. <laughs> like I don't think I need the advantage because I do have a plus four to dex and acrobatics. You... But I will say I will be swinging with the whip, like. Whoosh, whoosh. Right. Okay, well you are proficient with martial weapons. I will say the whip will help you. It will lower the DC, but okay. you're going to be going slower 
across these That's trees. Fine. Um, as someone who has actually leapt like in the, in the top of the trees when I was younger. Oh damn! Um, That's cool. It, it's dangerous and also fucking wild. But I imagine Flare is far better than I am, so I'm not going to try and use that on there. I just I know that lots of things can go round wrong. But can you roll an acrobatics check for me? Okay, with advantage or without? No advantage. You, um, okay. I've just lowered the DC because you're using the whip alongside. Ooh. Oh, oh, that was... oh. Over. 22 you got 18 i'm just flying through these trees <laughs> back flipping between trees like not this a care of the world it's casual yeah. <laughs> yeah. little flare flying through the trees classic okay so trees. i have this vantage point i'm, I'm in the trees i'm, I'm mm -hmm. tarzaning it up okay. yeah cool we'll keep that in mind uh, i will ask you for some constitution checks cool that's fine. to keep it up as we go um because it's going to be exhausting work but you are up there you've got your bow on your back whip it in your in your hands and you're striding across the top of these trees and uh you know being a little bit careful because you have got a bunch of hornets um in your pocket yes yes um it's true. So, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. really yeah. Hornets. That's the reason by and drops a little carpet bomb of hornets. It's like napalmed. Okay, but I'm ready. <laughs> um, all right. Can I have? Who's not been doing too many rolls here? Theo and. Hmm. I think Theo would hurriedly be running uh, tree to tree underneath Flame, like, oh, please don't fall, oh, please! <laughs> just holding his arm. down it! I, I don't think my heart can take it! Just running around trying to catch. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I have. Uh, I, I was going to ask for you something totally different. Um, <laughs> I love this visual. You've got this uh, little halfling rushing through every care in the world, want to try and look after uh, your friend in the trees. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't call us friends yet, but you know. Well, okay. Oh, geez, jeez, <laughs> right. Acquaintances. Um, yeah, yeah, that's we fair. We have twice the pickle. Um, can you roll, Mr. Theo? A yeah. this would be a athletics check. I want to say <laughs> athletics or perception. Though there's going to be slightly Ooh. different DCs. One your you're specifically trying to keep an eye on her and the floor at the same time. Athletics sure. is more where you're skipping over things. I'll right. tell you the difference in DC. So you want one of each? Yeah. Well, you were, you, you oh. were choosing. Oh. <laughs> but, well, I went perception. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow, that roll looks weird. What the hell was up with your uh, E20. Let me just check something here. Because your perception check is plus one okay that is right it just looks weird to me all right cool um yeah you're actually expertly sort of keeping eye <laughs> on her and looking down below just like your arms nice. outstretched and like every so often like just jumping over and when you're about to trip your like natural instincts your oh, <laughs> halfling luck I was about to say hobbits uh luck is sort of kind of comes and kicks in and you manage to stick your foot at the right position jump off and do like a roly-poly kind of amazed at your own self here doing incredibly well keeping up uh, like it's not even actually keeping up. You overtake, and then you have to wait and work out which tree she's going to jump onto next. Um, and Flair, as you're keeping an eye out as well, if you roll a perception check for me. Um, okay. And then can I also have Howden? Can you roll a 1d20 for a me, five. please? With five. With a plus five. Um, <laughs> plus five, okay. I will also give you situational bonus <laughs> on that front, so I'll give you Ooh. an extra five, so you have 15 total. How old 17? All right, let me see what you guys, you rolled here. Um, oh, dear. All right, okay. A dragon descends upon the group. So how do you guys feel about... <laughs> 17 dialogue. Sudden dragon. Yeah. Sudden <laughs> that is actually going to be 17 ancient white dragons. Uh, <laughs> well done. Um, all right, so... About turn quick march <laughs> <laughs> i would say four so it can't be flat can't be theo can i have malachi howden figglebottom and fiddlebottom uh wait flim did you roll by the way yes i got a no five, uh, but... sorry Figure bottom, did you ah. roll? Did I roll for what? Uh, perception, believe... uh, survival check, because I think you were gonna. What ages ago? Oh, that was ages ago. Never mind. Can I? Yeah, can I have all of you guys? So Malachi, Howden, 
uh, figure bottom and fiddle bottom. Can I all ha have you roll? Um, this would be a perception check. No, that's no, my eyes don't work. Oh, yes. What do we perceive in this world? Ooh, we are perceiving. Shit. We are not perceiving. We're too. Oh. I perceive well, Malachi's the ghost. Malachi what is going on? You can see the future. <laughs> I can see the future. <laughs> so, natural 22, well, natural 20 for 22 total. You know what? I'm going to reward that. I think that's pretty sick. That's pretty um, cool. First natural 20. Let's go. Congrats. Gonna, gonna let that actually bypass some of this, which is sucks. Oh, wow. Malachi, <laughs> what you We're see ahead this. of you is you're just kind of like floating through. Uh, and around the group and sort of looking off into the distance like, ah, yes. <laughs> and you kind of like switch, like switch your head back just in time, almost like a breeze of air is like pushing your head in the right direction. You turn and you see, um, this would actually be, who wrote Lois? Fiddlebottom, who's busy trying to look out for some tracks and stuff, doesn't quite see uh, that he's about to step into a snare. And so you're able to... <gasps> Well, how do you go about stopping him from essentially walking into potentially one of his own traps? How close am I to him? How close? Uh, I'd say this is fiddle, not feet. fickle, right? Ten feet. Yeah, I probably did put like the trap feet. down. Oh, uh, sorry. Okay, it's not your own trap, but it is a snare. Mm -hmm. So you're about yeah. ten feet away from fiddle bottom, the druid. I'll just like dive on him. <laughs> Tackle. Just no words. Uh, <laughs> straight, yeah, just straight up, just like jump. get off my brother. You, my head just no. straight into the trap. You slam into him. Yes. And <laughs> roll a one d eight for me. Um, a seven will mean that you land on the trap, or you push him into the trap. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> That's okay because we're okay. getting one. So you, you we yeah, we know how to tackle people. You We've done this like before. <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> you just slam into him, and I'm not going to make you roll an athletics check for this, uh, as it's just a, like sort of almost a help action. But f fiddle, you you just out of the corner of your eye, you just see this blur, and you get slammed uh, down to the ground behind you, and everyone's like, oh, "What's going on? What's going on? Like, oh, what's he doing? Is he going to kill him?" And like a group like sort of kind of starts rushing over, and then yeah. what do you do oh, in that no. moment, Malachi? Careful, fiddle, fee fi fiddle. The hunters might be the hunted. Watch your step. Yes, yes, yes. And you can see there is the, the snare in front of you, and you can see your brother's engraving on the side of it. Traps are about our friend, yes. Oh, I see we that see. my brother's engraving on the side of it. Yeah, fiddle, you see it, yeah. Figglebottom, you've almost killed me there. Ah, uh, I forgot about that one. There's probably a few see. more. Sorry. Come, little fiddle. Come on. Let's, let's, let's stand up and get on the march. You can't be mad at that voice. We see. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. I forgive you, fiddle. Don't worry. Thank you, brother. So, you come to this point here. I'd say, Flair, can you roll a constitution check for me? Yes. Uh... I thought I'd see how well Theo can catch. I have to see. All right. I really hope not. Uh, <laughs> tech for saving throw. Uh, Two dead PCs before we even meet the it wolves. Would be a, um, it would be a check. Okay. Um, and normal or advantage? Uh, it's it would be normal on this run. You don't have any any benefits on this. Oh, oh no! <laughs> no way! <laughs> no! Oh, okay. Dear. So. Oh, dear. Oh. Malachi sees the future! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. We may have the first death here. No! Um, <laughs> I worked so hard on the art, no! My bees! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it, oh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hold on. Really just quick. Get by Wild it's idea, fine. if I'm gonna die Once. anyway, okay? Um, <laughs> no, you can just really help. I'll, I'll catch you. I'll catch uh, you if you fall, don't worry about it. Can I use the hornet bomb and animal handle the bees in the air to like lift me up and stuff them on the You just call the uh, um, hornets and bees. They're like buzzing, they're fucking pissed off right now. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> they're like, you racist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but so what I need to check on this front. So, I mean, these pine trees can be quite tall. I would say... If you can roll me a 1d100 on mm -hmm. 
uh, 80 and above, you'll be at least, uh, you'll, you'll be uh, 100 feet up. No, 95 and above, you'll be 100 feet up. And then it will, uh, if you go below 50, oh you'll my, be I thought it was 100. 50 <sighs> uh, feet. You're like, 100 just, is still. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> so just roll, roll, roll a 1d100 for me and I'll tell you. I'll you roll. I did. Okay. It's a 10. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, it's a 10. Oh, thank God. No, yeah, no, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's not okay. as bad. Um, okay. The lowest right. of the canopy. <laughs> you only so, died slightly. <laughs> I just slipped. I was like, ah. Okay. Without jumping it's onto only a the youngest of the trees, you've gone onto one of the shorter ones in which mm -hmm. you were. Ha no, you knew you were going to have to be careful on this front, but your arms were getting tired. <sighs> So you, uh, you you jumped onto this, but your hand s is sweaty and drops the whip. It's from down my below. bow. It's, it's a damp hand. <laughs> I slip. It doesn't have quite the same uh, hold as your bow does uh, mm. on it to deal with the dampness. And so as it falls down below, uh, and with your perception check earlier, um, Mister Theo, you see this happening, um, yes. and she is about uh, forty feet up right now. And she is coming plummeting down, hitting branch after branch. Can you roll an athletics check here to try and catch her? Yeah. And this is what I've trained for. <laughs> is this, is this, this a hard thing to human? <laughs> 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 it's gonna get squished. So you're a half elf, right? Me? No. Wait. No, I said, wait. Sorry, uh, Flair. Flair is a half. I am uh, a half elf. Half. Okay. So you rolled an. It's 11. an eleven. Um. <laughs> Is there anything mm. that can do to help that? <laughs> you, you're like running around <laughs> looking to catch her, and as she just comes flying out of the final branches, you trip over, um, and it looks like she's perfectly going to be landing in your hands, and then whoop, slam straight into the ground. Um, and Ooh. is there anything I can do within that inspiration to try and fix this? Or we can hear her after. No, uh, this is happening at the same time. You're <laughs> saving the fiddle from the trap. Um, so... Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> so just killed yourself off after like half an hour. <laughs> the damage is reduced. Okay. Um, well, because we of the four No, we lose an elf. This all went wrong. This all went so wrong. <laughs> what is your total max HP? 11. Okay. <laughs> you are dead. <laughs> As you come tumbling down and Theo dives across, Theo is the one that lands on the moss and you land and slam onto his arms. Mm. Luckily pushing them into the moss, but underneath the moss there is just a bunch of twigs and they go piercing into your skin and the force of the fall hits you and hurts you. I'm going to say, Theo, you take a course of the damage. So you are going to okay. take a total of... You take a total of four points of damage, and Flair, you take 17. No! Yeah. Oh my god, I'm not... dead! <laughs> you are not <laughs> unconscious. You are not instant death. Dead. Yeah. dead. But you are no. not unconscious. <laughs> so Theo, your okay. arms... Pretty much They're broken. They're Um... <laughs> And you, like, how do you react? I just want to hear from you initially. Uh, I, I think he'd probably just be screaming. Just <laughs> screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Lay on the floor, crying, screaming. Uh, about that much. Okay, mm -hmm. and was Flair screaming anything on your way down? Oh, no. I have, a, like, a, a little skull on my thing now. Okay, um. Yeah, you're oh, Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> that was quite enjoyable. We oh, like, oh, oh, no. oh, oh, no. and also, and also oh, Dad was right. Uh, I should never have swung in trees. So not across. I never should have crossed the streams. We're gonna we're gonna go into a quick initiative roll here. It's not a combat related one, but no. essentially we have to because she's gonna be going into death saves. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to put you all on um, the board here so I can quickly roll uh, initiative. I'm um, so sorry. Wait, how many of us can heal? I guess you're fine. Uh, I think I can. You what, can. Uh, yeah, you can I've got five HP worth. Of, you can stay. Yeah, oh, yeah, we can stay. But then she's just on one HP. Right? 
Yeah. Um, How did this happen? So, <laughs> yes, I, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Not one. We're all trying to find the one who did this. Uh, was it the first one? <laughs> I think it's so. those damn wolves in the trees. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, Hal Halden rolled a natural one on his uh, wisdom, but you're the first one that actually ended up in a very bad situation. Mm -hmm. um, but okay. yes. Lovely. So, yeah, I, we're going to. If you guys now. Should roll up. initiative, yeah? Uh, <laughs> if you roll initiative, if you go to the second tab. There should be a bunch Am of dice there, there for twice? you. Oh my god. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Who was that? One of you. There you go. Oh, you're on the board, Royce. There you go. I rolled a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not great. Wait, sorry, what were we rolling? Uh, initiative. initiative. So, so in the... the second tab. The combat in, tab. In the combat? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then there's a dice next to your name. Yeah, there you go. Oh, uh, pow. You Why'd you roll that with, with uh, advantage? advantage? I don't know what I clicked. I just clicked the one button that was next to me saying roll initiative. Do you have advantage on it for some reason? Shouldn't do. Not as a can tell you really. Um so you technically actually got a total of seventeen, so let me just correct that um manually. How would I know if I've got an advantage? It would be a feature or something, but I I'm so sorry this happened, guys. I don't know what to say. Right, we we all totally didn't see that happening at all. As soon as cool, we saw we're going to climb a pine tree, <laughs> it could have been a lot worse. Is all I'm going to say is she could have been. Yes, a lot that ten, that and, ten. It, and it would have killed you as well. death, like there was no yeah. coming back that from that. Ten saved your bacon. Uh, I would have felt absolutely terrible, but it is what it is. Um, Just immediately killed you off. <laughs> no, you yeah. shouldn't have felt bad. That's what you get for class. Did I reduce any of the damage by taking some of it? Uh, you did, yeah, which is why yeah, okay. it's 17. Yeah, yeah, cool. It, it, but in the so, end, it, it didn't matter. Um, it was, was all little Theo. We saved your life, he did. She broke his own arms. I <laughs> saved you. <laughs> you actually did. Uh, because what? You took 17 live. damage. If you would have taken three more, it would have put you into instant death, I believe. Um, if it was uh, ah. tw 22 points of HP, she would have been dead instant. Is there anything <laughs> I see in the afterlife, by the way? Um... We'll get to that. Oh no, you're not, okay. you're not dead yet. You're knocked out. You're, you're <laughs> okay. unconscious, which is why we were going to initiative because you have you're going to start doing death saves if people don't get you up. Luckily, oh. All right. you rolled an eleven total, so you've got four other people ahead of you. Nice. Theo, <laughs> we'll run the other way. Dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> oh no, you don't. Um, so Fiddleboy oh, would I'm... actually be first. Let me just correct this. Oh, right, okay. I was just going to say that my turn would probably be spent just screaming, <laughs> looking at my own broken <laughs> fucking. Cool. Torn up arms. <laughs> Flavor wise, that's it. Um, yeah, so I'd that's say, it, yeah. Fiddle, you've just been pushed and saved by Malachi, who's busy it's now just talking to himself as you hear this. <laughs> what, what is it you shouted, Flair? Uh, watch oh, out! No. And, watch uh, out! Uh, Dad was right! <laughs> I'm get sorry. To say, like, finish, uh, like, like, watch out there because he just fools. Because, by the way, you, you can fool, I think, 500 or 600 feet in a single turn. Um, like, and, like, yeah. Um, it's instant. Yeah, it's, it's instant, yeah, within six seconds. Um, I, for some reason, been having to do this math recently. Um, glad I did. Uh, but you hear the scream and then this... And then... Ah, from Theo! As you actually hear the crack of his arms, the bones snapping alongside that of Flair, whose body is just slammed in the floor, broken to pieces, blood mm -hmm. filtering out of her nose. And everyone is just is slow motion at this point to try and turn towards her but you're the first one who's just caught it as she was falling down how do you react um i've caught her no or... no you've caught caught on to the fact that she's fallen so you're going to be going first so she's fallen and she's unconscious right now mm -hmm. oh no oh no um, probably shouldn't <laughs> have done that uh maybe i can help in some way i think i've got a healing kit of some kind yep you have a healer's kit, and also for you, you would have also had, specifically for you, uh, you would have had a healing balm or two. Can you roll a 1d4 for me? I can't. Let's add this to your thing. Where would this be here? Okay. Is that a two? That two. is a two. Okay. Not bad. Um, bomb or wound cleansing? 
We're just doing some first aid here. Yeah. <laughs> so you have two of these bombs of wound closing that you had created previously. Um, they're not going to be useful in this exact moment, but because they take 10 minutes to work, but the bomb will heal the user for 1d6 plus 4, but it takes 10 minutes to, to do. Um, in this split moment, you could try to revi um, stabilize her using your healer's kit, um, which, yeah, you don't have the feet for it, but essentially um, you'd be able to try and use that, use up one of its 10 uses, um, and stabilize the creature without needing to do a check. And stabilizing just for you and anyone else at home means that they go to um, zero um, HP, but they're no longer making death saves. Okay. I mean, she's still let, we might before they can yeah. move. We might as well do that because no point saving ten charges if we're Thanks, a person guys. down. <laughs> okay, so uh, you're I think use I know it. who will be using all ten off. Yeah. <laughs> if you yeah. on the left hand side, it says healer's kit in your inventory. If you click that dice icon, this should come up with use. Inventory. So healer's clearly, kit, this dice. man has never played yep. Skyrim. He's using his, his yep. equipment. Um, and then just use it. Click use. Cool. So. Do you want to describe to me, here, Fiddle, how you go about using this healer's kit um, made up of bandages, splints, <laughs> salves? How are you going to go about using that on, from a practical perspective, to stabilize Flair, but also to probably try and help Theo out in regards to his now mangled arms? <clears throat> well, I mean, the, the splints are kind of self-explanatory. All of their bones probably broke, and Theo's arms are broke, so splint them up, get them nice and sorted. Um, I imagine when you fall down trees, you probably scrape yourself a lot. Yep. So the salves are going to come into handy there. Put rub some ocean lotion on it. It'll be fine. Do they have any punctures? Uh, yes, their ribs are currently sticking out through their chest. Hmm. Mm. Um, I'm not sure the healer's kit is going to be able to help with that one. We can band. Just we can maybe stick it back in. in. Stick it back in and <laughs> bandage it up. You can certainly try. I uh, make a. Make a medicine check. Um, like, failure on this won't matter too much, but it was just a general one. Uh, medicine really check. Yeah. I think I'm pretty good at this. Nice. Mm. That's really good. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, so you know that you've got these salves. They could definitely do a lot of the heavy, heavy lifting on this front. Um, this is what you made them for. You've never, I imagine, had to do too much in this regards, um, in regards to someone falling such a great distance you've helped people when they've uh, essentially like cut themselves when they've been uh, doing farm work um, when they've been chopping certain things or if they've been kicked by um, uh, like a bull um, or a couple other bits as well so this is definitely like an interesting opportunity for you to use it but you do know it's going to take some time so you probably have to let people know what's going on otherwise they're probably going to try and do do something like here okay guys no one touch Theo's arms or Flair's body because it's going to take a little bit. It's going to take about 10 minutes, I presume, based on calculations. Yeah. Um, okay, we'll we'll actually just go straight out of um, thing here. I just wanted to see who was able to act first and um, what would happen, so... <laughs> You're the best, brother! <laughs> Let me just empty... Thank you, Figglebottom. ...combat tracker here. Um, so how does everyone else react as this has happened and Fiddle has communicated that he is now going to be helping them. It's going to take 10 minutes. He probably needs help with one of them. Are you going to use both bombs? Because you can only use one bomb per person. Or... Um, I thought the salves are included in the kit. What, what's this bomb? Uh, so the bombs are what I, so what I mentioned. I When you rolled that 1d2, it was to see how many at uh, 1d4, um, how many bombs you had made. Um, just being a herbalist. Uh, sort of druid. Um, you managed to make uh, two wound closing, uh, cleansing bombs, they're in your inventory, and they heal uh, for 10, and they take 10 minutes. The salves, part of the healing kit, that's just stabilizing. That's purely just to stabilize and do some superficial um, mending. Um, but to actually heal someone, you need to use uh, either magic or the balm of wound cleansing, or you can. You guys can take a short rest, but I would say Flair needs at least one HP to be able to, yeah, she needs one HP to be able to benefit from the short rest. Um, after a certain amount of time, I'll make a Take death saves ago again. So. Just use one of them on, on them, and it'll be it'll be fine. Just split me up or something, you know. Just point yeah. my arms back the right way, and well, can carry on. We'll, uh, we'll split so, the perimeter. Arms. We must set. 
the blood the wolves will be attracted to. We must be on guard. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> they are coming. They can smell it. Yeah, well, yeah, I suppose I can blood. just kick them in the face now if I have to. Flair isn't much like her father, is she? That was dumb. Well, she's still alive. So. Oh, she was nearly very much like her father, actually. <laughs> oh, dear! <laughs> yes. We'll have to talk about that dad today. You're, you can't Flying speak. You can't even hear this at the moment. You, you are. <laughs> They're just shit talking your corpse. <laughs> yes. corpse please please don't tell them I said that, because, uh, yeah, that was just. Uh, yeah, they'll probably be angry at me and. <laughs> Take some secrets to the grave. They be coming. <laughs> We can smell it. It's in the air. Malachi, can you roll a perception check for me? Absolutely. Uh, did we use a did you use a bomb or both or not? Uh, I think we're saving one bar. And we've just so, split it up. Where's he? The, uh, um Theo took four damage, right? Oh. That's a yes. twelve. Um so, not the end of the obviously, world. so just to be clear, can, you guys have that. you have two short rests you can use per day. Um and then you have a long rest at the end of the day, and you can only do one long rest within a twenty four hour period. Um, a short rest allows you to get back some of your features, and it also allows you to use some of your hit dice to try and heal. Um, but so you, short rest now. you only gain those hit dice back during a long rest, and you only gain back half of them you used. And at the moment, you only have one hit dice, um, and the hit dice depends on what um, class you are. So for Flare, for example, um, I think yours is 1d8, if I recall correctly. Um, Theo, yours should be a 1d6. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's up to you guys if you want to use your one hit dice to try and heal during the short rest, or if you want to save them. You have a few different resources to use. Let's let's see how well Fiddle um, okay. patches are up mm. first. Mm. Okay. So I, I have a very limited pool of healing, but uh, it's only on long rests. So I don't want to use it now. Yeah. Unless I have to. Do your best, Fiddle. I believe yeah, in I'll you. Take... I'll take care of you all, no problem. Okay, Fiddle, if you could, um, if you're in your inventory under consumables, if you click on the dice next to the balm of wound cleansing. Yes. Oh, it doesn't actually do anything. Uh, if you just roll a 1d6 Wait. plus 4. Did it not? Oh, oh okay, is there, is there a dice roll on there? there there's like a, there's an icon. But you should be able no, to click on the, on the dice roll. Okay, no, uh, yeah, roll. it popped up there. Okay, uh, if, if it comes up with a dice roll that you can do, then do that. No, I mean, it just pops up with the, what the, the bomb. Okay, that's yeah, fine. yeah. That's so, roll, so roll can you them. roll a 1d6 plus 4? 1d6 plus 4. Yep. Uh, that's a do I do the plus 4? Yes. Yep. How do I do the plus 4? Type plus 4, Type plus four. in the chat box. Nice. Ooh. Wow. That's great. Good fiddle. Nice. So, Flair, you regain 9 HP That's and gasp as blood is sort of still within your lungs, but the balm is slowly seeping into your skin. This, go this is a 10-minute process, by the way, of essentially Fiddlebottom going through and pushing uh, this cleanser through any parts that seem broken, over a bruised skin, along so where great. the ribs are cracked, <laughs> and her body kind of starts to reset almost. Like, her stomach, like, pushes out uh, in parts and, like extends and her ribs just kind of crack back into place there's definitely something magical about this um this balm and i think yeah. I, I would while she's healing probably be knelt beside her praying okay to drondel all right um first off uh Flair, oh. if you go to your character sheet and add nine hp onto your sheet so underneath your character portrait Done. Yeah, so you now are 9 out of 11. Um, Let's go, gang. <laughs> <laughs> How long will that last? <laughs> Basically five. <laughs> Goes back up the tree. <laughs> uh, around two. Can you... I mean, I can't get two nat ones. <laughs> so, uh, for, uh, I guess... So I don't want me to find out. Howden, can you make a religion check for me? You'd think, as a religious character, I'd be good at these, but... Hopefully. Nope. But apparently not. What was it? It's about 10. Oh, 11 total. Okay. Good to know. You can definitely feel a little bit of Presence. light float, um, come through the trees and it's just sort of. You can feel the warmth of the sun on your back. Feels nice. 
That's because I this, said go west. So <laughs> mind us. This is this is Holden specifically that you like can feel this. Um, mm. You can feel at least the presence um, of your deity, your god. But that is it. Uh, Theo, you have mangled up arms. They've been splintered back up. You are looking rather fucked. Are you doing anything? Or are you guys going to carry on? No, I'm just going to carry on. All right. Just silently cry at the back of the group. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so we haven't healed you, right? No one's praying for Theo. No, no one's fucking healed me. I, uh, look at my arms! They look like I've been healed! <laughs> okay, I have a plus three to medicine. Is there anything I can use to do medicine? I, I'll be use like, my, you've saved me. Wow. I'll use my healing pool to help. No. Okay. So I, I come over and you know, my mother is the folk healer of the town, so she uses potions. That's great. Is she here? To do... No, no, no. But she oh. taught me something. She <laughs> oh, taught right. Me sorry. Uh, and he gets out a, a small a bag of herbs, creates a... Um, what are they called now? Pultis. Yeah, mm. that he lays on the uh, on the broken uh, arm, uh, but he grasps it in his hands uh, <sighs> and says a quiet prayer to himself to the god Durandal, um, asking him to share the burden of the pain. Uh, and he uses some of his lone hands, Paul, as a paladin, to heal you for HP. Oh, that's much better. Than that is, Mister Howden. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, good as new, he's feeling, he just starts, like, f rotating his arms, so, so, you know, like, flinging his body about. <laughs> well, I, uh, I, I wasn't expecting that to happen straight away, but, uh... Oh, yeah, I don't I know, you did it! Trying to well, feel we good know as new, me. lame! <laughs> Pickle yeah. buttons, side-eyes, flare. Foolish flare, who never learned no. to fly from the floor. Uh, can I, like, say, like, can I heal now? Um, can I speak? Is the blood, like, yeah, yeah, gone? Yeah, can speak. Okay. I go... <gasps> Oh my god, I'm alive! What? <laughs> and then I go around and I'm like, I'm sorry. I I will be more careful. That was my bad. It won't happen again. Thank you all for saving me. Very cool of you. Uh, I you I am forever in your debt, and I will protect you as we go on. <laughs> your father yes. saw that. I know. Jesus. <laughs> Fractured flare stays firmly on. Fractured flare. <laughs> That's oh, not what I want to be known as. <laughs> Uh, I think Howard would, would walk up to you and say, you, you are free to do whatever you want, but do not endanger others. I will promise I will try. <laughs> Don't land on anyone again. <laughs> I'll, I'll for sure just splat myself on the ground next time, my bad. All right, snap, onwards. Snap, snap, with the branches of trees and man. Figgle. This is awful. <laughs> you recognize the path you're coming up to, uh, and you're... I suppose I should actually... You come up to a bit of a small stream that you know feeds into the the stream that you're heading towards. And it's a lovely scenic area. This, this forest is just beautiful. This whole area is just lush. Lots of flowers. This area is just breathtaking. I imagine you've probably been here before and had your lunch, sat here alone, enjoying the sounds of the forest. And you know you're not that far. All you need to do is go a little bit further off um, the current being path, um, which is a little bit of a shortcut. It's going based off your previous rolls earlier on. Um, and so you can start making your way that your, your direction towards the stream. Are you still wanting to guide everyone that direction, or have you got something else in mind? Uh... I've been here before. I'm I'm going to look for those wolves' tracks. Maybe they they've drank the water. And I'm going to look for muddy paw prints at the bank of the river using my favoured enemy feet. Okay, if you could ping that in chat for me. I Wait, can do. I can I quickly say I gave Flair my last point of lone hands. Um, I, I would have put my hand on her shoulder when I was slightly berating her. <laughs> Chastising um, me. <laughs> yeah. but, but whilst I was doing that, I put my hand on your shoulder Aww. and my hand was warm. Um, Why? And you, you feel a little bit of rejuvenation. Just one HP. But... Yeah, so if you add one HP to your thing as well. All right. I, I feel anymore. disappointed. <laughs> I've myself. used it all. My head's like hung low. <laughs> <laughs> um, it might be holding uh, a little bit lower, but you can also just feel again as you're walking through these paths and he puts his hand on your shoulder and um, says what he does, you can feel the transference of warmth through his hands, but you can also. Uh, feel 
just a little bit of light sort of left on his shoulder as he pulls his hand away and you can feel a little bit more ready to go even like Feels briefly good. look at the tree and then he's like no <laughs> <laughs> he's like, not. don't you dare I mean, isn't he you. good look what he did to my arms as well isn't he good this Halden uh, picks some people up from. and he's just like shaking his arms around at people <laughs> Alden, very good, very nice, very saving. If you'd done that Thanks before, Randall, me. like your arms would have gone in different directions. Like it was, <laughs> it's flopped. Yeah, yeah, that's how it's much. <laughs> yeah, um, but luckily they're fixed. So uh, you're doing using favored enemies on beasts, in which these indeed are. Can you roll a wisdom, uh, a survival check with advantage for me, please? Yes, sir. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. So a natural 17 for 20 total. Okay, damn. Damn. And you have a plus three on that. Um, all right. Fifo Fickle finds the way. My um, so you're, you're going on the party around. Um, you sort of sit them down for a moment. And you go up towards uh, the water's edge of this. And it is covered in algae. There is It, it is a moving stream, but this is uh, essentially a bit of a blockade. Uh, like this, this area has kind of been blocked by some creatures or whatever else just the land so the it's just a slow trickle from this pool of water um and so it's fairly stagnant so it's not something that you drink but it does bring a lot bunch of wildlife to this area including just um bugs and such as well so there's a lot of interest and fun noises um and so you're looking around sort of near the edges of the water for tracks and you do spot spot them you see some wolf tracks heading off in the same direction that you were originally looking to go in um, and because you rolled a 20, uh, Slimkins is going to be right back, that's fine. Uh, because you rolled a 20, I will say you can make out a few different sets. But then you see a rather large paw, set of paw marks leading off mm. in the same direction. Much bigger than that of the other paw drinks. There's even small ones there as well. Wolf pups. But this large, large wolf. You'd heard it being sort of mentioned in town or in villa in the village that there was something more, something more dangerous, bigger. People had just made it off that people were just turned, um, you know, bigging up the sides of these wolves. But seeing these tracks, you can tell like there is some big boy or big girl here that is, who knows, something more. I can't tell if it's a wolf or not. You can tell it's a wolf from the portraits wolf. and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Big one. Just a big Just a wolf? One. Um, guys. Oh, he's talking. <laughs> um, there's a big one. This way. I found the tracks. But it's scary. It's a big what, figure? Big wolf. There's pups. Mama, angry! Mm. And when you say big, do you mean big relative to you or uh, relative to me? Yeah, well, anything's I mean, bigger than us. I mean, big, bigger than normal! Do we have a banana for scale? <laughs> you don't have bananas. Can, can you describe <laughs> the exact size in measurements of uh, tea mugs? Um, it's about two Sports Direct mugs. I've only got the one. So Bloody hell, it's massive then. <laughs> Unless you've got I've one. I've got one right in, but he's not that far off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they I'm... are big. Ooh, Fingal, how many gnomes? How many gnomes is it in size? Uh, the mama wolf? Uh, four or five gnomes. It's long. Four or five gnomes in big wolf belly. Ten feet long? That's it's a quite big wild. Wolf. I die this situation might anyway be. roll um figure if you roll a history check with advantage to recall information on this slaying it he's got all the information <laughs> he knows Here these we, wolves pulls out a book <laughs> it's my friend <laughs> ah, it's what actually on chapter seven <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, i've got pictures <laughs> Uh, I've even we got had tea which, last week. <laughs> which which tell you uh, information, but you um you recall learning from 
others around you, including actually from Flair's dad yes. of <sighs> bigger wolves, dire wolves me stories. from the north. So this is specifically for Figgle, uh, recalling this information. Mm -hmm. Flair, you can roll a history check, not with advantage, but just a history check um, as he's talking about this as well. But Figgle specifically, you know stories of just... Yeah, uh, Flair, you're just too distracted at this point. Okay, um, I'm just... <laughs> still in pain um, and shamed. Um, but yeah, big old. Pain and ashamed. From north, <laughs> beyond the mountains, where none of you go, none of you know too much of, uh, where darkness lies even further north than that, but just you don't really know much beyond the north. Uh, there are monsters and creatures that lurk within that mountain range um, that you dare not uh, trifle with. You are commoners, you guys... Are villagers. Um, the stream that you're heading towards is one that you're usually the cutoff point for how far north you guys would go. Um, and even the path out of town towards the north carries on, but you don't know where it actually ends up going. Um, people don't tend to go that way. But yeah, you know there are much larger creatures north, um, and it seems like there may well have been one that crossed the mountain range and has come down here and is potentially the cause of the Okay, the problem. and and Figgle thinks that we cannot take this because we're all commoners and it's... No, you don't. This one looks big, but it definitely looks like something... I mean, you've killed wolves in the past when you've had to, but nothing like this. Okay. Um, Can we ask Figgle how <clears throat> long ago it was? Um, On there, it would have been with the survival check of 20... I would say there'd probably be, like, it's uh, within a range of a day or so. It's kind of hard to tell. Mm. Cause it's, they uh, look about a day old, but, um, I, it might be a dire wolf. Like a, a big one. Bigger than normal. Maybe we should rest. Maybe oh, we should. Yes. And yeah. they get further away? It smells the blood. It will come. Um, but, but I don't, I don't know. know. I'm fine. I'm yeah, fine. I think everyone's fine now. My arms yeah. are all better. Look. Should I climb a tree? I mean, should I? Can I? May I? <coughs> Friends? No, you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, you can, I won't I can catch you again. I'll tell you that much. I, I you can't really anyone, catch yourself so. this time. Uh, Why don't yes. you use his rope this time instead? Okay, you know what? This time, how about this? safety i take the whip ah sorry i you wrap the whip right. around my body i shimmy up the tree the safely. we never picked it up I for I would advantage say you would have had okay, it. okay 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 <laughs> say uh, go on again flair sorry no i mean you, i just contemplate you climb a tree if you want to climb a tree that's up to you so i would Maybe like to climb the help. tree <laughs> I'm just telling you that I won't catch you if you that's fall fine, this time. That's, that's all I'm I saying. Understand. You can climb the tree I if you want. Have left, so <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the whip. I'm going to use it as like a... Or actually, I have some rope. I'm going to take my rope that's in my inventory. I'm going to tie it around myself, and I'll shimmy up the tree safely. Okay. <laughs> so even if I fall, like, the rope will catch me. I'll tumble find a way. <laughs> so <laughs> tumble will always what are you one will find to a way. achieve by climbing this tree? I want to get and like see if I can spot the wolves and maybe we can get an advantage on them if we have to attack. Okay. The um, tracks are about a day old. Oh, they are. Okay. You can. Doesn't um, mean they've been walking for a day. Not people. necessarily. I just, I just <laughs> they're around the corner. That's true. <laughs> You're right, Fiddle. You're so <laughs> smart. <laughs> What's she doing? Uh, okay. Some so... other in the tree. <laughs> I climb the tree. <laughs> okay. Um, make a athletics check. Okay. Bam. A dead. Okay. Yeah. So you manage to make your way up this Sorry, fifty foot tree, uh, pine tree, um, which is the biggest within this immediate vicinity. Now make a perception check. Um, okay. I have pretty good perception. Yeah. Plus five. All right. Let's go. Well, okay. Ooh. See, it so was all worth it. <laughs> you're staring around, and a lot of your vision is blocked by uh, the trees. But you're, you're used to going up here, and this is more of what you'd normally do. Potentially, you're trying to show off earlier. Um, 
I'm again, just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, now you're like, okay, that I, I need to check myself before I, I wreck myself <laughs> and someone else again. Um, and so you go up into the trees um, and you're busy sort of staring and looking around and you... And with a 23... Actually, they're just behind that rock over there. You <laughs> see off... There's about 20 of them. ...past where you you know that the stream is actually not too far away from you guys. It's only another probably about half an hour's journey. You can make out um, a bit of a landmark through a local hill which has some uh, trees that are a little bit higher. Um, and as you're looking um, at one of these mounds with the um, heightened trees, you can notice off to the right of it, and this is beyond... Uh, the bridge across this uh, river slash stream, you can see what you swear is the outline of the top of a building. Hmm. A stone building. Okay. Can I see any paths around? Is there like uh, a way to maybe make the way we're supposed to go a bit shorter? Can I plot yeah. something out? Yeah, I'll say um, with that you can uh, cut the time down uh, from an hour oh. to half an hour. Um, knowing which routes they'll sort of take uh, to get to um, the pass uh, across. Nice. And you know there's two ways across as well. Um, you, Yeah, so essentially with okay. that, good rolls, you can now... I shimmy down, like, very gently, very safely, <laughs> not falling on anyone, and I relay the information. Yeah, and you can, as, you, as you're going up there, everyone else, you can just sort of see <laughs> Bert, this blonde-haired farmer who's, like, wanted, like, came in, in the eye of leading it, but he just wanted to be the face of things in town looks a little bit meeker out here um he's sort of standing sheepish, there and, 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 and yeah talking to um a couple of others including eva the potter um there's also uh, henry the blacksmith as well um jack the shepherd um and as she's coming down and um shouting directions of, of where to go um <clears throat> i'd probably say Molly the Weaver, Jenny the Candle Maker, Jack the Shepherd, and Ned the Carpenter are going to sort of start walking off in that direction. Um, and you guys can start going off as well. Um, Is this towards the house? The building? The building. Well, that that's quite far off. That's a good... Like, Is that where the script's so going? Like, okay. uh, you'd have to sh cross the stream to go across there. But it was just something that stood out. Um, and you don't know of... Um, if it's mentioned, none of you know of any buildings or any kind of civilization or people living out, especially past uh, the stream. Okay, yeah. so my thoughts are we shouldn't abandon the mission. However, I am very curious. <laughs> and I'll say if you figure uh, your tracking is still ongoing as well on that 20. Um, and this is you are definitely going to be following some of the routes of the way the wolves are going, but you've kind of veered off. Um, maybe they got distracted and went off on a hunt. Um, but you're confident that you'll probably be able to find them again. Um, and you eventually come to a small clearing. Uh, and then just beyond that, there's this fallen tree sort of snapped in uh, two. Um, and there's a... Uh, you, you hear, but you only hear it after it's pointed out to you guys uh, when Jack the Shepherd sort of... Sort of um, Turns around like brimming, like I can I can hear the I can hear the stream. I, I need I need to refill my water and starts running off. And then Jenny follows oh, no. Molly as well. Ned um, and then the rest of the villagers or most of them. So like Bert, Molly, Elsie, Bessie, Fred, Lily. They start following as well. Not as like fast. Um, and I think seeing that, uh, I would call out. Uh, and try and get them to stop. Stop. Uh, dangers in these woods. We don't know what's around the corner. What are you Go doing? Slow. Yes. Err uh, on caution. Yes, yes. No. As you're... Run off. Bait. Uh, yeah, so as you guys are sort of saying this, these things, um, and they've sort of passed through a couple of trees, um, you hear the scream. Oh, no. And then you see... You just see them stop and, like, waving around their hands and they are just screaming. Um, and so what we will do is I sprint. switch on over yes. to our first Time to get the hammer out. combat. Combat. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I, like, when I the see music. Them, like I would have, I would have, 
I think I would have like tried to follow them as get as close as possible. So yeah, I'll, I'll move you guys in yeah. a moment. Let me just look to sort out yes. our music yes, and yes. shit. Oh, hello, this is so, a big boy man. Uh, <laughs> yep. One so, second. Huh? Okay. We will Who's wait. F one aim over there. Hi. Who's that guy? Look, I'm, I'm not a fast mover. Oh. F one aim. Whoa. Wait, There's oh no, it's your cursor. Guys. Who are they? Yeah, it's my cursor. Oh, they are not. These people what running to the river for water when I can create water, that's kind of wild. They <laughs> just have infinite drink. Yeah. Ten gallons. What? Um, okay. Let me just fix some By the way, <laughs> um, Big old Matt. Tom, is the beekeeper with us? Just wondering. Uh, yes. I have curiosity. Oh no. Where is he? Can you point him out so I can keep him safe? <laughs> uh, he is next to you, actually, um, over here. Okay, nice. So okay, you cool, can cool. you hover over them, and does it have their name? Uh, I hover, but oh. it does not have the pictures, their name. I see the pictures, but not names. <laughs> there you go. Oscar, Oscar the, the beekeeper. beekeeper. So now can you hover over him, and does it show his name? I'm back. No. He, no. no. Oh, okay, interesting. I mean, you see the hover picture of him. I see the pictures on all the NPCs. Yeah, yeah so if you, if you hover, everyone. like if you hover over the icon, it'll come up with the full picture, but okay. not the name. Uh, interesting. I, which is why the, like the mushrooms are scary. Kind of cute, not gonna lie. <laughs> they are pretty cute. <laughs> uh, all right. I Wait, thought I was showing you, but I guess not. That is weird. Maybe something's broken. Either way, we move forward. Um, but yeah, you can't see the names. But these are all different people. Uh, I'm just using the same art because fuck having to make separate art for all of them. I've done that plenty of times. I did, like, I think, about 100 different mercenaries and I made different art and statistics for every single one of them. Never again. Um, well, I will. And then 30 of them got blown up in yeah, one fireball or something again. and you were just like, well, there goes half an hour work. <laughs> no, no. There I mean, goes a day and a half in one fireball. Fuck. <laughs> it's time for me to run in and, and defuse the situation so we have no combat. Um, <laughs> all right, so... Starting off, in regards to order, um, so you guys will be able to go under these trees, um, and mm -hmm. you'll see part of your, your token will kind of go a little bit of out of view, but um, okay, yeah, yeah. it's just for looks. Let me just pause it here as well. Um, so I will say, uh, Figglebottom would have been leading the charge out of you guys. Um, how long you said you were pushing a little bit further forward? Mm, I, I would, when I saw them run towards the, the river, I would have tried to. Get us close, like follow them basically. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, this is essentially as close as you immediately mm -hmm. get. Um, but now let me. Drag you yeah, all as, to, as soon as into... I hear the um, I... the screams, I'll just drop my backpack. Okay. Um, so everyone is going to go into combat. I thought I just clicked the right Have button. Have you dragged already? Uh, it's because it's paused, right? It's not moved. Um, why is the combat not coming up? Truth. Is it because it's still paused? No, okay. pausing isn't it. Did you say you've used Phil Boss being closer? Or is, is this that Yeah, we've not, not been okay. moved yet. Well I well as in like where you, where you are now, that is essentially where you're oh, going huh. to. Because this is oh, like okay. reactionary, you hear the screams as you're sure, sure. doing it. So if you guys could roll. Initiative. Ignore the mass sound of Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. Look at me go. Just ignore that sound. Or oh, me move dice. Rolling dice. Uh, yeah, you can customize these dice as well. Just FYI. I think that's what your player color choice does. It's the color of your dice, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, you can also change it. And for certain damage, it will have um, special ones as well. Uh, oh, so yeah. I think that is everyone. Oh, is that a natural 20 for you for that? Yeah, no, I got a nat 20 on initiative. Nice. Kind of sad. Okay. It's one bit in the trees. So, we have got a surprise round, first of all. So, let's switch one over to it. You know, oh, I only got a full music for, uh, for this. Our first combat. Interesting. That we, um, I imagine we're going to, there's going to be, you know, lots of questions. That's fine. What we will do is we'll take a break after this combat is ended, um, and then we'll come back and carry on. Um, it's in about three hours. Yeah. We. <laughs> We might end up a little bit longer. I hope that's okay with everyone. That's fine. Um, yeah. I like long questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, no issues. Everyone's rolled initiative. And first off, there is a surprise round. Three Ooh. creatures are going to be going first. It is going to be this one, this one, and this one. 
as three dead villagers. These villagers have run forward, and you guys see this as it's happening. They let out a scream because there's just a burst, like a <laughs> and that these spores just fly out and spin around, and it's almost like there is just a web in the air, and that is just floating almost weightlessly. Uh, and so first off, we'll do this one here, who is going to use their spore burst. Um, oh. Just gonna hit. Oh my god! Oh. That's not Recipes. So, um, we'll do damage first. Oh, I had to roll because I've messed up the thing. Oh my god, it was a natural twenty. Um, <laughs> no. Yeah, no, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It Recipes. doesn't actually affect the um, the roll here. Um, and so. That's such a cool effect as well. <sighs> yeah, yeah, there's some really cool ones as well. Um, I can do later on. I'm just trying to keep it simple. That's automated as well. Uh, I've got set up. Um, right. So, oh my god, I don't even know how much HP these guys have. Oh my god. Uh -oh. So they also okay, guys, need he's to fired. make saving throws. Seven on Jenny, who's on the southern side. Jenny, the candle maker, is this one. And now Molly, the weaver, is going to make a saving throw. Natural one. Uh, and over here, Jack, the shepherd, is going to be making one. A natural 19, so succeeds. Otherwise, Jenny and co. are going to be restrained. And they take two points of damage each. Ah. Uh. Uh, and then it's this one's go up here. And they are going to use again the spore bursts. And that is going to catch um, both uh, Molly and uh, Jack just in that because the um, the circle goes into their square enough. Uh, and so that is going to be another two saves. Don't know what double restraint would do. We'll see. Natural two. I'm going to say they are considered instead of restrained. I don't even think this is going to end up happening. Maybe I should be a bad GM. <laughs> I'm going to say They are prone as well. Because they are lifted off the ground. Oh, that one is Jack. Goes with the save. Um, that was just, I rolled another natural 20 on this roll that doesn't do anything on crits. Uh, oh no! Jack succeeded on that second one, so he's not prone. Um, but that's another fucking two points of damage uh, on each of them. They are looking rough, and it's essentially these strands of spores that are all interconnected have just forced their way into the mouths of these individuals as they're screaming it slowly quietens as their mouth is just filled with these tendrils that are making their way down the throats Ew. of these individuals now the final one here is going to be this brother who oh my god he catches jack into it as well okay um i'll ned the carpenter he is going to make a save throw within a natural 19. Jack, he fails. So he would be uh, prone, but instead you see his body start to twitch and then just go limp, but it doesn't fall over. It is just held up now by the strands and he is dead. Well, Rip. Ned Rip the takes two points of damage. And he is not restrained. Uh, that is the end of their go. So now we go into the top of initiative here. And I believe if I click the begin combat, we're going to be seeing Flair. It is your go. Okay. What are you doing? Couple things uh, I want to talk to you about. <laughs> okay. One, uh, can I persuade the beekeeper to just like retreat for a sec? Like back up. This is not your fight. Just stay safe. If I live, I live, you know. But for now, stay safe. Yeah, it's like you can just shout over to them. You don't need to do a persuasion stuff. You can just tell them to stay back if you wish. Okay. I don't want that to take an action because I no. have yeah, more urgent things to like do. Okay. So I'll tell them to stay back. Like this is some okay. some shit. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Jack! I don't know. 
keep your hornets on hand. <laughs> oh, you too. Okay. Uh, so next, <laughs> what I do, and can I ask you about the spore uh, essence? Like, is it flammable? Is it? What's the deal with it? Make a nature check for me. Okay. One second. Set, set fire to all three. I, I, is it explosive? I, I, it looks like they might like turn into zombies. So I hope that's not the case. I don't know. I know next to nothing about this. <laughs> you don't know. You've never, you never come across right. these the before. The only thing I can do is set fire to it. So I'm going you know, to do you that. You know web um, does, and this looks like web, but it's also coming okay. from mushrooms. Like what the fuck? So in my experience, uh, nature is weak to fire <laughs> in general. And this is web-like material. Who knows? It could catch. Okay. So can I, would I be able to climb a tree? <laughs> uh, yes. It would take an athletics check and you can only move half your movement whilst doing okay. this. Okay. This is becoming a trope. The tree you're next to is not very tall. Yeah. All right. How far can I move right now? 30 feet. Can, I'm not sure how to check that. Sorry, I'm just new to this. If you um, if you click in onto your token, you drag it around without letting go of it. You can see. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Well, uh, there is a tree here. Can yeah. I climb that? Would that yeah, be so possible? So you would get to the bottom of it, and you'd only have you'd only be able to get five feet up it. Okay. Can I climb this rock? Yes, I would say <laughs> okay. you can. You can get on. Yeah, I'd say you're allowed to go and stand on top of that rock. That's fine. I will climb the rock. Five feet of movement. I'm I'm okay with that. To give that to you, as you scramble and up it. Actually, you know what? Give me an athletic check. As, <laughs> as, as okay, you're it is a big to... rock. It's a pretty big yeah. boulder. You're trying to like Chips run up. If you if you're, if you're successful, you'll make it up on the rock. If you're not, you'll just fall back down to the park. Ooh. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you don't make it up to the top of the rock. And all right, actually, all right. I scramble and, and I fall off the rock. You, you're down here at the moment. That's fine. Um, can I still have a clean shot from yep. these trees? Okay, cool. So you I can will see try. Under these trees, right? Yeah, you can see under these take... trees. Yeah. I will try to take. Uh... Hold on, what do I have in my inventory? I have bees? some flaming Maybe. things. I do have oh, bees, but I'm fun. going to save them. <laughs> yeah, you got the uh, yeah. hornets. Oh, oh my god! Bees you. versus mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Who will win? Um, <laughs> for now, I think I'm going to ages. see what fire does, and I'll use oh, thanks, my. Jeff. So. I want to ask you how I would make fire arrows because I have the materials, but in terms of actions, how would that happen? Because I have a tinder box, oil flax, uh, cloth, and an arrow. Okay, yikes. Uh, then I will throw a torch at them, a lit one, of course. Okay. Um, one second. Or can actually, can I like take the torch and like use it as an arrow? No. Uh, I mean, you, <laughs> <laughs> that's you not buy, buy a, a, not flame, a flame spare okay, thing. That's oh yeah, that's what I was. Okay, I do have. Didn't you have a flame well. spear? Yes, something? I do yeah. have a torch spear. Can I use that as an arrow? Yes, you can. That was my intention. All right, so I'll use that and I'll what, an arrow? fling it. Yes. It's a big arrow. It is. Uh, no, you can't. But, no, you can't uh, use it as an arrow. You can throw, you it. throw it. Yeah. Okay, so I will spear. throw that spear uh, straight into the middle here. Like of the three circles, where uh, they all intersect. Yeah, sure. Um, so make a dexterity check Ooh, for me. My favorite. Um, all right. It's a spear, so you can add your dexterity. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so make a dexterity check on this huge d20 plus your dex. So yeah. And belly check. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, and bam. What is the total on that? Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Give me one second. I just need to fix something on stream. Bear with me. There's a bear with you. Mm -hmm. How are you calculating throne ranges, by the way? Uh, how far away is that as well? It's Sorry, 45. 45. 45. Um, can you roll another dice for me? That would be with disadvantage here. Ah, uh, yes. For dexterity. Uh, just yes. the same roll again. Yeah, so just the same roll again. Uh, why is this not working? Um, just... Wow, double <laughs> eight. <laughs> double eight <laughs> didn't matter. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, right, stream. You're just gonna see my face for a moment as I finish sorting this out here in stream. Uh, sorry, in game. 
So, you were trying to throw it where? Here. Uh, a little bit left, up, right, left. Like in the middle of the three. Yeah, points. that's good, right? Okay. Like that'll hit all three. Yeah. Or maybe you can, one you can down. Essentially throw that. Um, sure. So you rolled a twelve. Roll a one d four for me. Okay. Uh, boom. Okay. So I would say it lands a little bit short. Okay. Uh, you're not used to throwing spears, especially ones that are alight, which you quickly set it alight with your tinderbox, and you yeet it across. Uh, and as you're trying to get it sort of in between these three different mushrooms, sort of break it down like, okay, I need to try and set light to whatever this flammable or potential flammable material is. Uh, it hits the side of the this, this pine tree. No! And deflects, <laughs> and you're like, oh, it's going to land into it, but it lands just short. You need to roll four on that front front because it's about fifty-five feet away from you, and um, these, yeah, the spear is hot potch together. So having a torch on there as well, like the weight in on it, is just shit. So unfortunately, you do miss on that front. Yeah. Um, so I think that is the end of your go. Next up uh, is going to be uh, this spore at the top here who is going to use their movement to go five feet. And they're going to dash. And they're going to go another five feet. That's the end of their go. Howden. Right. We can outmove her then, then. <laughs> yep. Howden, you like? it is your go. Uh, oh, gosh. Um, well, first thing I'll do is I'll move. Um, how do I move? <laughs> So I just drag myself. Right? Uh, so if you click and you hold on to the token, the and you, well, yeah. So on your token, so over here, easy. you click yeah. and drag that around, and you can see, you'll be able to see. Um, yeah, like it's just thirty foot, but it doesn't move. Oh, are you, you on the wrong thing? So on the top left, make sure you've got select tokens. Yeah. Oh, that, there we go. Right. Charge the front. Yeah, and you have a dash action if you wanted to do it again, or you can try to do a ranged attack if you have any. Yeah, I have javelins. You have javelins, okay. Um, yeah, I don't, so if you I I can... look at them there, if you so if you click on the item and it brings it down, it should say thirty slash one twenty. Yeah, so, within, so it'd be disadvantage, wouldn't it? Yeah, so one twenty would mean disadvantage. Oh, uh, after thirty. So which one are you aiming at here? So there's there's one. They five feet. Oh my god. <coughs> yeah. Um, there's no way I could have got closer, is there? No. no if you use that movement, though. No. But you can Do take I? a swing at it. It's worth a try. No, or you I can charge for many of them is the problem. You'll be able to you pick it up after. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah, I'll throw, I'll throw a uh, throw a javelin in that that closest one. Okay. Roll an attack. So roll. It's the one that's hidden in the smoke, right? Uh, yeah, this one here. Oh yeah, that definitely hits. Roll Jeez. damage. Nice. We take this. That's for going. Level seven. Sorry, stream. There you go. It should now be fixed. Thank you, Jeff. Let me know. Is that one <laughs> dead mushroom? How do I ping? By the way, like ping on the. Hold down left click. Uh huh. So yeah, it was. I can shift you all over here. Yep. Oh. Um. Okay. Cool. So, where does this hit this shroom? And. Oh yes. So. Let me actually just give you guys a little bit of a room description, uh, Sal Shao. So, these sort of entangling spore caps, as they're called, uh, appear as ordinary mushrooms blended in with their surroundings. Um, they're very creepy. Um, they, they tend to hang around other patches of mushrooms in case people try to kill their brethren. These are somewhat maybe sen sentient uh, shrooms, as it were, um, and they prey on people who try to kill their brethren, essentially, uh, and they're very creepily. They have a fairly long tongue that lashes out, um, and then just these beady eyes all across, like, spotted around their, their cap as well, which open in, like, different patterns taken in the area around them. Um, and so as you launch this javelin, where, where are you aiming on these things? They're very small. They're only, like, uh, two foot off the ground. I don't think it would have... 
I don't think he has the skill team, so I would have just arced okay. and come in and just like impaled it into the ground. Awesome. Gone, gone straight through it into the ground and, and pinned it there. Obviously killed it. Yeah. Very Pulled much dead. You, it did almost double that one's HP. So it is dead. It and is. as you kill it, its spores around it retract. And you hear this like, <laughs> as it dies and they, they just instantly slap back straight into this to just retract into this creature the spores do um, and that spores are gone and that will mean that Jenny is no longer restrained Molly wow, is super. I'm going to say yeah she's still restrained but she's not prone um, but yeah first kill good job anything else you want to do and, and could, I, could I shout to them get back get back behind me they're just screaming <laughs> Oh, oh my god! It's their first step into combat and they flopped it. <laughs> step back. <laughs> yes. Back step. Yes. Uh, next up is going to be Mr. Insecure Mushroom here. Just so you guys know, I have like a randomized adjective before every mm. name of these. So this one is an insecure. It looks looks around. Just let me through. And then it's going to. <laughs> Dash forward towards Ned. Yeah, that's all you can do. That's the end of his go. Next up is going to be this one's called Scared. Uh, he's going to move a little bit closer towards Ned. And what can we actually do? It is going to, as it stumbles forward, because these things have like had to put their arms down and push their bodies up. Essentially, like, if you think about Diglett, these are like that. They've got, like, whole bodies underneath. Um, and it pushes up and then just, like, crawls forward. They're not very fast. And as it crawls forward, it lifts its head back and it's just going to slam and headbutt uh, Ned in the face. Uh, normal attack. 14. That definitely hits poor Ned the Carpenter. He's got oh. chisel in his hand. That's going to be two damage. How much HP has Ned got? Ooh, he is not looking good. He is very much bloodied. Uh, sitting on one HP right now. End of that spores go. Figgle, it is yours go. If I were to dash to this location, would I have some cover from that rock? No, it's not big enough. It's not big enough. I'm two feet tall. Uh, <laughs> no, this one's this one's more longer than it is tall. It's probably only like an inch off the ground. You could lay Hello, down rock. and go prone. It would then just take half your movement to stand back up. You also yeah, have 25 fine. feet. I'll do that. Yeah, I'm going to dash. It's 50 foot to here. And that will be my turn. I go, charge! While I'm like swinging a sling above my head. Well, actually, I go prone, so I'm not doing that. But yeah. <laughs> you do it on the way over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I run over like, charge! Yeah. And then I stop it and put it, put it back. Yeah. <laughs> if you right click on your token and go to, to um, assign status specs, just give yourself uh, the prone status at the moment. Next up is going to be Oscar the Beekeeper, who is going to Oscar. do as he's told, and say, I, "All right, I'll, I'll help us from back here." And he's going to good, go good, and good man, Oscar. cower behind this rock. And if his go, it's going to be Lily, the, the uh, dairy maid, who is going to what has she got on her? Um, not crazy man. She's going to step forward, uh, I, and she's going to pull out a sling. And she is going to aim for this one. She was inspired by the general's charge. Yeah, she pulled out her own sling. That's, that's past her range, though, so. <laughs> it's 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 it, but, um, she is going to okay. try and attack that one. I was tempted to do this. <laughs> she was like, I, Yes, let's do this, Figgle. And is going to roll a natural four. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it just goes wide. It just goes. And just flies off. And she just looks. It's like that'd be uh -oh. so terrifying. And <laughs> commoners with commoners throwing like hundred mile per hour rocks in directions they can't control. Yeah, you. This you is harder it than whiz, it looks. This be. You hear it whiz over your head, Figgle, and then smack <laughs> into the the big rock over here, and almost like bounces, <laughs> lands straight into Molly's um, uh, head, oh my but God. like flies off and is perfectly fine, and it's not going to hit anyone. Next up is going to be Bert, the uh, the cocky farmer, who is going to. Take cover behind this log. Yep. He's full of shit. Next up is... <laughs> uh, that's 
that's it. <laughs> Fred the innkeeper. Wait, time for Yeah. All right. He's going to... <sighs> okay. And he's going to charge up, and he is going to... What has he got? I don't think he's really got too much. Taken lead from Flair, he's going to take his... Uh... Oh, he's going to light his torch bit here, and he is going to chuck it um, and try to set light. And I think it's that disadvantage here. It's an improvised weapon as well. Uh, 40 feet as well. Yikes. Slightly low, yeah. Um, he, he, yeah, he's not that smart. He's just going to try and copy exactly what you're going for. Um, so let's see how he does. What does that say about me? <laughs> Yes. Uh, I did climb a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Uh, <laughs> so he rolled a 10, uh, and I'll roll another 1d4 for him to see where it might land. No, again, not going to work here. Uh, it lands, and it just lands directly in between Jenny and Molly. As, like, Jenny's just letting it out a scream, and she is just blubbering um, as she's just pulling these strands of uh, the spore out of her mouth, which have just, Christ. like, Essentially, just web. Just... <laughs> Don't. I'm glad I didn't have that on stream because that was very inappropriate looking. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm glad none of you record it. Uh, all right. That is it. Or can of... we? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, actually, I need to. Uh, yeah. Uh, next up it is going to be this boar who had started almost everything off. He is going to see if he recharges. He doesn't recharge. Um, but is going to stumble forward over towards Molly and is just going to try to attempt to essentially latch on and start pulling Molly into its body. Oh, oh I thought this was going. Getting it a hug. But luckily. As Molly like dodges the the pebble that has slung her away from one of her uh, fellow friends, um, <laughs> she happens to use enough momentum to swing her out of the way. And um, these poor caps aren't very dexterous, uh, and only rolled an eight on their attack. Um, oh no, they have advantage on this. Never mind. Natural one. Uh, <laughs> Fifteen. Um, so. <laughs> damage so as you you essentially see head first molly who's just stuck in place and these strands just going down into her throat she just gets pulled head first into uh the spore cap's mouth and then there's just this crunch and her body falls on the floor she is decapitated and very much dead oh no Rip the homie. Uh, next up is going to be you, Malachi. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of chaos going on. There's a lot of just anxious energy from everyone as well. There's just panic. Uh, so, did it? Did, uh... So I'm just going to run up to here and just like grab my spear and sort of like point it towards. Um, the little shroom thing that just destroyed poor mortal Molly. And as I do that, I'm just gonna channel my magics through the spear and just fire for a nice little Eldritch Blast. Go for it. Describe what the energy looks like and the reaction it's like, from you as you do it. So as you, you can see, like the energy just like channel down the spear. And so I'm using the spear as like a uh, Sort of like a rifle towards what color the is uh, your energy. So the it's black, but the inner bit is like a jade. Nice. Okay. Okay. So it's just like a beam. Green jade, presumably. Yeah, green jade. Yep. Okay. Uh, so let's see if we hit. No. Oh. I don't think so. I Definitely don't think not. so. No. This is Sorry, something that so. is new to Malachi, and as you sort of launch your spear forward, it's like just this voice in your head. It's like, yes, headed in the right direction, Malachi. Forward. Finally. Yes. And you launch 
the bolt of energy forward, and it's... Actually, it does that miss? Yes. Uh, it skims off the top of the rock uh, and just goes flying off into the sky, not to be seen again. Are you moving yes. anymore? You also have a bonus action. Yes. Bonus. Uh, shall... Also, uh, you had a point of inspiration if you happen to have wanted to use that. Uh, it's not the <coughs> time. <clears throat> not the time. Not the time. Not the time. <laughs> Forward we shall go and we shall dash. Yes, that's what we were told by her. She said forward. So oh, forward had you already go. moved? Yes, oh, okay, we then. did move. Yeah, sorry, then yeah, that is your max place you can go to. Uh, you had a bonus action, but I don't think you really have anything you can do, unfortunately, yet. No, we can't bonus action yet. Not yet, no. soon. And if you go, yes. Will the Butcher. Um, he is going to start making his way. He's going to dash up here. Let's end up his go. This other sport is going to see if he recharges. He does not, so instead he's going to go for a slam attack versus Ned. These guys just had absolute fucking shit rolls. Um, <laughs> yeah, because Ned's not even um, restrained at the moment. So he doesn't get extra attacks. End of his go. It's going to be Molly's go. Who is now dead. So never mind. Um, there's this other spore who's going to dash towards Molly's body. Wants it to feast. That wasn't... Oh, I had Molly twice. Let me just remove her. Uh, Sam, the fisherman, is going to dash. So first stop up here. And then he's going to get here. End of their go going to be this spores go. Why can't I click anything? Game. There we go. Uh, they are going to dash forward. End of their go. Theo, it is now your go. Alright. <coughs> so, <laughs> what James wants to do is cast a spell. Uh, oh. But what Theo will actually do is run forward uh, to... I guess the highest point for him that he can get closest to, so well, 30 feet from here. Probably going on top of this tree trunk. Halfman is 25. Uh, 25. Oh, it's 25, yeah. She. So one step we back. got short legs. Damn these short legs. I'll go on this rock here yep. instead then. Oh, no. <coughs> it's not that high up, but it'll give you. Climb up there and I'll an show. Extra foot and a half. I stop eating my mates and I'll point. <laughs> <laughs> but these uh, two that are eating Molly's body, the the what? Yep. The, and I will cast. Uh, if, you, a... if you hold Alt and um, right, uh, what is it again? It's just Alt and click. Yeah, hold Alt, left click. Uh, hold left Alt and then left click on them. Um, your target. The target. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Just so I know. Okay. Well. And then yeah, uh, do what you do. Yep, two seconds. Natural 20. Natural 20. Natural 20. <laughs> Natural Fire bolt. Fire bolt. <laughs> uh, also, actually, you know, as soon as chaos heat at the moment, I'm going to use my uh, chaos surge and I'm going to make okay. it an advantaged attack. Yeah, okay, okay, let's do it. Yeah. Two natural 20. Two natural 20. <laughs> two. Uh, do it. Do it. <laughs> Join the dark side. I am the Senate. We have cookies. <laughs> that cast it. Uh, oh, wait. We want a three. Oh, there we go. Roll a three. I'll take actually, one to four. To actually do it. No. Don't roll a six. Oh, <laughs> Don't uh, fix it. So it, at, if you at the very bottom, it should say attack. Yeah. So if you click that attack button. Yeah, yeah. And then do my Ooh. damage on. Oh, I'll do it. Nice. <laughs> Nice, 24 total. That definitely hit him, so... It didn't uh, actually do it advantaged either. Um, oh, uh, so. then roll it again. There's, there should be a little button that says normal or advantage. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. All good. I'll just okay, do it so again. So 24 normal, total, okay. you definitely hit, so roll damage. Yes. Excellent. Normal. Yeah. 
Here we go. Okay, so... Eight or a one. You get to choose what damage it is. Uh, I'm gonna go thunder. Na, 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 sure. na, thunder. thunder. So it does 14 points of damage. Can you Boom. just? It's just like a um. Blow this motherfucker to he the reed. points. Shout stop it, my mates. Grabs the crystal under his shirt, and a black bolt of just chaotic energy flies from the tip of his finger across the forest. Hits this thing and then becomes like a burst of, well, I guess sound. Just boom! As it just erupts in the center of these two shrewdies. Yeah, and everyone, like, for a moment, you, like, react and, like, cover your ears as this uh, creature is just absolutely shredded. And I'm going to dip into the rules of minions here, just be, like, from overkill rules, where it also hits. And this wouldn't normally, like, happen with uh, ranged attacks. It's usually going to just be with melee, but... I think this is cool. 14 points of damage. These guys have 4 HP each. So yes, you blow them up. <laughs> you manage to hit, sort of, it, it, the, the thunderous blow goes directly in between them before it just... The wow. burst of air and sound just shatters their body and just sends them flailing around. Um, and for you, Figgle, there is just a skull of Molly coming flying towards you. Um, as you're like peeking up over the rock, trying to gain some little information, and there's just a head or like <laughs> tongue lolling out and just spinning, and then hits the tree and just thud hits the floor. Uh, and I will say both of these guys are very much dead here. And I'm just rolling my wild magic d20. Okay. Yeah, and uh, that it's only on a natural 20, and then progression from there, right? Uh. No, it's only if I roll a, a one, a crit oh, fail. A critical fail. Uh, but I do. So basically, I roll a d20 after <laughs> using any level one spell or higher. Yeah. So then, because I now pass that one, nothing happens on the wild magic. But now the dice would reduce to a d12 next time I cast a spell. Oh, okay. So it's more likely that a wild magic thing will happen okay. next time. Yeah. Good to know. Good to know. All right. End of your go, right? Yep, yeah, I'm done. Okay. End of your go. It would be that one's go. It's dead. Bit of one. It is now your go. Okie dokie. Um, so do I'll the dead villagers... Or, I knew the well <coughs> or not, the not just the dead villagers, but do any of them have... Okay. Who, who's the one like Nick here that I'm thinking that? That is Ned the Carpenter. Does Ned the Carpenter have a torch or a flame of any kind? No. Damn it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That would have been sick. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll it's not quite pop, up, for that. pop up behind well, everyone because are... my legs are small. Go on. There's that spear that was thrown into the clouds. Is that still a light in between the two dead NPCs? Yeah, you know what? There, there is yeah. there is some kind like, of light. It's, um... It was like here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was It was more like uh, where my oh, mark okay. is, essentially. There's like there's two of them, um, but one of them is like on my mark, so it's a bit further away. It's near the body of... Jack the Shepherd, who is dead. Dies mm. poison. Yeah, I don't think I... I think it's five feet, so I don't think it'll actually do anything. Um, so what about the beekeeper? Does he have bees? Does he have hornets? He does, but he's and, had his go and he's backed away. Yeah. But does he does he have them on it? That's, uh, that's not the guy up there. He's down to the south of you. Yeah, yeah. He has him. He has some. He has one hornet ne um, nest on him. Okay. Um, what are you trying to do here? Let him cook. No, I speak to the hornets. <laughs> um, speak to hornets. Not where you're at. I mean, I they are, they are trapped within this essentially like uh, mud case, and where there are some holes in it to allow some airflow in there. I don't even know if hornets need to breathe, but there you go. Um, and it's just used to then throw and then shatter, um, like one use thing. And he's a bit too far away. You, like you could have gone over towards him, but what what were you trying to do okay. for the hornets? Ask him to help in some kind, but that's fine. Yeah, I'd probably say you know hornets are, are, are dickheads. They're not going to help. Yeah, but if you, you can convince a hornet to just go fuck something up, nope. Especially as they've been caged up here, they're going to fuck, fuck you up. You up. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. closest. Okay. They're not smart. Oh dear. Um, okay. 
I'm not sure what I can do. I so mean, maybe I could use fairy fire. You could. Sixty feet. I don't um, know what the range you could just, is. Here. You could just move as well. You have thirty feet on your thorn whip, um, but I think you're going to be too far. Um, I've already moved. This is the furthest I can go. Oh, oh yeah, twenty-five feet is. Um, I'm a little short guy. Yeah, I, I, you can dash. You could dash. That's what some people have had. To that uses your doing. action. Okay. It means but you don't you get not... to do too much here, but it also means you get to save your spells for later on. Which mm. spoiler? Okay. How I far recommend. can I dash? Another twenty-five feet. It's Just essentially move. two two sets of movement, so you can move another twenty-five feet somewhere until it stops looking yellow when you drag it. Okay, so you could get up on this remark. You can try. There'll be another it, athletics. Get, yeah. Check. Okay, let's try okay, it. Make it. Make it. Let's athletic go. Check for me. <laughs> Fucking hell, how spamming? I'm sorry. So I was trying to fix something on that. Oh <laughs> no, 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 my if... athletics is tragic. I was trying to figure out if I could change the um, the amount I had. Nope. Oh, yes, you can. Oh? Yeah, well, I need to go into my actual inventory. No, no, uh, yeah, in your inventory, you'll need to go in there. So I got a 10. Am I up or am I down? Um, I would say... Halfway. <laughs> so you <laughs> managed to, like, dart around these guys, because you had to pass through them, and you're now just, like, leaning up against it, and you can make carry on making your way up it through it, through it next time. That's okay. going to be the end of your go. It's going to be Ned the Carpenter, who is just... They're not combat savvy, so I'm quickly just going to do a wisdom saving throw. Are they going to run or are they going to fight? They're very much going to turn and try to run. And as they step away, this creature is going to take attack of opportunity and try to slam it, hits him. Ned goes down, just face floor into the floor as this thing grapple, like just rips his leg off pretty much um, from underneath him and is starting to try to swallow him whole. Ned is dead. Ned is dead. I will roll damage really? I need to, though. Like, Never like Ned good. anyway, he was always a bit of a prick to me. Fuck him, I see. Get off me land! He was the only carpenter in this town. In the village. He did build my dad's statue, yeah. Um, I'm lucky. Alright, he's dead. Next and he's coffin. His spot. Is gonna be at least the herbalist who is going to dash. Up towards you, Figure Boss, and say, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Attack! End of that go. It's going to be Tom the Miller, who is going to rush on over. Screaming. No! Ned! <laughs> um, Fuck. Whoa, Whoa. He some distance. He moved. Yeah, that was 60 feet. Damn. He's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. Uh, He's dead. Jenny's go, who is fucked up. See if they have the willpower to stay and fight. Natural 17. They're fucking in it for the money. Uh, they are going to pull out um, a glass shard bomb. Whoa. And it's Whoa. Going to aim at this northernmost one and is going to chuck this. And it's an improvised weapon. Gets a natural 14. Oh my god. Uh, six Kaboom. damage. Wow. Yes, yeah, so let's go. Let's go. This one has one HP. <laughs> Slightly more HP than the others, it seems. A little bit unfortunate. Uh, this north one here. Um, and so this spear comes flying out the air. And the spear, what am I talking about? This glass pouch. She just like swings it around and then just hurls it like... Ugh. Die, you bastard! And then in the air, all the glass just like comes flying out perfectly and just slices straight through multiple parts of this uh, creature who is looking absolutely fucked up. Next up, it's going to be Bessie the Farmer, who as well is going to run up to this like, but what are you doing? And then it's just going to then carry on running up to this. Um, and they're going to have to dash. Wait, Ned, no! Um, and that's going to be the end of their go. Jack's dead. Henry the blacksmith. Um, he is also going to run up here. End of their go. New round. Flair, it is your go. Aha! All right. Uh, I'm going to climb a tree. <laughs> okay. Uh, is Can I climb this tree? Sure. Make an athletics check. Um, okay. Well, 
you only have 25 movement when you get up to it, which means you can't actually climb up, up, up it because you can only move half your movement. Like climbing uh, is... Then maybe I'll just climb this rock here again. Yeah, you can like push okay. push past Fiddle Bottom. So you can make another athletic <laughs> check here. Battle for the rock, king uh, of the hill. Get out. <laughs> Fiddle Bottom, would you help her move up it or would you... Just be like, sure. to get up she, she can step on my head to okay. get up. I would say you <laughs> can just move straight up on top of the rock without me. All right, all right. Boom. I'm on the rock. Okay. And from there, I would like to shoot an arrow at the guy who has one HP just to get him down. Go for it. How far away right. are they from you? 55. Cool. How do I do that? <laughs> uh, so go into your inventory. Yes. And then click on the dice next to your bow. And that'll pop mm -hmm. up and say advantage, normal, or disadvantage. Click normal. Uh, and then click the attack in the chat where it says it has like a little attack. box that says attack. Normal. 15. That is more than enough to hit it. Uh, roll damage, but you have definitely killed this thing. Okay. How should I roll damage? Uh, so there's a damage box under the attack. Ah, I scrolled and there is a damage box. <laughs> yep. Okay. Normal. Ooh, nice. damn. He's absolutely dead. fucking dead. If there was something behind it, this would have killed it as well. Mm. I'd say as you like jump up onto this rock. But do you want to describe how you kill this? Uh I just see it needs killing and I'm just like you know, just quickly put it down humanely. Just a silence and there's a slight yeah. bit of water that just drop dripples from the arrow as you fling it forward. My hand is a bit like damp and I'm like, ugh, it's a bit sticky. <laughs> and it just lands yeah. into the forehead and out through the other side of this spore who is now very much dead. So that's ten damage, that is ridiculous. The damp <laughs> It is the damp bow. Next up. Uh, it was their go next as well, so you've just killed them before they even get to act. Halden, it is now your go. I'll run. I need to actually get the right tool. And I'll... Oh, that's 35. So. Better be. 30 feet, and uh, I'll just ping the one on the left. The, okay. one, the one with the circle around it. With the, another job. Sure. Yeah, it's their go next. <laughs> Can't fall well, I see. I Oh, <laughs> it's so close to an 18. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, they, they can have their turn, actually. Change your mind. Yeah, so you use it off, <laughs> remove another javelin. Um, mm -hmm. You can add them back on at the end of the fight if you remember yeah, to pull okay. it. So you miss it. Um, you have a bonus action, which honestly, I don't think you can do anything yet. You I don't one. think I have any bonus actions yet. Yeah. Nah. All right. Nope. End of your go. Next up is going to be that one who like looks at you like... <laughs> and is going to... <laughs> <laughs> Start hmm. stepping towards you in this direction here. End of there go. This spores go. Who is going to again dash up here? Next up is going to be Figglebon. It is your go. You are currently prone. You can use half your movement to stand up. All right, I'm doing that. I stand up. I move on top of this little move. stone in front of me. Yep. So I remove the prone. He, he spins up his sling above his head and he goes, I was hiding! And then he throws the, the rock at uh, this one in the woods. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's one there. Oh. Yeah, some of, them, some of them are hiding. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> he was hiding. <laughs> Who is he going to hit now? Uh, roll damage for me. Oh, <laughs> Uh, poor Molly's corpse. Oh God! <laughs> it's not a Rocky in your sling. It's just Molly's skull. <laughs> so, first after one in this sort of combat situation, oh, you're like, fuck. "I was hiding," and swing. And as you swing it up, you think you like you let go of it, but it carries on around behind you. Oh, and you're like, man. "Where has it gone?" And you look behind you and. El oh. Ellie's here. Jesus, Colin. Sharp stone sticking through their forehead, and their eyes just go cross-eyed, looking at it, and then just fall backwards, dead. Oh. <laughs> well done. Oh, for well, fuck's sake. Just By me. Yeah. It's okay. It's just everyone has one of those days. <laughs> oh, always me. So, so far, you, you're <laughs> not that game. far away from being able to kill, uh, having killed as many of the villagers as the spore caps have. Uh, <laughs> You have a bonus Brilliant. action. <laughs> Is there anything you want to do? Is there any other villagers you want to kill? Uh, <laughs> try again, maybe? Oh, elegant I can't say anything, mate. I go um, back to hide. I will... Uh, how much more movement I've got? Five. Half of 25, five. 
I will uh, step forth. Okay. That ends my turn. <laughs> just gingerly stares. I like to, I look, I look behind me and I'm like, I pretend not to notice and just carry on. Fred the Incubus like, not Elise, what the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> and I'm going to make a wisdom save from them, actually. Uh, save and throw. Oh god, how many idiots do we have left? Seven. Uh, Lily, they're going to make uh, anyone who's seen this, actually, who is a, not you guys. Seven. We're gonna again. fight the NPCs as well. Um, <laughs> they all turn on us. <laughs> but doesn't see this because he's just fucking. No, not the, the turning only happens after you kill three of them. <laughs> uh, right, end of your go. It's Oscar go. It's like, Flash, should I should I come and help? Are you okay? Uh, the beekeeper. Oh, yeah. Oscar. Uh, no, no, it, it's fine. Just, just say I where you are. It, no, 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 everything's fine. It's, okay. it's, I promise it's all good. <laughs> he just st spends his turn hiding. Lily. <laughs> uh, I want that pet they, They're just busy screaming, and they are going to turn around and just run. Uh, next up is going to be Bert, who sees um, Lily screaming. like, oh. Told him to go, is it? Uh, and they are going to turn and run as well. <laughs> Cowards. <laughs> Don't even have to roll for him. Uh, <clears throat> oh, is it dinner time? <laughs> he's just oh, like screaming. Oh, I'm like, late. He's, he's stuck in between like going to help Elise and stuff, but just like looks at you, Figglebottom, with just beer and turns and runs. Screaming <laughs> the whole time. Fear me. Yeah, there you go. It's Off now we go. Going, Malachi. All right. <laughs> Very simple decision. We go, yes, yes up there. Forward. Oh, we go yeah. forward, yes. Why can't I have the inspiration? That would have been useful. Because <laughs> then it wouldn't have been as fun. <laughs> and then we go channel the beam against this one over here. How do I ping? Left alt? Uh, hold hold your left click. Hold, hold left click. Yep. Ooh. Back go one there. Uh, if we you uh, target it, so hold yeah. um, alt, left alt, and yes. then left click on it. Yes. No, it's not working. We no. There, there you go. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and now do it. Because there should be an animation when you shoot. Whoa. Um, and click damage. Uh, you hit this, but oh, sorry. Boom. Wow. Yeah, so you managed to hit this at three damage. This thing was previously damaged here, so it is actually going to just get blown apart. Do you want to describe it as your energy goes through the air and you've got whispers in your ears? Well, the beam itself, being a jade beam trimmed with the blackest of nights, a point of impact, the it just like sucks up all into one and then just detonates. Nice. It just gets sent of swine, different parts of it in each different direction. It is beautiful. Yeah, and strangely enough, it looks like a bunch of dead rabbits that uh, Flair would have seen a few uh, moons ago. What? Flair, in, just in the briefest <laughs> moments, just staring over at this as this thing is again exploded. Um, but, well, as the beam goes over there, you swear you just see like a rabbit's face in the, the beam. Was, was that a rabbit? And then oh. it's gone. Uh, Will right. the Butcher... He is going to hear the scream and is going to say, ah, what's going on? Uh, um, but he's going to charge up to this, which I don't know if you can see. Um, I'll tell you what, I might be nice here, actually. And do this instead. <clears throat> Whoa. never liked trees, to be honest. God, so there you go. Um, oh, yeah. It doesn't look as pretty, nice. but it'll make it a little bit easier. Um, <clears throat> In the future, I won't I can see through the canopy. <laughs> I've got eyes. <laughs> the hills of eyes. Oh. Um, but yeah, he oh. is going to use his pitchfork he's got on him. There's three still up, right? And that is going to be a nine. It's not going to be enough to hit. End of their go is going to be this spore's go. Who is going to stand over the body here and is going to use their spore burst. Oh, never mind. Let's see if they recharge it. They don't, so they dash and get a little bit closer. And there they go. Would have been Molly's, but she's dead. Uh, it's now going to be. Wait, why 
is it not showing me? Oh, there you go. Um, it's going to be this one's go who's going to move ever closer to you. Fig bottom, and it's like along, going along for like, meh, meh, and its tongue is like whipping out um, and leaving like spores floating in the air. End of there go. It's now going to be Sam the Fisherman's go. She, hearing the screaming, a little bit perturbed, looks around. She's steadfast. Um, she is going to... There's not too much she can do here. Um, she can come here. She's going to step forward, and she's going to take a swing. Their pitchfork. 19. All right, that's great, Sam. She is fucking solid. Does one point of damage. Um, but it's something. This creature is starting to look damaged. End of there go. It's now your go, Theo. Yeah, I'm gonna start just by running a bit closer again. And now I'll get on top of this log. Alright. Uh, and. Uh, I don't wanna. I don't wanna use another spell. Um, so I'll use a cantrip. Go for it. And I'll point my little my little stubby thingies again, and uh, this time I will use. One second, infestation. So I point at the mushroom, and a cloud of uh, flies start flying out of my sleeve. I guess. You have thirty <laughs> feet of target oh, this run. Fuck yeah, thirty feet is an infestation. Well, tits. Uh, the one so, here, by the way, Tom. Off. Yeah. These spore cards, did they retract into oh. the dead bodies? Yeah, you are right. Well, actually, one of them did. One of them did. Shit. So uh, okay, I'm just gonna uh, use my action to dash them. This one is and I'll here. Go. Here. Mm. I really don't want to get spored though, as well. Um, you can see that it's around 10 foot range from the center of the creature, and you can see that with dash they move 10 feet. So I'm gonna go on this this rock here. Right, okay. And that's it. No, I've got nothing else. You're a brave man standing behind me. I'm, I'm getting behind you, and I have a. I'll pull my less of a quarter staff and more of like a big walking stick off my back. Okay. And just ready myself. <clears throat> both Sam and Will both take two points of poison damage. Thanks for that. Uh, remind me of that. And Bessie the farmer. Um, yeah, she also takes damage. Um, end of your go. Fit of bomb. Is now yours. See that one sneaking out the bushes there? And I point over to the right, try and point him out for uh, Figgle. Um, yeah, Fiddle, it is your go. Closest one to you is 45 feet. <laughs> Fortunately, I think the ones closest to you were killed earlier on. Um, it's been a little bit of a bullshit okay. fight. Oh, I'll give Flair the rock instead of fighting over that. Yeah, if you if you move, you'll be able to be in range um, of one. Um, Probably this one on the right, or this one on the left up here. Yeah. Figgle could have someone on the right. Yeah. How far away? Twenty-five yep. from that you can, one. You can do attack, so you can use your thorn whip. So there's a dice roll next to the icon on thorn whip your spell. Yep. I will do that. Never actually seen the spell used. It doesn't do anything. Wait, does it? Click yeah, attack it does. here. Yeah, yeah. Does it not right. pull them towards you? Uh, you oh, damage. Sh oh, oh shit! shit! Fortunately, oh come on, you rolled, oh, rolled advantage. advantage. Oh, you done it oh. again! Oh. I'm not clicking anything different. Though. Yeah, yeah, no. first roll. Um, I will allow you just to take the natural twenty, um, because this is obviously Yippee! something issue on the founders' roll, and that feels shit if I didn't. So I'll allow you to have this. Um, so roll damage. It'll be a critical hit. Okay, so a click critical. Yeah. Perfect. Then, okay. uh, wow. Oh, oh my rolls. god. Ooh, boy. That's outrageous. So, describe to me how you rip this thing apart with a, a vine like whip that's covered in thorns. Imagine every single thorn in the whip has wrapped itself around with enough power that the mushroom has just gone poof. Yeah, it just wraps all around it and it's just shredded it to pieces. And as you like pull back on it, it's just like flown up into the air and it's like a confetti of this mushroom. And there's just this gunk that gets flown 
across everywhere as well. Not very nice, but very nice indeed for the damage anyway. And it is very much fucking dead. <laughs> um, I think you have a bonus action, but I don't think there's really much you can do with it. So I think How far that... away from... Can I not do the same thing twice? Uh, no. So you get one attack action. Uh, like one action, and that Thorn Whip takes an action. Is anyone hurt? Um, you look around, the uh, the main people that are still damaged is Flare, and then the villagers. Yeah, but I'm alright. I have like one HP down. All the, all the villagers up towards the north, aside from this guy down here, are damaged. Um, on the left hand side. Uh, on the right hand side, Jenny is pretty fucked up, but it's up to you, you if you want to use your healing that on them. <clears throat> They're not that important. More cannon fodder is always more good though. Yeah. I mean, nah. I'll, we can I'll kill be them chill. before they die, I think. We chill. Okay, any of you are going. Would be Ned. He's dead. Uh, Ned is, is dead. Because we're off, Tom. We'll roll a saving throw on his side because I think he's a little bit fucked up here. Nope, not going to make it. Mm. He's going to turn and turn tail, and it's just going to start running. No, this is too much, too much, too much. Wolves, yes, whatever the fuck these are, no. And he has run off. Jenny, who is absolutely bloodied, is just going to, let's see, quickly. Are they going to curl up on the floor, or are they going to stay and fight? They roll a natural four. They crawl up into a ball and start crying. This is all too much for them. Okay. Uh, next up, Bessie. Um, she's made of tough things. She's going to rush up here. She's going to take a swing with a uh, torch spear. It's not on fire. She's going to take a hit. Uh, nine, that misses. End of their go. Would be Jack the Shepherd's dead. Henry the Blacksmith. Uh, I already had him. No. Wisdom saving throw. Natural 18. Paul pulls out his hammer and he's going to charge forward. Uh, and is going. I don't know why I said he moved further than that. Um, right. He's going to attack with his hammer. Being a blacksmith. 15 hits. Um, 8 points of damage. Jesus nice. fucking Christ. This thing is just being overwhelmed by uh, three other people plus him. So. He just swings around onto it. And you don't get advantage for flanking in this. I did mention announcements, but you don't. Um, and this thing is very much dead. Just brings down the hammer from above and just crushes its um, skull in, which has no real solidness to it at all. Like, it is just mushroom. End of his go. Start like, of round. Flair, it is yours. I thought I was going to have a dilemma picking between which one I'm going to have to kill. But now, <laughs> it's very easy. Uh, can I shoot him from here? Is there trees in the way? Am I good? Or should I move a bit? I'd say you can bend and shoot. All right. <clears throat> cool. Uh, let me do the thing. I click on the, the damp bow. I click on attack. Normal. Cool. Damn. Ooh. All right. And now we do damage. Jeez. Perhaps. Yep. Yes. Do damage. Okay. You <laughs> definitely fucking hit him. All right. You get the idea. They're not too hard to hit. They um. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Okay. <laughs> Very nonchalant. Christ, I'm just, just like, what kid. needs to be done is done. Very low key. I'm just like, and then it's done. And it explodes into a million pieces. And I look away like cool guys and look at explosions. You just imagine casual. that and then you look back and it's just like falling back dead. Because um, yeah. <laughs> your, your arrow has just managed to hit like a key part of its nervous system. And it is mm. just kind of crumpled into itself. Not falling backwards, but just crumpled. And the arrow is just like sticking out. Uh, behind it. Nice. Uh, and All that right. is going to be end of combat. So, GG. What we I will do is, yeah, you can collect your javelins so you can add them back on. Um, experience wise, uh, oh. I need to shoot stuff more often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did nothing that let's fight is still an NPC. <laughs> 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 the only, only contribution I had was killing a teammate. 
You try. That's all. <laughs> you got to kill. I was desperately trying to get in for. Uh, yeah. For a what's the XP try. for killing your teammates? You uh, you got to make that one lady to uh, to run in, but she also instantly died. So yeah, I feel like two. There's two villagers oh, yeah. on your hand, bro. <laughs> uh. How can we get extra XP for that? Um. How can we get negative? Kill, XP a kill's a kill. XP is XP. <laughs> I mean, it is XP. You 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 will learn from it. So you know what? I will allow it. <laughs> But there will also be other consequences um, with it. So you'll gain XP as a group from that kill. Um, the village will remember that. But Fickle's going new, to jail. There's a new vacancy in one of the homes. <laughs> That's the consequence. But I have a new place there's to live. There's just mouths to the, feed. The yeah. The wow. who uh, helped your mum, specifically Halden, is dead. You knew this woman. Oh. <laughs> uh, and we're going to come back after a break. Oh. So, okay. uh, a little bit later than I uh, meant to. But <laughs> wow. thank you very much, guys. Um, we're going to go into a quick break. We will be back momentarily. Um, I will turn off the music and sort that out in a moment. Uh, but yeah, we'll go into a break and we'll see you guys in a bit. Ciao.
All right, welcome back. We'll switch up the music so you can dive away from the tequila song. Uh, if anyone got that, because uh, it's elevated music, but it also goes along the same tune as the tequila. I'll turn down the off uh, forest sounds. And we are back. Hopefully you all had a nice break. Um, I definitely did. I was actually able to go and get a banana and eat something. Um, but yeah, we're going to be coming back into a scene where essentially a bunch of villagers have died. One, two, three, four. Four villagers have died, plus a bunch um, have run away. So you are now left with six villagers. Um, the party have in total earned 150 XP each. Uh, I will be double checking as to how um, about tracking it on your sheets. Um, and uh, then 100, uh, 300 is the XP you need for level two. So you're halfway there. Um, Living on a prayer. You take one point of psychic damage. <laughs> Not even joking. Uh, Noted. <clears throat> and <laughs> uh, one of the villagers was killed by yours truly, Figglebottom, who rolled a natural one on his sling and slung a, uh, a very sharp rock back into her forehead, piercing and absolutely obliterating and shattering her scar skull. And uh, that also gained you some extra XP. So that was why you were able to get up to 150 XP each. Um, it was 900 total split between six of you. Um, you have a couple of villages remaining, but this is we're going to be coming into this as the scene is finishing, as uh, the final um, spore cap is collapsing, or an entangling spore cap to be exact. Um, it's collapsing on the ground from the last shot from Flare, uh, the tree climber, or tree faller. And there is... In the corner on the top left-hand side, you can just see Henry, Sam, the fisherman, Will, the butcher, and Bessie, the farmer, just going to Hat Town with a hammer and a couple of pitchforks, just obliterating this thing. They are currently just lost in the moment. Jenny, the candle mat uh, maker, is just curled up on the floor at the moment, just crying and sobbing at this point. Um, and Tom, the miller, carries on his way and is running. Um, Flair from behind you, you hear her. Is it over? Should, should I come out? From Oscar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? I'd stay there. Oh, I'll we'll okay. wait till the area seems uh, cleared and I'll let you know, but stay there. <laughs> roll a persuasion check for me. Okay. Luckily, I have pretty all right persuasion. Da -da -da. Natural one. <laughs> okay, Ooh. cool. Um, but yeah, what's going on? There is just the sound of smashing and yelling and screaming from the top left, and then just crying from Jenny as he just, she just cradles and rocks on the floor. Figglebottom will run to El... Well, it's not you very far, move. but I'll, I'll move next to Elsie and um, I will close her eyelids, <clears throat> first of all. I'll go, How? How? Come here! I will run over. <laughs> I've what? done something terrible! It was a mistake! How, how how can we lay her to rest? I'm so sorry! It was an accident. I, I saw it. You do not need to feel the blame. I, I, how can I make this right? In time we will return and bring her home. But we should leave her here for now, with the rest. As you're saying this, um, <clears throat> the other four kind of realize what has happened um, and they start moving over. Um, Can we convince them it's just And hearing that there's an fault. accident they're just like staring over and just like panting. Um, Will comes over to Jenny and starts like trying to help her out and Bessie as well and they're just trying to comfort her. But Henry's like walking over like what's going on? What happened to Elsie? What are we Who telling her? <laughs> Uh, the the stone in my sling it 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 slipped. It was I, an I'm accident. I'm so sorry. You killed her. Oh God! By accident. Murder. We're meant to be friends. And we are friends. I'm no. sorry. Steps up and just like has his hammer in his hand and is just grinning I step tightly. Between them. Me too. Come on, no, there's no need for that, is there, fellas? It was an accident. We all saw it. Things happen in the. In the chaos of battle, he didn't mean it, did he? 
He didn't hate LC. She's just my hand on wrong the, place at the wrong time. On the guy's shoulder and just say, there's been enough suffering today. Theo, if you roll a persuasion check for me, which we've just talked about, you have 20 charisma. How? Wait, how did you get 20 charisma? That is insane. Uh, Both my background stats are in charisma. Fair enough. So I'm a pleb at everything else. <clears throat> but I'm very, <laughs> well, I'm very charismatic, I am. <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm catching, you are. trying to catch people out of trees. <laughs> So you roll that. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> um, oh, Yikes. Halden, you put your hand on him, and he is bristling with anger. Are you... How are you trying to persuade? With words and your posturing? Like, what? what is... How are you trying to defuse the situation as Theo is just being overly happy in such a macabre sort of situation that Henry's just kind of just got one at hand and is just pushed Theo in the face and just like trying to shut him up and just staring directly um, at the figure bottom. I, I think you can see on, on Hal's face that he is also devastated by it given he knew LC mm. very well and is trying to show the, the, the fact that he is not angry about what happened. Should mean that they shouldn't be either. How could you not care? They're our friend. They helped raise you. But it was an accident. They, they were trying to protect us. And mistakes happen. And tragedy can come from mistakes. He just kind but of shakes why, his head. Why and... lead to more tragedy? More suffering? As he shakes his head, his eyes and face sort of go down to Molly, who's head is missing and Sam the fisherman just lets out a scream and howl as she realizes this disfigured face at her feet is that of Molly the weavers which was sent flying after one of the creatures was blasted open with thunder damage earlier on from a chaos bolt from none other than Theo and this head went flying bashing against the tree landed and Sam screaming looking at this having sort of been panting and come face to face with this just torn up and face that started to be dis dissolved and it's just screaming just staring and it's just stun locked screaming into this face at the moment and Henry just walks over to Molly and is just going to um, take off their cloak and cover them and Bessie is going to just try and drag Sam back why don't you uh, say some prayers or something now? Maybe that. Charisma, boys, you know. come on. <laughs> by beast or by stone, their fates were set the moment they stepped on the trail. Yeah, that's not particularly comforting. <laughs> this is why I said Hal should say something, not you. <laughs> uh, um, <clears throat> I, I think I'd walk up to Molly and Jenny. why we urge over. caution. Why we Molly? urge safety. Uh, no, yeah. I'm not Molly saying that I disagree with you. I'm just uh, saying Jenny it's not what like, they need to hear right, right as well, right? Hang on a minute. Let Theo and Malachi finish. Sure. No. It's all good. I was just saying, I think that uh, that's not what yes. these people need to hear. Um, and these people need checks of reality. Roll an intimidation check for me, uh, Malachi. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, <laughs> good. No, he's good at it, too. It's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Intimidation. Yep. Mm. Let's go. Oh. Uh, That's enough to trigger a check. Um, that doesn't sound good. I do realise the irony yeah. of the guy who's clearly crazy talking about reality. Natural 17, natural 17. <laughs> oh no, what's happening? <laughs> natural 15. Oh my god, what's happening right now? Are we uh, in combat? Check it to see if they're pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> it's a pissed off check. Christ. And a 13. So, Very high as rocks. Malachi is saying this, Henry, who had walked over this and covering up the body, and has Jenny, who has been comforted by Will, just sort of like 
crying and Cradling just rocking backwards on the floor at the moment and Will's gotten on the floor and is just holding on to he he's holding fast. He seems to be together. But Henry just loses his shit. He just turns around and he is gonna take a swing at Friggle uh Figgle Bottom. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I able to try and step in the way? No. Okay. He rolls an eight. Uh, Are wait, we gonna no, die? Here? Does not hit. Okay. Um, he just swings out, and thematically, if you want, you can say you step in the way, Halden, and block it. Mm -hmm. And he is just it's crying, just and tears are just going down his head. Um, roll, what is your... Mm, I would say you know, because of the connection. You know that Henry and Elise have been partners in the past. And, and I, so I, I this think, is a lot. Yeah, I would hug him first off. Okay. He just collapses into your shoulder, just crying, snot everywhere. He drops his she hammer lives on, on the floor. Your... She lives on in our memory now. Don't let that go in vain. Go home. Be safe. We'll see this through. Mm. Bessie walks over and puts her hand on his shoulder and just like pulls him away. Come on, Henry. Maybe you can catch up with the others. And... She's going to also help Jenny up, and they are going to all three of them walk off. Sam gets her composure they, back after being pulled back. Are they taking the dead? Or are they just leaving them? They they will do. Yeah, they were just stepping okay. away here. Um, they're probably going to walk away, and then they'll come back. Um, I, th I think you, I would add to mention to to bring the bodies to his father. Okay, so yeah. that they can get a burial they deserve. Yeah, um, Bessie nods. Yeah. Um, you know, Bessie is uh, one of the farmers um, who was also heavily affected by this. Essentially, all her like flock of sheep were just fucking torn apart. One of her, her fields and um, were quite far away, and her sheep were out grazing. And yeah, there was just blood everywhere and everything gone. So she had very little to lose here. Her father, her husband's dead um, due, due to disease, and so. She was coming out here to try and do her best, and they all collect up the bodies <clears throat> um, and look to start making their way back. But Will and Sam stand fast and look at you guys, nod. And what are you guys doing? Uh, can I propose something? I feel yes. like I want to go to that building fun? we saw. No, mm -hmm. I mean it could, but <laughs> that's the yeah. plan. You know, it's sub of the plan. I think we should go to the building. That we saw. I I had a really high perception, and I don't think we would have saw it, seen it without it. I think it could be something cool. And I don't think more villagers need to die today. It's a place Just of a thought. Oh, These two Opposed? steeled their souls, ready to accept the inevitable. I need to get out of here. Yeah, we do need to go somewhere. Are these two yeah. villagers coming with us? Or? Yes. Okay. Which, that, which two uh, is it? These two here. So this is um. Uh, I don't know why it's not showing it. Um, here, let me. Here we go. And Oi. there you go. So you should be able to hover over across both of these, and there's Will and Sam. Oh yeah. <clears throat> and we're in well, sort of spring. Yeah. Spring, right? Yeah. And how? What sort of climate is it like? Is it f still freezing cold at nights? Would we need somewhere to be inside, or could we sleep outside with a fire? Or I mean, it's currently it is like you've been traveling for a good set of numbers, but you you guys made really good fucking rolls, and you also know these forests. It's the part after the stream that would be a little bit slower. You've only been traveling for about four four hours, maybe four and a half hours. So there's still plenty of daylight. Uh, in regards to the weather, you know what? Roll a one d hundred for me. Let's see what we get. High is better. Okay, sure. Low as well. Okay. Uh, one second. All of us, or no? Oh, just, okay. just one side. Uh, that'll be Theo. Theo controls the weather. I think uh, my PC oh, is probably nice. a bit shitter than everyone else's, so my foundry takes a little while for the rolls to actually come up. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well, I can see. We can do that in the future. Twenty-eight. So, yeah. Twenty-eight. All right. <clears throat> Halfway through the day. And 
I mean, okay, that makes zero sense. That's not going to happen here. Um, Hailstorm. <laughs> something Forest that... fire sweeps through. <laughs> you all die. And lightning. <laughs> very, very you, frightening. You hear some celebrating in the distance, uh, and it's a gender revealing party, and the whole forest gets set alight. Um, oh. No. Instead, there are <laughs> clouds that have been kind of building up throughout the morning. Um, <clears throat> and at this point, it has started to rain. But these clouds look extremely dark. Um, and you will know that there are, at times, ashen rain that comes down um, from beyond the mountains. <clears throat> and it's not very pleasant. It's not going to hurt you. But... Not yeah. ideal. It's not ideal. It's it's not going to have any real issue for you unless it turns heavy. Then it's going to have an issue and it will slow you down. But for now, it's fine. It's just light rain. Um, but it's just going to dirty you. Um, and there's a slight sulfuric sort of uh, smell <clears throat> um, as as the hours go on. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't mind heading to this building if that's what All you right. guys think we should check Let's out. Let's figure or... out how to get to the building. Yeah, how do, do you... it. How do you get there? <laughs> uh, how do shelter, you get there? Shelter, shelter, yes. Oh, shelter from the rain. Rain, Did you expect us to do this in the first session? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow, cool. <laughs> you you like orange, there, Malachi? <laughs> this is a weird building. Is this Malachi's home? This place we're going to. Um, so, also, I will note, uh, Flair, you don't know where Oscar's at. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oscar? Your mate, the beekeeper. Cool, good Where's to know. He gone? Moving on. Oh god, no! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Who? Wait, what? He's just gone? Yeah, he's just not with you. You don't know where he is. Oh, um, he's been stolen. <clears throat> oh, the names are probably still hiding in them bushes over there. A wolf's captured him. Can I check, or is he just gone? Uh, you can have a check if you want. You okay, I'll have a quick survey of the area. Um, you can go over to where the the rock was if you want. Oscar. <laughs> Uh, Oscar? Roll, roll the perception check. Alright. I like... <laughs> I like how you're, like, trying to fight us, you guys. Oscar? No! Oscar! <laughs> oh dear. Are you uh, saying, like, are you just walking around saying Oscar? Oscar! This is a scene in a horror movie where you walk around and his mangled body is in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> and you right, walk by, right by going. it and you don't even notice. Uh, so... What happens? Um, is it worth climbing a tree? No. Um, okay. Oh, you said you were reformed. <laughs> I just don't know where to go. Or Stop what to do. Around. Where is he? So <laughs> the only over... answer is climbing a tree. Tree climbers anonymous. <laughs> you're, you're over here. Um, and you, okay. you see next oh. to, the, to the rock an arm. Oh, no. no. Uh, oh, it's got him. Um, and you see next to him, uh, as you come past this rock and you just see him slowly being eaten, um, by this thing, just enveloped, uh, by this mushroom who's just like staring at you, like just deadpan while, and his, his body is just getting slowly pulled in. Fucking shoot it in the is... face. <laughs> okay, roll an attack That's roll. so not okay. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> right between the eyes. You told him to stay oh in there. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> That's outrageous. I can't. On the plus side, some uh, someone needs to look after the bees now. <laughs> so you shoot it and you do kill That's it. enough to kill it. That is like straight up. It actually had 10 hit, hit, HP, by the way. Um, <laughs> exactly. So you... Uh you pull back your an arrow, just like tears going down your face, like fucking angry. You just pull your bow back. I'll never get that bee. <laughs> and as you shoot into it, um, with enough force, it just shatters the small um, hornet uh, <laughs> casing that was on, like in, like on the body. It was about to be enveloped, and that your arrow just goes through it and through the body and straight into like on the central nervous system of the spore cap who just uh, just fumbles like <laughs> um, Can we still save him? Is there time? We'll see. For mo for right now, uh, can you roll a constitution saving throw for me, please? Yes. 
as a swarm of hornets comes flying out. <laughs> oh no! As you shattered oh, their container. Okay. Right, you save it, um, which also means you're not going to actually take any damage here, but they just fuck off and fly okay. away as you're like swatting around. They want nothing to do with it. Um, <laughs> Get out. And then I go to him and I say, Oscar, Oscar, can you hear me? And I like shake him a little bit. I mean, so half his body is consumed by this thing. Okay. And your arrow went through part of like Oscar as well. Oh, into... oh no. <laughs> it's just showed half a corpse. Can you I hear know. me? I need, I need help over here. And I call roll, over the game. Roll the medicine check for me as well. Okay. But that is going to be I have another high med. as well, actually. Really? Yeah. God damn. For, for everyone, as in combined. Um, sorry. Hey! So it will be instead a thousand um, <laughs> divided by. Oh my god. Oh, bloody. There's hell. every chance he could be alive. You like pull your arrow out and you're like, you've survived from worse today. And you're just like shaking him and like trying to pull him out. And as you're pulling his like body out, his skin just gets. Do you know what degloving is? Yeah. Oh, oh, wow, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I literally comes scream. Out and his cheeks and everything are splayed out behind him uh, as the oh, yeah. you are exerting to like, pull him out here, um, thinking he would be alive, and all you see is just... Uh, this is my godfather. Do well. any other villagers see this by any chance? I forgot he was your godfather. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. Uh, no other villagers see this, but you will hear the scream. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god. I think I just stand. I walk away. I just process what just happened, and I, I don't. I never talk about it. It goes in the vault. Kerplunk. <laughs> All right, lads, let's go to the building. Uh... Wait, what did you do there? Sorry. I just repressed it. She compartmentalized and walked away. That is that is vile. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god! Fine, I don't ever want to think about you, that ever again. Love, and I will kill it. Um, <clears throat> so fucked up. <laughs> Why would you do this? <laughs> you left him there. He was like, "Should I go?" No. I didn't just want to see what area. happened with Molly. <laughs> All oh. right. All right. He just thought so. Like someone was behind him. He didn't check it. He was focused forward ahead, and next thing he knew, he was being devoured. Um, he could have lived, even. Like, that's the thing. <laughs> if only you sent him home. Uh, Alright. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god. So you start moving up. Uh, you come up onto this trail here. Um, and you know that there is two ways across this river. They both end up in a similar way. One is just an old way that is just a bunch of stepping stones across one of the smaller streams and then you have to go across another large section um where it's like a little bit more difficult but uh you can go across the big one on the right hand side i can see that she's like shit talking my name to her stream right now i love it um, no no sorry my, i have um do you know aqua no Oh, he's just some CS guy, but he's in my chair, so I was just like, oh, ah, sorry. Ah, okay, cool. Um, <laughs> he just yeah, so... ruined his whole life in a single sentence there <laughs> as well. He's just, <laughs> just some CS, CS guy. guy. Shush. Just, just some CS guy. Taylor? Yeah, just some casual We're just some CS guys, to be fair. Um, but I would say... <laughs> Actually, yeah, I love the bug which... trail. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's just coming out of... Is it Will? Yeah, Will's a little damaged here. Oh, it's showing up now when I hover. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I changed it. Um, they would have actually both taken a short rest um, within that, actually. You guys don't have to um, use any hit dice, but... <laughs> Wait, why have they gone on hit? Uh, either way. I mean, yet to be hit, I don't so... think we're that injured, are I we? I think I'm okay. I'm I've, taken one de uh, I've taken one point of psychic damage. <laughs> I'm, I'm also just one point down. I'm cool to keep going. Um... But yeah, so uh, which way are you going to go? I shouldn't have actually moved you over here. Um, you can either go across the bridge, which is just a single one, or you can go off to the left and go across the pebbles and then have to wade through the other part. Well, we were heading so we probably the go through the bridge Where now. is it? I, I, I put the spear, my spear in the ground, and then I see which way it falls. <laughs> okay. We go the other way. Uh, roll the 1d2. <laughs> <laughs> roll the 1d2 roll the for me. Two is uh, if it falls to the right. Okay, one is to the left. <laughs> We're All not right, going to left. the left. Oh. Which, uh, which one is closer <laughs> to the house? <laughs> <laughs> On half of us, like two feet tall, so probably take the safer route. 
Yeah, bridge, bridge makes no. sense. Well, the, <laughs> There's probably going to be a troll under the bridge, realistically. Right. But... You fall off the step into it. Actually, four feet, all right. Sorry, you min max the XP. Let's get the troll. Can I, for clarity as well, all right, what races are used to tall boys? I'm just a human. You're a Half human. Elf. Half elf. Flare, what, what race are you? Half elf. Half elf as well, okay. Yeah. All right, so you two are real tall, and then you've got us short. Short boys in the back. <laughs> yeah, my, my guy's like five ten. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely like a, a fellowship kind of situation. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Question is, am I boring here? Or go on. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Luckily, I don't know if maybe wolves can shoot bows. Um, maybe there'll be some more archive here. Uh, anyone got the one ring? <laughs> Okay, Molly says take the bridge. I've we got a magical crystal that my granddad said only I could carry. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so um, Malachi is saying go right. Um, Farm of the bridge. Yeah, you're gonna go to the bridge. Yeah. Okay. I'll follow sure. over. I think's leading me to this building. <clears throat> All right. So I'll just drag you up here. Whee! Um, <clears throat> and are you doing anything whilst you're going across? It just looks like a, it's a, a wooden log and bri lo wooden logged bridge. It's very old, but it looks like it's stood up to the, the test of time. How deep is the water? Um, it's actually quite fast in this area. Um, it looks so probably like... about like 15 feet in the center. Okay, so very much could not wait through. Right. Certainly can try. Well, I'm not 15 feet tall. So. <laughs> Although I suppose I would, <clears throat> with my armor, I would attach myself to the bottom, so maybe I could walk it. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, there the was a cat. We love cats here. Um, okay, Malachi just walked straight across the bridge. Uh, yeah, Malachi, can you make a... Nothing, you're fine. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll cross it is just a bridge, we wander. Will and Sam, like, wash their hands and their faces. Getting the blood off them. Brother? Yes? Have you killed someone before? <laughs> Shit. Um, only, only guilty people, brother. Why? I feel bad. It's okay. It was an accident. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. I walked across. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um... You will end up getting across perfectly fine. And we will move on to uh, the next side of the forest. I don't know which one of these I've used before. Let's have a look. Ooh. Forest. Let me just check. Okay. That has worked. Um, and so you carry on walking across the bridge. Um, where are you going? You said about house. And... House. Okay. Um, so, Flair. I need you to make a... Hmm. Either history, to try and recall the information of the la different landmarks on the way there and the direction, um, or a perception check. Um, All right. I'll give you a perception check. But that's I will cool. say perception would be with disadvantage. Okay. That's fine. Oh. Would have been a natural 20. Uh, no! Still not bad though. Take that. That's so sad. Well. We'll take it off. It's All not right. terrible. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Not bad, but bad. it's not great either. Um, it's it's going to take you quite a lot longer to catch on to where it is. Mm. Figgle. It's Figgle, right? Flame. Yeah. You. What are you, are you doing? Anything in this instance? Uh, are we? Well, Figgle. In the in. Like right at this moment. Ah, uh, yes, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Uh, I, I know the direction of the tracks, and that is, I don't. You did. Yeah. But you... Well, I can't, I, I, in the forest, I don't think, like, yeah. Well. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Okay, whatever. So, so to clarify on where you were out with those tracks, you followed them up to the point in which. Uh, you got quicker directions from Flair to be able to get towards the stream. You were fairly certain you'd be able to pick them up again, um, but you haven't yet attempted to since you got across the water and you hadn't checked on the way there either. 
Okay, I am doing nothing. Nothing? Nope. Okay. Um, is anyone else doing anything or saying anything? Whilst you are... Essentially, at the moment, Flair is just looking around, looking for, like, points and trees that she recognize, recognizes, which, you know, she's not the worst at. Um, it's something she does quite often, obviously, trying to travel around the forest through uh, specific tree types and such. But coming over towards this other side of the... Um, the stream. Um, there's a few other different types of trees here. There's slightly di different foliage. There's no path whatsoever um, after the the bridge here, so it's going to take her a while to really sort of clue in. So you guys are going to be wandering around um, for a chunk of time. So do we know? Like, so so we're at the bridge. Do we know which direction from the bridge would take us to where the tracks would go? Uh, there's been no attempt to try and find the tracks. You can try if you want. Oh, yeah, we really. don't even know if them wolves came this way. It would be a, on less survival, than seven. a survival. Uh, yeah, survival track. The track. So, I don't uh, think you're any way. good at that. But... Given the fact I'm terrible at that, I will probably ask Figgle. Um... I... Isn't... How do we go to the building? Fla Flair's leading the way. But we yeah, need but to know where to go The next. wolves could be going the same way. You know? Maybe. It's okay. worth a look, ain't I'll it? Look. While, while she's finding our bearings, let's find the wolves. Or at least the track. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see them. <laughs> you don't know if it's the fact that you've just been completely taken off um, pass or anything. Um... Flair is heading in a direction now, like 30 percent like, it must be this way. Um, it's now been probably another hour since you guys have left the bridge. You guys have just been going and walking and looking for specific landmarks. For all of you, this is probably pretty scary. This is the side of the river that you don't go. Like, this is far beyond. And most of you wouldn't have even come up to this stream. There's only, out of you, maybe Malachi, Figglebottom, and Flair... Maybe Fiddlebottom as well, if you were going out collecting herbs or anything, but it really depends on how you feel about that. Um, how you wouldn't have, Theo. I just don't I don't see why you guys would have. Um, if I take one more step, this is the furthest from the village I'll ever have been. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, true, true Bristolian. Okay, hear me out. He doesn't take psychic damage for that. <laughs> no, because it's actually from a That's good an movie. That's reference. Shit. I, I hate living on a prayer, I don't know why. Just can't <laughs> now, I know this is going to sound crazy, okay? Don't climb a tree! You better not! What else is there? What else can we do right now in this situation? If I just You're climb a tree, us. What do you mean? everything would be fine. Like, just Maybe don't well, pull so, up. So, Flair, who was kind of guiding you around, was like, turned around like, right. <laughs> I need to climb a tree right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm climbing uh, the tree. I don't think Are there any animals around? A... Um, could be. Uh, roll the perception oh, check. Oh, true. I just nearly choked to death laughing at my own joke. Uh, that, that is, is that is something. <laughs> That's Pete. Okay. Normal. Pete referencing. Yep. Normal. There you go. Bosh. Fourteen. Nice. Okay. All right. you, Seventeen. While sort of lurking a little bit further behind everyone else, you're able to see um, a bird, a robin, sitting on a branch of a tree off to your left, who is just sort of looking at you. Okay, well, they climb you... trees all the time, so I can ask them. Can they fly up and see if see if they can see the building or walls? Um, well, are you going up to it? Like, what what are you doing here with this Robin? This Robin is just sitting here looking at you, like, turning its head. I'm going to um, whistle at it and be trap. like, hey, come here. Come, it... come talk to me. <laughs> Flies and <laughs> lands on your shoulder and just like looking up to you and then look, like, look, looks around, looks at the rest of your party who are sort of walking forward um, and you can hear Flair like, come on, I'll be fine. I'm gonna, I, I'll, I'll be safe this time. <laughs> I've got a rope, it's fine. I'll and, secure. Yeah, and you've got this little bird just sitting on your shoulder, waiting, listening. Okay, well, I'll ask it. I mean, I can give it a little bit of a ration or something, give it a bit of water. I'll ask it. Have you seen any walls around? And can you fly up and have a look for the walls? Because we already know where the building is. We just don't know where the wolf is. Okay. Um, and so you've got to speak with small beasts, right? I do. Um, yeah, so this is through sort of whistling and other bits. You can get general information and similar ideas. But can you make two rolls? 
a animal handling check and a persuasion check. But the persuasion check, because you're using your, some of your rations, make that with advantage. Okay, so animal handling first. Yep. Ooh, big. Oh, big. Massive. <clears throat> and persuasion, you say, yeah, with advantage. Yep. Large. Oh my god. Oh my god, all right. <laughs> so, as the rest of the party are just kind of at a loss, um, Figure was trying <laughs> to so find these tracks. Flair is trying to persuade the party to <laughs> let her go up in the trees again. Uh, she's promising this is going to be the last time that it's just a treat. Um, <laughs> Theo laughing at himself and then sort of choking um, as he he was uh, uh, laugh, laughing at Flair as he was taking uh, sort of a drink out of uh, his uh, water skin. Uh, Malachi is just <laughs> talking to himself, uh, well, talking to a tree rather. Uh, <laughs> Hal <laughs> is just kind of like trying to learn along, thinking to himself and uh, thinking about the passing of Elisa, who had uh, been around for most of your life. How old are you? How old again? Uh, 22. Yeah, she had been around for most of your life. Uh, from a very young age, she was there helping your mum, but she was also helping, kind of being like an aunt for you. Um, and so you're definitely right, having to be a bit more uh you're trying to ha imagine process this in your own way um and so fiddle bottom you have this little animal on your shoulder and you do a couple of uh whistles and um sort of head nods and sort of essentially um with your hands and gestures do you have any what spells do you have uh you have minor illusion you conjure up if you want I'll let you decide or not. I could suggest using minor illusion to show what a wolf is. Uh, sure. I mean, or I could do the the noise of a wolf, see if they've heard that as well. Yeah, sure. Uh, like, you describe to me how how using <laughs> simple gestures, magic, uh, sounds, how you essentially tell this Robin what it's looking for. Well... According to the spell, it can't be that big, and I presume the wolf's pretty but you, big. Well, you could make a miniature version. Oh. Then, yeah, I'll make a miniature version of the wolf, ask mm -hmm. it if it's seen it anywhere, um, and if it knows what direction it went. We could all see this illusion happening <clears throat> as well, right? Because Theo would be absolutely fucking flabbergasted by this and would just be stood <laughs> yeah, there looking at this illusory wolf. <laughs> you're probably like choking on your water and then like bent over like and, and like towards him, like catching your breath and like look up and you just see this small like illusion appear, this flutter of uh, leaves essentially that just form this very small like broken parts of leaves like off the ground just float up, in, up into his hand and it's very sort of um, crooked and kind of... Uh, earthy looking wolf it's kind of hard to tell at that sort of distance and size but it looks like a wolf or a dog um with this small little bird on his shoulder who is vigorously nodding up and down um and flies up into the air hovering like sort of flying around and sort of like turns and starts flying off um about 45 degrees off to the right from where you uh, the rest of the party are going fiddle at the bottom Okay. What did you is say it... to it, brother? <laughs> I asked it if it's seen any any wolves. Um, I don't know if it's going to come back though. Well, it, it, it nodded at you, like it stayed in the air, like and like it nodded at you, flew up, turned around, um, nodded, flew away, came back, and then flew back um, for like forty degrees off where you're going, and it seems to just be waiting on a branch of a tree. What seems like it might be leading us. That well, it, it means I guess it could either tell us to go that way or to not go that way so where's the building else there? Think? yeah uh i mean if you let me climb a tree i would be able to tell you okay <laughs> let's get the wolves <laughs> there's a Shall really the really bird? nice pine tree and there it's one that you've not managed to climb you oh. you've seen it from across this like these kind of large trees from a distance it's must be like 200 feet tall you would have such a good vantage point from up there and who knows maybe, maybe there's some it. stuff up there maybe okay you're making this sound too lucrative i don't trust you listen also, if we, we all <laughs> we have a bird we all now, I'll, gather I'll around it. the bottom of the tree this time and we'll <laughs> okay, get you ready in case she does I, fall all right and I then it'll be fine i'm gonna stick to it i'll keep my tree treat 
for when we need it. We'll, we'll follow. Yeah, but this one just made a wolf out of leaves and stuff. I reckon he can do something else that'd stop you smashing into the ground this time if he was ready. I hope so. We can just fucking. Church we all stand round. Just wait. Why are we encouraging me to climb the tree now? What well, we need to know where we're going, don't we? And it seems like you really want to climb the tree. So I do really want to climb the tree. Should I climb the tree? If we're just prepared no! for tree climbing. We do have a short rest. <laughs> Follow the bird! Okay, we should follow the bird. <laughs> Fiddle did all that hard time. work! <laughs> yeah, I agree, I agree. He, he made some mad rolls. Let's follow the bird. What's a roll? <laughs> yeah, for that, there's no, no concept of perception and rolls and stuff. Yes. A roll is like a piece of bread. <clears throat> which are like, yeah. Fiddle, lead the way! He makes good rolls. Oh, he's been baking, I'm has like, he? I'm like prodding Fiddle's like hips at the back. Like, go! What are you doing? Okay. Uh, if everyone wants to go follow the bird, we can follow the bird. It's up to the group, though. I'm not going to walk off alone into the forest ah, following a bird. Democracy. <laughs> hey, the bird's going to the walls, why not the house? Uh, it seems like our other idea is they're climbing know. a fucking tree again, away. so I reckon we should Okay, you know what? I'll just bird. climb the tree. Like, I'll put my spear in the ground. I'll if I don't climb the tree. No! Here we oh go. my god! <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Let's see what Spear's I, got to say. I kick the spear in the direction of the wolves. We're going this way. <laughs> well, well I think that's how fate works, to be honest. Uh, we just have to clearly. go. You way. make your own fate, my mama said. <laughs> the spear saith not to go this way. Claire, Flair must climb the tree. Yeah, you did it the okay. wrong way, Flair. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I use an illusion yeah. for right. Flair's dad's voice. What I need to give you for if I climb the tree? Uh, God. Can can mana illusion do sound? Yeah. Then you 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 can. You know what he sounds like. Uh, if you oh, if Figgles wow. met him, I've met him probably. Uh, you 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 mo most people most of you guys would have met him. He's been dead for a couple of years. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, and he he was a avid hunter and killer of wolves, as it were, until he wasn't. Um. <laughs> Okay, so Flair hears her dad's voice going, Go follow the bird and don't climb any more trees. <laughs> Oddly specific. <laughs> am I like am I convinced by this, Tom? Robin, it's it's your check. father's voice. Okay. Um and Fiddle, can you roll a sleight of hand check if you're trying to be sneaky about using this? Uh oh dear. <clears throat> Oh dear. That's going to be another roll on it as well, but you. <laughs> you That's not it, okay. You can quite literally see um, Field of Bottom like. <laughs> and just like. Not, not actually making like, noise, but just like very vibrantly like. Causing this like sound to appear next to your head that's just whispering this. Don't go. I'm just like, I'm going to climb the tree. <laughs> can, can I perceive the sound? Or is it only Flair? Uh, everyone could hear it. <laughs> yeah, we all hear it. It's just a whisper. Okay. Everyone's looking at me like I'm just a psycho. No, I'm just gonna look. I'm just gonna look around, saying, right. "I don't so... see the spirit behind this voice." Could we make uh, a note? Where of... are they hiding? The okay. way the bird is going. Yeah, the I know, bird I'm just is gonna start there. looking underneath um, rocks. How long he waits? <laughs> just watching. We will see. But it, but it like it signaled a direction, right? Yeah, forty to five Either degrees way. away from the path. Yeah. Uh, you guys are essentially uh, forty degrees to the left is where the two hundred foot tree is. Could we not? <clears throat> so we know where the we know where the house is from where we are. You don't. Exactly. So if I climb the tree, I might be able to find the wolves and the house. I really think I should do it. I'm gonna climb the tree. For it. <laughs> Everyone prepare <laughs> like you're. Awesome. I believe in you. Go climb that tree. <laughs> I'd, so I'd, I'd, get ready. He'll get his like cloak off this <laughs> time. <laughs> make like a blanket. <laughs> you're talking at once, so we'll start with how. What were you saying? I said I just I walk to the other side of the path and just sit down. Okay. Yeah, you're still sitting down and relaxing. <laughs> um, Theo, what are you doing? <clears throat> I've taken my uh, coat off and I'm holding it like a blanket, ready to catch okay. it. She falls. How, <laughs> how, tall, how tall are you, Theo? Oh, about sorry. four foot, mate. Okay, just about nice. twice your height, something like that. How big are you? One I'm foot, two foot, two foot yeah. one foot, two foot, three foot. <laughs> three foot. Have a foot. Um, all right. <laughs> um, is anyone else? Uh, <laughs> Fiddlebottom, what are you doing in this instance, considering you've got a bird waiting? I'll just be feeding it okay. treats you from my one you. day of rations. Okay. Uh, Malachi, your spear was kicked. You were told not to go to the right. And Flair is wrapping a rope around the other side of the tree um, and is going to try and start you already know. making her way up. 
I'm going to pick right. up my spear, walk next to Hal, and just say, three meals, so she dies. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have that much to gamble? <clears throat> no. Deal. I'm saying, okay, can I... Hmm. Would I be able to take two arrows to help me climb as I, like, etch them into the tree and climb up? So you're... The arrows are strong? I don't know. No. That's the only thing I have. Do I, do I get to do something? <clears throat> yeah, oh yeah, shit, sorry. What are you doing, Fiddle? Fiddle! I'm, like, whispering it. Fiddle! Tell the bird to fly along her! And then I go sit next to Hal. What's what's the bird gonna do, Fiddle? <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> it, it's, like, taunting! And then I go sit next to Hal. <laughs> it's what? Taunting. I want the Why? bird to fly along as she scrambles up. <laughs> God, we're telling you not to climb. I'm sat with Hal. And, um, All right. Okay. <laughs> I tell I the bird to say, I told you so, if she falls, then. The bird can't speak. Um, <laughs> she can't speak English. Okay. How's he going to taunt her? It's in perfect English. Just... No, it just flies up <laughs> while she's climbing. That's no, taunting. The bird can sit here and eat. Okay. I don't want to distract her. Okay. Joins us on the so, Vlad, this is a 200 foot tree. How high are you looking to go? I want to make sure I can just see over the treetops and be able like climb until I see the building, surely. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so you yeah, got she's awesome. Is everyone ready? Behind you <laughs> no. And on the no, other side of down. the tree, like as in like wrapping around. And you're um, Arrows won't I'm... do the job. They're the one, okay, especially the ones you've got. So yeah, I think like rock climbing style, or I'll like straight up tie myself, secure myself, and then secure the rope around the tree and shimmy up as I'm climbing the rope as well. So if I do fall, it will like at least provide me a bit of a safety net. <laughs> yeah, there's no like branches. There's like stubs and stuff, but there's no branches okay, like up until like a, a good trunk. like 20, 20 feet up in the air. It's a lot. It's very high. This is a very big tree. It's a big boy. And it's okay, a very so thick a trunk as well, so um, <clears throat> it's you have fifty foot of rope, so you you have plenty to go around. But you're gonna have to like slowly like shift it and shimmy up. So you have to use your weight, lean in backwards, um, and then go forward and shift it up. It's like a very precarious yeah, like, fucking. Yeah. But I, okay. It's I don't know if you ever done it, but um, <laughs> so let's see how this goes. Okay. Um. So make an athletics check. And All right. Just a flat athletics check. And DC is. Don't roll a one. <laughs> Not ideal. Okay. I mean, you're low enough for the minute. Doesn't even like make it up the so tree, at least. You yeah. wrap it up, uh, wrap it around, and you start going up. But you're just very fucking slow. Um, like, you, you're used to climbing a lot of trees which have branches. Maybe you've bitten off a bit more than you can chew. You've n probably, this I would say, never happening. gone up this high. So you go okay. up, like, probably a good, like, yeah, you know what? We'll just say seven feet. You're looking down, thinking you've got a lot, a lot higher, and then you're like, <sighs> "All right." Are you gonna continue? Let's... No, let's follow oh. the bird. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> we tried. We tried. Now we know. Let's follow the bird. That was pathetic. All right. You guys wanted me to do it. I was saying. No, we didn't. I started. Do not recall saying that. <laughs> oh my god. Is she hearing the voices as well? Hal, you still owe me three meals. But it, she survived. I never specified okay. how. <laughs> Can we leave this area? So you guys gonna let's follow the bird? On. Yes, the... let's follow the bird. Okay. Oh, now the decision's easy! <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, okay. Um... I'm, I'm so tempted to detect presence on, on this bird just in case it's like a devil in disguise because I do not trust it. <laughs> For no reason whatsoever. That's that's crazy talk. <laughs> that that that's PC paranoia. That would never That's something Malachi like, would say. D D memes literally every yeah. day of players just, spending it's, it's ten like, minutes as, as using every it. fucking spell yeah. under the book to work out if like just the random gnome is evil or whatever. <laughs> it turns out it's just a guy with two sentences in the DM's <laughs> notebook. <laughs> well you know you know how it's like in the real world. There's no such thing as pigeons. They're yeah. just cameras. Yeah, yeah government okay. spies. You know what? But, I, but I, I do real. have I do have three of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to divine sense on the bird. Oh my word. <laughs> All right. Can you ping that for I'm me? I'm paranoid. Good. No, it could it's, be good. It's, uh, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, so we just take the left hand side of it. The... Oh, no, I accidentally minimized the thing. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, I need to go back to party time. Um... Birds don't real. 
Um, you have 167 XP, by the way, at the moment, just in case uh, I hadn't mentioned it earlier. Oh, neat. Do we know how to add so XP? I saw there was I... some uh, some micros for Foundry or something. I did a bit of Googling, but uh, I'm not sure how to there do is, it from the player side. I don't know there is for the sheet. Um, for some oh, on the I, attributes I might... page, there's three there's resources. Resource, yeah. You can just name it XP and then put in a number. That's what I'm, yeah, if I'm you... just tracking it on D&D Beyond. Um, yeah, so if... uh, we'll... If you could actually yeah, check if there is that that thing in, um, uh, yeah, if you have a spare resource, if you don't, then let me know and I'll add another one at some point. Sorry, this might be done, but are we supposed to be keeping track of the XP? Yes. Sure. Don't we all have the same yeah. XP though? You yes, do, the same. You do so, all have the same XP. Sure but if we split up as parties, <clears throat> right? Uh, okay. Um, okay. If the bird is a celestial, a fiend, or undead, I will know about it. <laughs> That's very specific, bird. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, it's the devil in disguise. Have? What about automaton? Seven. So, no, that's, I already know it's a camera. I don't need to check that. <laughs> you swear you could see a reflection in its eyes. Uh, <laughs> no, so you, you use this presence. It, and it's, uh, it's a bird. Yeah. At times Ooh. in past, you've looked around you um, and caught glances of spirits walking out of your father's shop. But you don't detect anything strange about this bird. But you had, you had like deeply just stared at it, like just glaring in its direction, trying to focus. And I mean, it just looks like a fucking bird that is very friendly to fiddle. Nice. I don't I think it, I don't think I actually make a sound <clears throat> when I use it. Yeah, no. Uh, well, uh, I don't think so. Like I, th I think it is literally just. I'm, you just I know, yeah. Can just see. You You're know. not like. So, <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Yeah, it's it's not like I've said a prayer or anything. So no, no one knows I did it. No, it's. I mean, well, if, if you ever want to flavor it where your eyes like glow or whatever, then that's perfectly fine. But unless you do that, no. Um, it's okay. fine. No one knows you're paranoid of the bird. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I do. You are like staring at the bird. Um, if any, has anyone got a um, passive perception of sixteen? Oh. How do you see that? So Maybe one of the rangers, in general. nope. Not on me. your sheet, if you go to attributes, on perception, to the right of it, there is two numbers. So it has like a plus something, and then in the brackets it has a number. You're that. I have 15. <laughs> so passive is the bracketed number. No, I've got 13. Paranoid. Plus three. So the way, the way that um, that passive and perception and insight and stuff work in D&D generally is that these are things you pick up without having to roll for it. So yeah. if we walked into a building, for example... We all have shit passive perception, except for, you know, Flair or whoever. She notices something going on in the building that the rest of us just wouldn't even, like a tavern or whatever, something's happening in the back room and she notices that, whereas the rest of us would just be like, yeah, beer. <laughs> so does a plus not not count towards no, no, passive? So... That's just on a roll. Yeah, it just yeah. gets added. You have like a passive. Um... Yeah, it includes okay. the... <clears throat> Yeah, so it's the number next to that plus. So you know you have that plus three. It's that number next yeah. to it, which says like 12 for Malachi, for example. Um, cool. Yeah, so your highest is 15. Um, okay, cool. Just want to check if anyone saw their paranoia there. Um, seemingly not. So, <clears throat> you are following the bird. Um, and the bird is just like flitting around like, <laughs> and landing on one branch and <laughs> to another one and turning around and like cocking its head um, and is just seemingly heading in a direction. Um, and are you guys doing anything along the way? Are you keeping check out? I will say... Now, we're following the bird, but we don't know when the wolves will appear. So everyone, be vigilant! And I'll, like, scan the horizon. The, well, there is no horizon, but the, in between the forest. Okay, you can do a group perception check for me. Um, yeah. Aside from, I would say, Fiddle, who is focused on interacting with the bird, feeding it a little bit here or there. Not 20. Oh! Not 20. <clears throat> Wait, was that my dice? Was that your... No, that was mine. No. What did I roll? I rolled a 10. It's not a nice one. <laughs> we were all pretty good as a group, though. Except for Malachi, apparently. That's right, the nat 20 okay. oh, I, sh I think I have advantage. But so, nat 20. The bird is suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> just staring. Do not trust the bird. Lick the bird is a lie. Oh, uh, yeah. You, um, uh, yours potentially should have been uh, advantaged as well for. for... Is it your favourite terrain, Boris? Yeah, that's true. Um, it's, uh, it's actually proficient. no advantage, it's the proficiency bonus is doubled. So uh, you just get a better roll. Yeah. Cool. Is it doubled in yeah. there though? I, I don't think so. 
Okay. No, so you have to have plus two. So yeah, so you would have had twenty one. Twenty. Um, Flair, yours would Mine have been yeah. twenty seven. Um, because you had plus two. Well, is wait no, is wood your very yeah. terrain? Okay. Forest. Um, forest. Yeah. So, in this group check, a natural twenty counts as two successes. Um, and you have to get more successes than you get failures. So that's two successes. Um, oh wait, shit. What am I saying? Uh, Fiddle, you do. Need, do roll for perception as well, but disadvantage. Okay. Uh... Otherwise, it doesn't work. There you go. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god, it's meant to be. Okay, so two failures from Malachi and Fiddle. Howden, your failure as well. But you have two, three, Nothing four. Yet. You have four successes versus three failures. So. <clears throat> Flair, you're the first to hear it. You hear the howl. Mm. A deep throaty. Uh -oh. Did it cut out? Sad. Did it cut out? <laughs> <It's>, yeah. <laughs> uh, disappointed. I'm sure it was Epic. beautiful. It was. Uh, I was no, it's, I bet it was. I'm nope. not going to get to do it again. Um, A second wolf <laughs> joins in. A wolf. <laughs> uh, let me just uh, change my gate sounds on this, which probably means you didn't hear my... Did you hear my bird fluttering sounds? Yeah, yeah did. we heard that. that. Yeah, that was oh, weird. Um, so you hear the howl. My howl. Oh. It cut out again. <laughs> it did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's cutting out. Yeah, it cuts in the middle. We're missing the middle pit. Just doesn't okay, like the middle here. I think it's too loud. I think that's why it's cutting out. <laughs> yeah. All right. Either way. <laughs> Awoo. Awoo. <laughs> Awoo. Um, Awoo. Awoo. <laughs> I was so tempted to do that. <laughs> was no, like, guys. No, no. You hear a loud a woo in the distance. <laughs> epic, deep, resonating. The birds around you flutter and fly over into the air. And the robin on your shoulder fiddle flies away. Just disappears. Gets the fuck out of dodge. Um, yeah. And you can hear this there and like everyone else you can you definitely then catch up onto it. it's a little bit fur like quite a, quite a bit further away but it's loud enough where the birds and everything else can hear it so if you hadn't heard the howl you would have you were going to hear the howl um but because of the high perception rolls and success you're able to depict that you were going the right course with this you were pretty much heading directly towards it here no need to follow tracks pretty much okay is uh will and sam still with us uh yes they Wait, they were just like kind of like dumbfounded at this whole tree thing. They were like sitting there for like ages, <laughs> like we should just go, um, but they didn't. Oh. Having a look at, at Will and what are their jobs again? We got the blacksmith and uh, not the blacksmith. Um, oh, it was oh, Will the butcher and Sam the, the butcher, fisher. Yes, but... he's got a cooler name anyway. Will the butcher. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing he's pretty he's pretty strong then. He looks yeah. um looks like a buff lad. Yeah. Absolutely. Maybe we should. Are, uh, maybe we should think so. about uh, how we're gonna approach this. Like, mm. we probably want Hal and, and mm. Will the Butcher at the front, right? The big mm. lads. We I agree with this. I, I'm, I'm particularly. Should sneak. Oh, I'm I think we should that. send them in and then sneak. Yeah, the, the big lads. Sneak. They might not be too good at sneaking, though. Yeah, I have some dodges and stuff. Maybe so. if you lead us the way. Fiddle and you do a bit of sneaking or fi figgle, whichever one you are, I can't split you two apart. <laughs> I think they're both pretty sneaky, no? Yeah, we we can flank and flare. I will also mm. sneak. I if you sneak us in, maybe you can help the the big we'll lad that's hiding. First. The... Yeah. And then we'll sounds rush good. in at the back. Right. Yes. Or so sure yeah, sounds this. good. <clears throat> um so what is the marching order here again, sorry? So we will sneak. So I think the rangers flare. are leading the way for Figgle. now, and then they're gonna sneak away and flank, and then those lot are gonna Figgle and Flare, uh, and then and who... Fiddle, and Fiddle and as well Fiddle. because he's yeah, with the, and bird. Yeah, the bird. And then, the bird's gone. Bird's gone. No, it's oh, the bird's it's gone. It's because I'm a gnome. I'm sneaky as well, so I'm going with. Mm. Him. Are you? Fiddle, Fiddle, Fiddle and Flare. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna. Should I? The S word. Are you actually sneaky, or are you just? I mean, I'm fairly sneaky. I, I'd say you, you know how to be try it. around your surroundings. Yeah, I, and I I'm, too, I'm too foot, and you, like, come on. And you smell like the environment, but who knows? Maybe they uh, love the smell of the oh, um... morning. 
<laughs> you're like Ish. you're considered a small animal, right? <laughs> Uh, maybe a snake. probably yeah. small creature. Yeah, they definitely. Yeah, are. So, so, they can hide, so you can hide easier, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so triple F for sneaking. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then who is going behind them? Uh, presumably that'd be me. I'll so be Hal, behind Hal. You? I'll be next to Hal anyway. Hal and Will, and then yeah, the, me, uh, Malachi, and the other. Well, do, do the do they actually look strong? The two that are just the worst. No. Like they don't. Like right, right. Will looks. He's got some muscles on him, but they're yeah. like it's just from working tirelessly on this stuff. You yeah. saw him fight swinging yeah. away. He's yeah, these guys aren't practiced for fighting. Um, yeah, you can roll an insight check if you want. And uh, I'd like to win so I can get a better. Yeah, go for better it. look at these boys. I'll say two of you can. No one else can. We won't dogpile this. Thirteen for a total of fourteen, 14. and four for a total oh. of seven. So Halden, yeah, you can tell that. They're willing, they're ready to go, but they don't look incredibly strong. Um, and like no armor. No armor, they've yeah. got some weapons, they're just in their like work clothes. And like, yeah, Wills is just kind of covered in blood. So I'd, I'd go up to him and say, hey, stay behind me. When we meet these wolves, stay behind me. Um, okay. Live to fight another day. Theo, where are you going in the list? So we've got the triple F, um, and then we've I'll got do. the space, and then we've got Malachi. And Halden? I think I'd be in that backpack behind Halden as well, uh, with those Rangers. with those boys. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll um, show you. Have uh, you you lads got any weapons you can throw, or you just? Um, I've got my javelins. Sorry, I'm speaking to the plebs. Oh, oh sorry. I'm... Yeah, no worries. Yeah, we've we've got we've got some. I've still got a um a glass shard um bag. Um, oh yeah, that'd be perfect. Dust. Um, I've also got a hornet's nest here. Or oh, like, cool. Um, I've also got a, um, a. I've got a pitchfork, and that's just Will. Um, and then Sam has a sling, a okay. torch spear, and a net. All right. Well, got the net. That sounds class, actually. Maybe uh, we should give the net to uh, Flair or one of them. They can go in and try and net them first. Then the rest of us oh. can... Okay. Okay. Yeah. How good are you with the net? You much of a net man? I guess. No, sorry. I'm asking the pleb again. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> She's <laughs> become a pleb. I, mean, I got it this morning. Right. Yeah, let's give it to her then, but shall we? I'm... I'm used to throwing at least some form of nets out into the water. Oh, uh, oh, you're a fisherman, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is um, mm. this is one I did make myself. It's a little bit um, heavier than I, I would have normally, but it's sort of weighted That's down. That's better. Yeah. There's a difference between a fish and a big ass wolf, though. Very true. Better also, fish. I hey, think uh, sneakiness is going to be to our advantage here, so I reckon still give the net to one of them. Let them go in and try and net them first. Who wants the net? I, I'm too small. Well, yeah. I'm not very strong. <laughs> I Where think I think... think... <laughs> so, so, yeah. What would I do? I think net is a strength thing, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Let me double check. Is it? Oh, so right. suck at it. I'm not strong. Fuck. Alright, uh, never mind then. Yeah, net, net's his strength. You have to, like... <laughs> yeah, you love it. How you reckon you could catch us as a wolf, mate? I'd rather kill it with my hammer. <clears throat> Alright. Well, I just—I was just thinking that net might make it easier for the rest of us. Well, um, I mean, if you, if you let me, I, I might be able to try my best, and you guys can focus on hitting. Mm. Yeah, I just didn't want let you them, running let in and dying. Let the fisherman fish up as a wolf. I'm as right. important as you are in this. Jeez, yeah, like, looks no, just you're right. At you. you are right. I'm sorry. You can uh, feel free to throw yourself in the front lines, mate. <laughs> I'll, I'll gladly stand back here. <laughs> They are a strong individual person who don't need no man. Was it uh, Sam who said that? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll go up to her and, and say... Knock her out. Yeah, we all have a part to play, but you, you know, serve, you, you serve no use to us by dying, by getting injured. Stay Other safe. Other than bait. Well, I've not died yet. And Malachi, shut the fuck up. Google bottom goes to a... Well... Let's trade. And I hold out the hornet nest grenade. Can I have that glass thingy? 
Um, sure. I've, I've already got one on a hornet nest from Oscar. Where is he, by the way? Mm. I don't know. I don't is know. that yes to the trade? Uh, I, you can just have one. I've got two. Thank you. Maybe he went home. Oh, shit. I'm going to sling that motherfucking glass bomb. It's pretty good. It's getting yeeted in my sling. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> all um, right. That's my plan with all of these. Sand pouch, hornet's nest, and the glass bomb. I'm like, I can, I can throw these. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll allow it. Um, okay. Uh, and you're like, this whole time you've been walking, it's been about uh, an hour. Now it is time-wise. The rain... Has it got thicker? Theo, you'd start this. Roll a 1d100 for me. Let's see if it's <laughs> yeah, somehow I knew that was cool. above, it'll be getting turned into heavy rain, which is going to... Oh, we want a low number this time. Especially on ashen rain. Ooh. Oh, that is so low. That's beautiful. Wow, beautiful. The rain. The rain wow, rainbow. Stopped. Double rainbow. Hooray. Triple but rainbow. the clouds are still dark. Mm. Is it dark and as well outside, or...? It's definitely darker here, even though the sun should be out. Hmm. Can I should light a torch? I have the light a torch. Uh, do you want We're trying to be stealthy. I do want to light. Torch. Oh, actually, you are right, Kiko. I, I would quite like to roll Arcana, but I'm really bad at it. To see if this dark, this these storms don't seem natural to me, guys. So I'm just oh, saying. That's nice. I like. We've never I seen like some that. filthy dark clouds like that before over the valleys. <laughs> yeah. So that's great. Is anyone proficient in uh, nature? Yep. Okay. I am. I've got a little plus well. next to it as I well. I am as well. So yeah, those yeah. of you that are proficient, and I would say flare as well. The clouds. Further north you go, seemingly remain dark. Um, filled with some form of ash, whatever it may be, and most of the time it disperses before it gets to the village. Um, and all gets blown sort of in a different direction. It's not crazy. Um, weather has been, ha has been on the fritz for the last uh, 12 years or so. Um, but you could roll an Arcana check. Theo? Is anyone better at Arcana? No, no it's just not meta. You said, your you idea. Said no, yeah, I did, yeah. Let's roll that dice. Yeah, it's not great. Eight total, I think. What 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 was Theo thinking? That these these storm clouds don't look natural. Look like yeah. some kind of magical storm. You think that? You don't, you don't have any further knowledge. You just nope. You've got a hunch. These these clouds don't look normal. Mm. All right. So a divine sense the clouds. That must have really disappeared off to get its friends. Uh, just a bunch of geese, motherfuckers. Um, all right. So you are trudging your way through, um, and you, if you guys are being sneaky, I need you to make a roll, and you will be slower. Mm. Uh, you go at half speed because uh, you're the, sneaking. We and the two back. rangers, they wouldn't move slower, right? Because of yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Fiddle, they can, uh, they can, I'm not sure it is. I suppose fiddle would. Have you been. can, you guys could choose to move slower to stay with the group, or you well, know, we're at the front. We're not sneaking right the front. Yeah, so we're away the, um, from you. Because you're not sneaking. Yeah. I see. Right. So you guys could. The two the, rangers the, could sneak ahead of yeah. us at yeah. half yeah. speed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So if it all comes back to it's a us, stealth check, right? Well, so what are you guys doing? You've got two rangers who could go yeah. off, and I'll say combined, you guys are able to stealthily move together, even though it says you're if you're traveling alone. I'll say because it's both your tra favorite terrain yeah. and you've done hunts before together, maybe briefly. Um, you're so able to go okay. off. Like Fiddle comes back and joins us, because uh, like uh, I kind of picture that they're still just about within visual range for us and sort of guiding us or going ahead and then coming back. They'll be wrong in right. stealth checks, so if you can still see them, that's probably an issue. You'll be able to keep. But they're track not trying to hide from us; they're trying to hide ahead. Right? Yeah. I think we have to just let them go, though. If we're saying that they go in stealth, we just have to yeah. let them. So do we move slowly in the direction we're going, and then? I yeah. think we move stealthily as well, and even though it will slow us down quite yeah, a bit, sure. we'll 
um, it okay. will yeah, potentially be better. We're not exactly just going to be like running around screaming in our heads. Oh, no, no, exactly. yeah. Come on, yeah. wolves. Hey, All right. wolves. Yeah, it makes so... sense because the, then they can use their action movement to come back in the distance. Us. Another. Ow. We got to start moving. Me and Figgle, maybe. Should we just start advancing our long yeah. button outskirts? Shop. So, can I get a stealth check from Flair and Figgle Bottom? You don't have advantage on these rolls. And then from everyone yeah. else, can I also Decent. have a stealth roll, please? I'll do that first. <laughs> oh dear. Ooh. I'm very noisy in my armor. Somebody got a nat 20. I click normal and it oh threw two again, by the way. <laughs> we, we cannot, the second group is uh, loud. You guys made a decent choice. Uh, yeah. Stealth. And that. Uh, but who's an unknown character? <laughs> yeah, I don't it's know one of, the... one of the AIs, maybe? Yeah. yeah. What if I oh, that, that... <laughs> Will the Butcher. I don't know why he's still hiding them. Here, yeah, what's we wait for? Oh, he's back. <laughs> I oh, guess I'll ready to drink. get back with Deal and... Yeah, that was the, the plan. I mean, if you wanted to stay with them, you could just do what the fuck you want. You rolled a bit of 23. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, no, but you can't move at the same speed. That's yeah, we, we'd already said you were hanging back with these guys. If you were going with the others, it would be a whole different thing. It would slow um, them down. Yeah, so... Chocolate eggs. Nice. Oh, I can't... Chocolate egg can I thought it was a That's drink. A I was like, what is that, that is a good smell. Mm. Okay. That is a really good smell. So... <clears throat> Figgle, Bottom, and Flare. You dart off into the bushes after making this decision. Keep an eye on each other. Getting some... Deciding on some specific sound to make if you need to communicate. Um, where When you can't speak. Some bird noises, whatever it may be. But 16 and a 21. Okay. Um, and then Halden, you rolled a 2 with your disadvantage. And then we had Fiddle Bottom with a 23. Theo with a 9 and a 7 on Sam, and a 9 on Will, and a 6 on Malachi. Um, and you guys are loud. keeping quite a distance behind these guys as well. Um, Figgle and Flair. After that set, like, howl there, it wasn't as deep. And then there's, like, a smaller... Kind of like really cute howl <laughs> coming in from the direction you guys are heading. Okay. Should I stand watch? I I in just signal like that. What does it mean you decided beforehand? Well, I'm well. I'm pointing. It's like a you know go this way. You know, like SWAT team, whatever. Okay. Okay. So I'm not I guess talking. We SWAT team it. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you guys go to kind the of left. Like... We just flank one of the sides. Well, so you're you're not upon like any building yet. Yeah. 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 Um. We just hear the smaller howl. Yeah, and it does sound a lot closer because the fact that you're even now able to hear this, it sounds like a lot softer, like a copycat, like a wolf pup. Um. Mm. Trying to copy its mum or dad or brother or whoever. Um. And it's you're definitely getting closer. Okay. And are you doing anything? As you get closer, are you just trying to stealth? Tracks. I will look for tracks at the same time. Uh, what is your passive perception as well? Just 13? Yeah, you you and Flair both know it. Flair first, you do see tracks of just back and forth or in around this area of just different um, sizing or paw prints. Okay, maybe we should wait <clears throat> till the other group like moves in as well. And as you, you notice these, I will say... For both of you, um, let me do this. Oh, <laughs> my chat saying, "Climb another tree, bro." <laughs> <laughs> Just climb a tree, bro. So, Just you, oh, as you should find a as you're, as you're starting to say this, you that was notice... me. <laughs> You notice like okay. uh, the, the the start of a building as you go around these clump of bushes that were blocking your view, and you can see 
the side of this building. Crumbling walls in different points. Grey uh, stone. Mm. Crumbling, like I mentioned. Like, the very top level is just seemingly gone and collapsed. Um, and you notice some movement and you see a couple of uh, pups yapping and playing with each other. Um, almost like tackling over one and each, uh, each other. Uh, shit. I whisper with Figglebottom, all right? Like, very hush-hush. Uh, should we wait? Or should we, like, try to animal handle? Should we attack? What time? What do you think we should do? <laughs> I, ju I just do the left point again. And, like, okay, I guess we and, move and left. I, I had, like, this direction. Yeah, yeah, just yeah so tell me where just you're going to go, and then I'll, yeah, I'll do yeah, it. Exactly that, yeah. I presume it's kind of kind of turn based now a yeah. little bit, right? It's it's yeah. definitely kind of turn based here. So you sort of move thirty feet each, and then you have or twenty five feet and thirty feet, whatever. Um, and you, has, uh, Flair, are you still holding on to your mouse or something? Why is it? Oh no, I'm not. Let me just delete your character model. Oh, it's still there. Might just be on my side. No, I see that as well. Okay, whatever. It might be because um, it's paused. No, it's not. Can you try dragging your token up? Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Sorry. <laughs> um, it's all good. Uh, just a bug on Foundry. Uh, so yeah, you, you make your way around here and you can see um, at this spot here, there seems to be just a collapsed in part. You can't see over it. You're not high high enough um, to be able to see down in towards it. Uh, I'd like to sneak um, over, perhaps, to it. Okay. Okay. Um, I would have to be out in the open, but if I'm quick enough, maybe they're not. Really. To like here. This is like I was a thinking maybe here, to right? here. You're gonna run right up there? Yeah. That that's where like around where the hole was, that uh, like up and over. So, yeah. If I, because then I could see into it, right? That's my thinking. Uh, turn here, so you go. Uh, say that again, sorry. Because if I go here, then I could just see into the building, right? You'd have to climb up, um, and it'll be a whole mm, different stuff. Do I? It's yeah, it's it's a bunch of rubble um, that's like built like up from like a collapsed wall, and so you'd have okay, to maybe try and climb up and here. peer over. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I don't think the uh, stream is updated, Tom. I think it's still showing that original image. Yeah, that's fine. Um, oh, okay. Actually, yeah. Uh, actually, no, it's fine if you guys see this as well like, on the stream anyway. Um, so I'll pull the observer camera over. I have like a full observer on here which tracks my camera. Oh, right, okay. Um, oh, yeah, they have no tokens in here that they control, control, so. Oh, that is why no one could see anything. I'm a fucking idiot. All right, one second. I forgot to set up the observer camera. <laughs> see, we're all learning. Oh, you did so if I had missed anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that last one, like, <laughs> no one on, on scene could see anything. I'm just um, getting spammed with user likes for yeah, sort of date token. Ignore it. Yeah. Gotcha. See, now next week's stream, they're going to get on and all this shit will be perfect and Tom will be like, oh, welcome to my beautiful D&D stream. <laughs> and then no will climb a tree. In. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, and there'll be no tree climbing. There'll be no one there to catch them. Just switch <laughs> switch all the NPCs here. will survive. Then there'll be no team kills. And we'll be known as the Scuff Party. <laughs> no one will nearly die from a tree, yeah. Alright, <laughs> this is gonna work. With that Scuff Party that you want your D&D uh, stream to be, though, you know? Okay. We make the funny decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, this but, is... Yeah. Still a little scuffed, because it's, um... Yeah, whatever. This is fine. Um, actually, no. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, all right, there we go. I'll have to work out how to do this a little bit better later on, but there we go. Um, and what we will do is I will actually just pull you guys all over here now, as we might as well. Turn this to the active scene. Nice. As we are ready here. And you know what? Maybe a little bit of music change as well. Mmm, music change, you say? We have. Yeah, we've, we've stumbled upon a tavern. There's someone playing a fiddle outside. You just see a wolf sitting on its haunches and playing a fiddle. It's fucking wild. Must be a spy. 
It's the devil in disguise. It's divine sense. So we have two rangers sneaking around and up behind them, quite far away because they were a lot slower, um, even at half speed here um, whilst walking. Um, and Hal just tripping over something, smacking his head, trying to write himself and probably being a little bit embarrassed by this um, and trying to like put leaves or something in between some of the cracks to try and stop it from creaking so much. Uh, whilst Fiddle is just kind of like weaving in and around the bushes and just like popping up and then going back down and then carrying <laughs> on, just being his little nose. Have you seen, like, well, you know, do you know the brown wizard in um, uh, The Hobbit? The Hobbit? Radagast. Yeah, Radagast, mm. yeah. yeah. Essentially, that's what I think of when it comes to Fiddle Bottom, especially with that image. It looks like exactly like him. Yeah, um, that image is real. Uh, it's kind of like yeah. moving around like that around. It's kind of funny. Um, but anyway, you guys are carrying on moving, not very stealthily. Meanwhile, Flair, Figgle, are you going to continue forward? I would like to go to the edge of the building down there because it seems like there is another entrance if we go. So if we keep going down, you can't see that from there, presumably. I would say you're struggling to see that far down towards the southern side you could reposition yeah okay where if you just ping hold down your mouse where you want to go just here. sure are you just gonna follow Bigel? uh yeah I guess so okay um oh, yeah. wait, is, am i supposed to be able to see the map because it's just black for me no okay you are not uh at the moment uh um, because oh, the other two are scouting yeah i get it. yeah so you'll you'll get there eventually I just wanted to check it wasn't Yeah, and so, yeah, you guys are just going to continue moving down here. Um, down. This is a fairly open kind of area. There are some, like, sparse trees and stuff. Um, you could carry on moving further south, but... Maybe along the wall? Yeah, if you want. Perhaps. What do you think, Fickle? <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not talking. <laughs> um, oh so here, what you can see from broke. where you are right now, I'll re give re evaluate here. So all along the wall, um, across the left hand side, like what you can see of the wall, these are all just like probably a good like 20, 30 feet high, um, and they don't look scalable. But down towards the south, there's like a little in like enclove enclove um, down there, yeah, which seems like there are a bits of it broken off, um, with just maybe a potential clear entrance in. Um, but you're not 100% sure yet. Uh, and then further down over here, there's again a crumbling wall. I will just like point forward to, to hug the wall. So we're okay. going to kind of sneak dash across this op like, no, open area. Yeah. And then we'll okay. hug the wall south. All right. Can you both make another stealth check for me, I think, at this point? Yeah, that is fair. Nice. Nice. All right. Fucking even better for Flair. Better. Like, yeah. Christ. Better for me as well. Yeah. Nice. This is like 17 and 20 or something. Um, for ninjas. Yeah, so you guys managed to just dart across, stepping lightly, avoiding twigs. Flair making no noise going across. Same with Figglebottom as well with the 19. It's fucking impressive. And you go and you almost like trip over on towards the, the wall there, Figgle, but Flair is able to just gracefully put a hand in front of you and stop you from slamming into the wall um, and you're sort of now sneaking along here we sneak continue south I hope we're the other poke our heads around this corner and see what we see so everyone else you've now come into line of sight for this large building that um, sort of the walls rises up and you're able to see um, around the trees and see it as it comes into the site. We'll wait for it's the Theo. <sighs> Welcome back. Oh. So, you uh, have eventually made it here, Theo, as I was saying to the others. Um, and you, uh, this building comes into sight. You can see these great brick walls, blackened stone. Uh, stone brick size and crumbling parts of the wall and you can see off towards the what you would imagine to be the entrance is a couple of pups chasing each other around and yapping what are you guys doing in this immediate instinct you realize it's here 
and you kind of like just stop. What, do you, what is your next thing you are doing? We have no idea where the, where the two You went. have no fucking idea. You guys could have a look if you want. You could try to roll a perception check. If only we had someone that can climb trees with us, right? <laughs> yeah, I, th I think coming here, I would have probably assumed that one of them was going to wait for us. The fact mm -hmm. they haven't would make me concerned. So I think Maybe they are. Look for them. Yeah. yeah, they could be out there. So I'd, I... I'll do a perception check. That's right. Yep. I, w I would naturally just stop and just get down low and just try and... I'm blind. Okay. Move forward slowly. Can you all I think Theo's split second reaction would be, Oh no, I, w I won't kill the little ones. No, no, I'm, I'm not part of... I won't take part in that. Just sort of protested his innocence to the rest of the group. <laughs> Can you roll another stealth check for me as well? <laughs> How <laughs> visible are they to me? Um, there's trees and rocks in the way. You're like seeing clips and of them as they're like jumping around. Oh, Hal isn't the stealthiest, is he? Hal, no. no. That's that somewhere heavy armor. Oh, heavy armor. Yeah, just straight up disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Gross. So if I could, I also get a minus one. If Sorry. I could just like stealth up to these rocks here and like sort of get a bit of cover from them, I should open up my uh, range right. Uh, yeah, you're breaking up from the group. Yeah, I, I won't go any closer. So you're trying to loud, sneak though. along and sort of hide behind these rocks. You're kind of having to sort of like yeah. almost lay down. Um, yeah, just like crawl up. Sam smacks into Halden, who had kind of just stopped as he got himself kind of caught on a uh, on a tree branch, and there's just a, like a, a loud clatter, and you'll just uh -oh. freeze. I get away from hell. Um, you can. Where would you go? Do we hear that, Tom? Uh, what pretty, is your passive uh, perceptions? Uh, mine's 13, and Flair's 15. Um, you would hear... You'd definitely hear some kind of noise up behind you, um, and I would say as that's happening, you are up here at this point. Oh, mm. okay. I would like to go inside the building. Yeah, we'll, we'll I, we're going to peep that, our yeah. head round the corner first. Yeah, yeah, of course. First. Can I get down here? Sure. That's fine. This is a wall, right? Uh, it's like a cliff face. You, like, uh, go down. Oh, so no, I can sorry, see up. over it, then. No, no, it's oh. down. It is down, sorry. Uh, you can't see over the actual walls of it. Um... <laughs> My flight mate just coming back there. All right. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, you, you, can't, you can't see into the, the building from where you're at. The, the Kremlin wall is a little bit too high still. I mean, this little cliff face that we're on top of it, so we can see below, like, yes. here. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So everywhere you can okay, see, I'll just you, sit around you can see that. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, there's actually meant to be slightly darker here. Let me just change that. As it is slightly later. There we go. Um, right. Will the Butcher so, is going to just kind of, like, go behind this tree. Sam is just going to, like, just stop after realizing they made some noise. Uh, Malachi, you've gone over there. We'll get to you again in a second. Uh, Theo, what are you doing in this moment? Uh, I think that <sighs> seeing the pups, he would probably just hide as well. I don't think he wants to engage or be involved with this noise that Hal's just created, so he'd probably move away from Hal and hide behind a stump or a rock or something. Okay, you join here and you kind of just like hide behind some of the bushes and stuff. Hal, what are you doing after you're the center of the noise alongside Sam? He's just kind of like frozen deer in headlights. Torchlight, I guess. You there? No, oh, sorry. It's Mazwe. Uh, uh, what, what, uh, what are you doing? Uh, I mean, I'll probably stay with Will. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, and Malachi, what are you doing? So at this point, I'm going to like turn back, look at Hal, and I go, I like gesture over towards the walls and just go. <laughs> and without speaking, I, I like to like hold or wait. 
a mouth weight to him. All right. And I just go like that, just like lying there, just make a really sad face. <laughs> <laughs> and you... I'm still trying to see the others. I'm trying to find out where they are. Okay. Although we've established that by now that I'm blind. So, so as you're told to hold, Howden, you see in this ruined stone structure, is anyone here aside from Figgle and actually all of you if any of you are proficient in mm, religion and also Halden if you, uh, you, yeah, don't, you, Halden, you don't need uh, sorry yeah Halden yeah but um, sorry I meant uh, Malachi you don't need to roll give me a sec you say proficient so you mean the little tick it's the tick yeah, yeah. the tick yeah. sorry so yeah the tick should I roll it yeah uh, yeah if you're proficient in religion you can no, roll I'm not religious no I'm not right a heavily religious character and I don't know religion <laughs> well it's Draw. specific in this moment yeah this building if you had maybe rolled a bit high you might have had some kind of insight into some of the symbols and stuff there around but for for you Malachi you have that voice inside your head come back to you yes yes this is it this this is this is where you must go. This is one of my old temples. Yes, what about the wolves? Yes, yes. Well, what do we do? Are they your pets? <laughs> Are they invaders? Me. Eliminate that, yes. Sure. Can't have Just that. Be careful. Wouldn't want you to stop being able to dream. No. And as you, you're sort of laying there, looking down over, and your hand's sort of like on the grass, there's like just this sound of like a whispering sound coming from your right hand, and as you look over, there's just a swirl of mist, and a sword appears in your hand. It's that of your father's sword that you had misplaced somewhere, and it was one of the things you kept looking for when you were going out for your rambles, and rumbling around and I will add a sword to your inventory well, the sword with me all along yet my eyes could not see and you also gain uh, five temporary hit points as the mist goes up your arm and is just kind of hovering around your body at this point it's very silvery sort of like mist it's got sort of strands floating through it as it hovers around your body. So you can add that five temporary hit points onto you. Um, and let me go and make sure I add this on. But you do recognize some of the symbols from your dream that represent this person who has been speaking to you. Who has told you that now? Um, um, was your father's sword a long sword or a short sword? It would be... Uh... I would naturally say a short sword. Okay. In D and D, there's not a crazy amount of difference. I think there's actually slight damage. Um, I think Maybe it's because... generally when you wield it with one or two hands, though. So yeah, I think a, the again. long sword being in with the uh, as the profile for the two-handed profile. I think. Uh, we're just yeah, being able to do versatile. So yeah. Versatile. Um, yeah, and which means you can then do more. No, they're both damage more damage anyway. So a long sword is one D eight. Yes, yeah, it's the eight D ten versus D six. Yeah. Ah, oh, no, I remember now. It was a long sword. If, if, <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> like... But it's also you get finesse, which is not. Right? Uh, I'll be irrelevant. I th believe it's irrelevant, so we'll go with long sword for okay. damage reasons. Yeah, it is in your inventory, and I'm, I'll click not a to min-max the shit, but... <laughs> yeah. Um, some some min-max and fine. Uh, anyway. Oh, music stopped. Uh, yes. So that happens, and meanwhile, whilst that is going on for you guys... Uh, Flair and Figgle, have you carried on after hearing that clatter? Yes. Yeah, so, we're going to peek uh, our head. Exactly that. Uh, Flair and yes. Figgle, you both peek yes. your head around this corner. Flair, you step forward. Oh my god. there is just a, a giant <laughs> hole in this wall. And... What is his passive? Oh my god. This giant... Yeah. 
dire wolf. <laughs> or wolf, rather. Alpha wolf is lumbering around, and you can see it just lift up its paw and just send one of the pups flying who lands on the floor and then runs back towards um, this giant wolf. Um, it's like a regular wolf, but dire. And it doesn't appear at the moment to see you. Okay. Uh, I you just mentioned a the figgle. I mentioned a figgle. Do I... Figgle goes... <laughs> Oil? You need to use your words for this. I'll pretend you're like say, describe the action you're doing because you, I know you guys are on camera. Uh, I, but I pull, can't see I pull it. it out of my my backpack and I like. <laughs> Figgle shakes his head and says, "We should go back." I say no. <laughs> I shake my head and I'm like, "So, uh, I want to do a sneak attack." <laughs> I'm walking off. Can't do a sneak attack. <laughs> I can't. No, that's uh, rogues only. You can have okay. advantage from attacking in darkness, right? For a surprise attack. Because uh, the wolf would be surprised if she attacks now. You, yeah, you'd have a surprise round. Yeah. Um, All right. But so I, I I'm, I'm not joining in that. Okay, so you start pulling back your bow. Figgle, You're you placing trees off. with owls. Well, actually, I was thinking of doing my uh, hornets, actually. Do I have okay. that still? Uh, yeah, you still have the hornet's nest. Let me see how much that does. Uh, da, da, da. Can I put that in chat? Yeah. Boom. Uh, will cause a swarm of hornets to attack whoever's hit, dealing 1d4 damage right away at the start of each round. Ooh. Like if they fail it. Uh, Alright. This thing looks beefy. Yeah. And hmm. I would say for you, staring at it, it sends a, just a shiver down your spine. Yikes. All right. Hmm. I would like to attack, but now you're making me scared. <laughs> do I do it with the damp bow? Is there anything I can do? You're gonna just, it would just be a straight up attack. Uh, at level okay. one, you don't have anything. Um, and because you're not a rogue, I don't know you, if I you, could take on. You can get a surprise a attack, but so one. essentially what would happen here: the mechanics are, you would get a surprise attack because you're sneaking. You rolled fucking super high, and its passive perception is shit, uh, and it's currently not actively perceiving around it. Um, so you can get a free hit off it, and then we roll initiative, um, essentially. Um, and then if it goes before you, it goes before you. So you may get one hit off, but then everything around is going to be. Alerted. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'll just wait around here now that I know what's going on and okay. wait for the other group to make a move first and then just do that anyway. Okay. So do oh. you hide anywhere? No, I move back here, I think. Okay. You hide, just like back yeah. against the wall and like <sighs> deep breaths. Oh god, <laughs> gotta prep myself mentally, physically. <laughs> just the memories of your the anxiety being induced from whenever your father would go out hunting. Coming back to you. Figgle. You see her fall back, not taking a shot. Not even having notched a but uh, notched an arrow. And are you just traveling back? I'm gonna get into vision of someone. Um so Hopefully. you can roll a perception check to see if you can perceive anyone. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um <laughs> You can't quite work out Fiddlebottom. Um so do you Okay. I will slowly get closer until I can see him. Okay, so, uh, I say, yeah, you both would just essentially see each other at the same time here. Um, it's like, whoop. <laughs> and then I will, I will like point at him, point at like, like do a big circle like others, and then I'm like, come! Like <laughs> I'm gonna move my arm like this. Okay. And do we all see We're doing some good scouting here. Yeah, I'd say Will and Howden, you do. Um, Theo, you're blocked by the tree. Little, you see it. Sam, yeah, we'll say she noticed it as well. Malachi, you're kind of looking and then like looking back. Um, so until someone else moves, you wouldn't notice. So I'd, I'd wait for him to turn around, look at me again, and then signal. Okay. Are you yeah, gonna follow? I will head. Yeah, I'll, I'll just leave the spear where it was, 
Okay. I just grab my uh, the sword and just like crawl or just back. Okay. Yeah, you crawl back and you eventually get over here. Um, and so, are you guys just going to follow Figgle here? Yeah. Yeah. I will. Okay. Uh, and Figgle, where are you taking them? Exactly behind uh, Flair. Yeah, so you go up around here. And remind me. Uh, this will be a new stealth roll as well, actually, for everyone as you broke. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, what? That was not the roll I thought I was. Oh, dear. Oh, wait, it's so not loaded. Noisy. It's, I think oh, okay, there we go. It's better. I, I've Even rolled better. two, three, and four on my stealth checks. Yeah, that's wild. And my average is nine right on the roll, so. I've got some bad news. Slimkins, are you there? Yep. Okay. I got an eight on my stealth. Yeah, sorry, your camera turned off for me. Um, oh, just, oh, no, it's not you. It's yeah, just yeah. Discord. It's just Discord. Uh, okay. So, you guys start creeping along and good one Makai you've seemingly been able to find the right foot in but <sighs> who rolled the lowest here Will oh, no, trips over oh wait where's your roll we rolled How? the same we rolled the same oh both the threes wait I don't see your roll though oh it's at the very it's top February. uh yeah so again <laughs> <laughs> that's my really noisy arm <laughs> How walking along and gets caught on a stick, but doesn't you don't make, manage to make too many no, too much noise. But Will like walks over and then just like pulls you away from it, trying to help you, and it just makes this horrible clanging sound. And Flair, you hear this. <laughs> oh no! And. Do an active perception roll for this. Can it be to three? Uh, <laughs> if it doesn't, that is a miracle. This, that first one nearly didn't. Um, that one definitely did. You what hear these la like just at first you hear like a like impacts and then they quiet and, and then you hear the slight brushing sound um, and figure you notice it as you like you're turning back around from everyone making this just horrible noise and I will just reposition some people slightly differently here because of being different sneaks um Fiddlebum uh, is is there any, anywhere specific here you would want to be standing right now? It can't. It can only be within like ten feet of Figgle. Uh, like there. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I would say you and yeah. So Figgle and Fiddle, you both see this large entity pushing its way through this fairly tight area, and Flair, you hear it breathing. With your high perception. And Would it be reasonable to shoot it in the face? Like in the eye? So you're still sneaking right now. Like if I peer around the corner. It sees. Uh, wait, what did it get with this? Okay. Um, fiddle. Okay, and Figgle. Okay. So it's see. Yeah, okay, no, we just need to roll an initiative. Sorry, guys. Here right. we go! It rolled high enough. Um, <laughs> but within this, Flair, you are considered hidden. Okay. And oh my god. You got so... more than 21? Huh? No, so I... I'm saying, so you are also hidden as well. Oh, um, okay, okay. Uh, Figgle. Um, oh. Figgle and Flair are both hidden. So you, I would say in this instance, are able to just like collapse away. But Fiddle, you're not fast enough crossing this gap and you are spotted. Um, and here we go. Let's oh, see how we fucking do on this one. I did not see it starting like this. To be oh, honest, we, I, I did not know. Say, yeah. Are we gonna run this or are we gonna 
call it like here because I feel like from my experience with Dungeons and Dragons, if we start a combat now, we'll be here till 3 a.m. <laughs> I don't mind. It's up to you guys. I'm, I'm really itching to do it. It's, but it's, it's up to you guys. I'm, I'm happy to do it. I want to swing my hammer. You guys are happy for me to I'm take not, like I'm a not, 10 not. minute break to go for a smoke. And then I'll yeah, I'm, um, yeah, that's play fine. till fucking whenever. Cool. Let's do it. I'm, I'm, I'm easy. I'm just I'm just Why not? <laughs> yeah. As long as you give me 10, 10 15 Reset. to go for a smoke and then I'm. I feel like I'm going to die. We'll go for a quick break now. We'll say 10 minutes because um, we want to get back into this. Um, yeah. Yeah, sweet. We have been going for, well, technically five hours, but not. I hours. know, you love a big session. Kind of a good session. <laughs> yeah, like I said, going to keep this to four hours, maybe three hours. It's <laughs> <laughs> session one. It's session right. one. I'm going now, and I'll right. be back in ten. All right, well, well, everyone, ten. we are going to go to break for ten minutes. Come back and join us. I uh, love you, and we'll see you guys in a bit.
Alrighty, here we her. go. So we are going to be going into combat. Welcome, guy, back, uh, everyone. Who is still remaining at this late hour? The true heroes of the adventure. So let's start off by rolling initiative, and then we'll have the sneak attack round first. I cannot see the scene. It's yeah, just going for me. Uh, can you refresh? Uh, yes. There we go. And then I'll probably need to drag you back over anyway. Are we supposed to be seeing something? Uh, refresh. This oh, side can't no, be reached. Just, yeah. 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 It's done that. Right. No, it's done what? This side can't be reached. Um, yeah, good same old for me. Okay. Kind of was doing all so the, good. All the gods saying no. Let me just... Let's do with the reload. Yep, yeah, I'm just going to be restarting. Let me put the load music back on, but I can't Oh my god. It. The thumbnail for this music is ridiculous. Yeah, all, all the all the animations and stuff. These kind of music is absolutely fucking sick. So it's yeah. dragon with jetpack. Uh, press F five. You can load back in now. Loading. Is this clockwork oh. dragon? Yeah. 
Also, you I'm gotta join back in with the password you gave me. Yeah, what, sorry? I'm offended by the password you gave me. <laughs> Same. That weapon is great. <laughs> I'm back in. I feel like mine was a personal good. attack. It was. I think they all were. <laughs> I told him I wanted to be a zookeeper and mine's a zoo noob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, has everyone got noob in theirs, I guess? Yep. I, guess I think so, yeah. Yeah. Aside from Flame, but that's because I left his password as the other one because I copied this world over. Uh, from... Alright. I need okay. to switch scenes. You're watching me drink water. That's what my initiative. Thrilling, that is, of it. Yeah, so you can all roll initiative. You should be able to oh. see the scene. If you can't see the scene, shout now. Why can't I roll that? No, it's all working for me now. It is. Oh no. Yeah, it's working. Okay. Do I ever roll a decent initiative? To be fair, Flair, you rolled really well in the last minute. Yeah. I haven't yeah. rolled a decent anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the, it's oh. like karma. We get the surprise round, but terrible initiative. Yeah, and, and we get the tank good... that needs to get in front of everyone. Yeah, this is gonna fuck yeah, us the up. The lowest initiative of everyone. <laughs> and, and, and the person with inspiration is the person who rolled the highest. <laughs> yeah. well, all the that's, biggest... all that's saying is that people just need to, that all the squishies need to fall back. Behind run, the tank. run behind me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so. So everyone's in a line. First off, let's, let's get into this. Um, good luck. Oh, fun. And... Good luck. Don't cry. <laughs> Um, if you die, get better, noob. So, first off, <laughs> Flair. Yes. Oh, no, Figgle. You're higher than Flair on the, on the initiative here. Um, okay. uh, both have the same things. Yeah. Um, Figgle, you get to act first as you're higher up on the initiative in this sneak attack round. Does it need a um, pause in or...? Uh, yes. But, so... Figgle, if you go first here, okay, Figgle, sorry. not Fiddle, yeah. Okay, let's turn. Uh, so you have your normal okay. actions. Yep, I will... Let me measure this out. Okay, I You will click move. on your token and then hover yep. on his, you should see yeah, it. Yeah. I'm gonna move 25 feet to here. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. And I am going to... Okay. We got this, guys! Start spinning the sling. There's a hornet's nest loaded in. They're getting concussion. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Throwing the hornet's nest towards him. Okay. Um, so he's going to roll to save versus this. Hopefully he doesn't hit Flair. Does 17 yeah, right. hit? Uh, 17 does hit. Let's go. Um, it saves versus the constitution check. Okay. Natural 17. Oh, that's massive damage there. So it's one damage. Yep. Um, Maybe I get my modifier on that as well. So I hadn't actually added it on there as well. Uh, no, you don't get your modifier on the Hornet's okay. Nest. Okay. Um, okay. But I should have added it on there. That lasts. Um, roll a 1d4 for me. Let's see how how long the Hornet's stay around. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> so they stay around for one more round. Um, so this is up to you to track. Um, and I will mark down where they are at at the moment. Um, and... They'll do damage to anyone going in there, and still have a. Here. Sorry. They should what? With bonus action, I can dash or hide. Do you have cunning? No. It's only a rogue that can. It's do an bonus action, action, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just... rogues do his bonus. Uh, rogues and monks uh, have the ability to be able to do it because monks yeah, have. Yeah. Yeah. Monks uh, can spend step of the wind. Yeah. Step of the wind. That's yeah. it. Uh, so that's the end of your go. Unless you want to do Sorry some guys. bonus. No, I've got um, no bonus, I think. Yeah, uh, and then Flair, it is your go. What are you doing? As okay. a hornet's desk flies past your face. I and might. You're acting at that same moment. So there are three things I can do, okay? <laughs> I could either go here and retreat a bit and see what happens. Maybe let some of the, like, brawnier people come in. I could throw a hornet's nest on top of the hornet's nest, so it's double hornet's nest. Or, third option, I climb a tree. I think you should just <laughs> do none options. of those and you should take a fourth option right and just shoot him in the fucking face. Wait, sorry, oh. say that again? Shoot him in the face! Shoot him in the <laughs> face? Fifth option, shoot him in oil the face. Flask. Fine, I shoot him in the face. 
Yeah. You, remember, you can oh. move and then shoot. Oh, you're yeah, so you need to move up. here. So you can move away. And then okay. To get a clear um, shot, you need to move here. Would I be able to you're... move it fully here then? If I'm going to shoot it anyway. Uh, that is too far. No, the most you can far. get is um, at the end of my line here. Yeah. I think you can see. Okay, then I would like to stand on top of this truck. Sure, I will allow it. Just um, move your character. All right. To also, get... by the way, I just realized, so if you have the measuring tool out and you measure something whilst it's um, on top of your character, you can press space and it'll move your character there as well. Hmm. So it's a slightly different way of doing it. Who keeps putting okay. on these things? All right. Um, cool. <laughs> so a target hit. Left or oh, click. Because there is an animation for arrows as well. And then take the, sh um, use your bow. Okay, hold on. Uh, inventory. Oh, you just on Oh, I'll, I'll relock. Boom. You don't have to. Oh, it's not working. I want to. <laughs> I can't see this animation. It's thoroughly disappointing. But that's just because my PC is trash, I think. <laughs> oh. Is there an animation? I imagine it's fantastic. It's yeah. just like a little arrow. Bear of the mind. I think it's uh, beautiful. 18? 18? <laughs> Wait, oh, how'd you roll so high? This is nuts. I, I don't know. I actually don't know. <laughs> just I get lucky. like a, I mean, a plus, plus four, four, plus two. A plus six. How's a plus six? Oh, I don't know. Is, um... You yeah, Mad Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. Eric, like, yeah that hits. Fucking go for it as you just like cool. run away and then, yeah. Uh, do I do normal? Yes, lovely. A three. Seven Fine. total. Okay. So you you run and you dive past this log, or do you just do you stand on it? Do you jump like run and jump I onto it, or run and jump and then I aim for the eye. Okay. 180 no scope. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going <laughs> to introduce cold shots at the moment. Maybe I'll do them later on, uh, which is essentially where you can aim for a particular part of the body and it's hard uh, to hit. Okay. Um, but if you, if well, you know, what I will. But in future, you have to call out beforehand. Cool. So you I, run and jump that. onto it, launch off your wet arrow, slices through the air, sending dripless splattering around and straight in towards <laughs> the, the haunch of this uh, wolf, who's like, and just. Not happy at all at this point. Nice. Um, you have a bonus action. I don't think you can do anything with it. I don't think I will, honestly. Maybe I I can't back up anymore. No, uh, you have moved your maximum movement. I don't think you have anything you are able to do currently. Yeah, all right. I end my turn. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. I need to sort out this again. There. I don't know how this is doing it. All right, one sec. When we restarted the server, I needed to reconnect the observer, which I didn't do. But somehow it was still capturing information, even though the user's not connected. Like, I, I don't know. Praise to be the Omnisire. That is. That's read my password out on the stream. <laughs> not good. <laughs> take, give it, take it. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna need to go back to here. Click this. Change it to directed. And we are good. Good to go. Alright, now it's actually updated so people can actually see what's going on. Uh, cool. Right, so this is what has happened to the stream. My apologies, but I'm scuffed. Onwards, we start combat. My god. Uh, and oh shit. This is gonna be interesting. So. I'm so gonna die. Malachi. <laughs> Three years. What are you I'm doing? Do I'm gonna push up to select. Um, what I will say as well is what I need to do is actually just fix initiative. So remove because all, all the wolf pups are gonna be going on their own on the same initiative. Okay. So we've got that left alt, you say, to target? Yep. Yep. And left click. Oh, why is it giving me advantage? That's weird. Um, it was not meant to, so just click on the dice. Uh, you uh, got a total of 16. 16. Yep, you so, yeah. managed to hit with that. Oh, actually, from your angle, it has got um, half cover, it which adds have. two onto it. No, that still hits. The 16. Yes. Cool. Uh, roll damage. A little bit different from uh, normal. Yeah. Uh, Twenty-four. 
because I forgot to do my thing beforehand, because now it's my hex weapon. Never mind. Nice. No, oh, I thought it was a nine. Still nice. No. Still good. Still good. Happy nice. Day. Better than a one. Six damage. Again, it just... Where where do you aim on this body? Not the just forehead, but... Pretty much just out the wolf, and the way okay. this looks now is like with the spear, where I aimed it like a pool cue and fired it off like a lance. Yep. With this, with the long sword, it's pretty much like I just dragged the blade, swung through the air, and the eldritch blast is just like a cleaving slash. Awesome, and yeah, it just gets the bolts flying through the air. It's spinning, and you have to like kind of like do like a curve around the wall, which then just hits the chest of this wolf and just wow. uh, tears apart like the the fur, and it's just showing flesh. We're um, doing it. You are doing a lot of damage here. What uh, kind of um, thingy do you have as well? What sorry? What's your uh, blah, blah, blah. your thingy blast? Uh, yeah, like some of them are like, like knockback, some of them are... I don't think you'd have that stuff. yet. It doesn't have any. No, we just, that no. just, that just oh, right, exist okay. yet for me. Yeah. And then oh, okay. uh, for my uh, bonus action, I'm going to apply the Hexblade's Curse to the Giant Wolf. Are you close enough? It's not in range. It's, oh, oh no, it's within 30 foot. Yeah, it's so, yeah, within 30 yeah. feet, yeah. yeah. Okay. Might be out. Uh, yeah, you are. It's uh, Yeah, far. yeah, so we won't be doing that then. Yeah. Um... Sag. And I will say, um, yeah, um, all the wolves are going on their turn as well, which is now. So you hear this, let's see if I can say this word correctly, cacophony of howls and barks coming from all different parts um, of this. And from different directions come multiple different walls. Uh, he can't go through there, so he's going to go here uh, and up. This is going to leap down. Go here. Uh, next up, another wolf who is going to climb this. Let's see if he does it. Yep. Up and over and around the corner. Diving up here um, and using their movement to get to you, Hal. That's it for them. Go, who on his turn is going to let out a howl, and everyone. Oh no! I think everyone. Um, Psychic damage. Yeah, everyone. Can you make a wisdom saving throw for me, please? Absolutely. Ah. Uh... It's not a magical effect. So the way you do saving throws on this oh, is you click on the actual oh skill no. and do a bar. Uh, yeah, if does anyone need any help with uh, saving throws? Someone what was it again? Sorry? It's a wisdom, it's it wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Wisdom. Someone buffed wisdom. mine. <laughs> I can't roll for shit. I'll take 19. So, oh. this 
loud bellowing howl just gets unleashed towards you guys. And this isn't even their action. Um, bonus action at that. And you guys uh, who rolled below a 14 are frightened. Um, for one minute, you can make a wisdom saving throw at the end of each of your turns. I'll be down to you to remember. Um, but if you right click on your token, uh, and then on the right hand side, there should be assigned status effects. And then if you look for frightened, just to keep track of it, if you rolled um, below 14, if you rolled 14, you're fine, but if you rolled below 14, yeah, I was just looking because I've not uh, used means, Foundry before. That just means I can't go towards the dark. Well, we have disadvantage. You also on have disadvantage rolls. on all attack rolls whilst you are in sight, uh, whilst you can see it, which is currently. I mean, never. I, don't, I can't see it right John, now. Uh, being frightened as well. You can't see it yet. Um, it hasn't actually. So right now, yeah. So right now, yeah. I suppose it'll move now. Yeah. Um, but is there like any elevation around here? You you are on elevation right now. Um, this down here so is like there's a rocks slight, are down. Yeah. It's not like a crazy one, it's about five foot. Yeah. I was just thinking whether I could hide behind the rocks and fight the, the back <laughs> of the back without being frightened. Unfortunately not. Uh, right. Who's rolling? Me, I was just seeing if I got that crit success on my uh, on my fear trick. No oh, advantage against up. being frightened. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Yeah. <laughs> um, where's Ryan on here? Am I being fucking blind? I was looking to put on someone. F, F, F. In the middle, second row, maybe? My brain is absolutely decapitated right now. Uh, no, brain bottom, fine. Uh, okay, cool. Anyway, uh, has everyone applied it who needed to? Mm hmm. Where? Yeah, you got it, Fiddle. Yeah, yeah. So it's I just didn't. Howden and Figgle and Sam who got Ryan. Okay, it's not too bad. Uh, and now they are going to. Leap, uh, like Karen pushing through it. Mm. And seeing as you're the one that slung some bees at it, Figgle, it's going to charge on over to <laughs> you and it is just going to go <laughs> and it's going to take a bite attack at you. Uh oh. 16. That is my AC. It hits. You take six points of damage. Oh, okay. But this thing is just bleeding profusely. You guys have done some work right off the fucking bat. Uh, <laughs> it played smart. Yeah. Just nuke the big bad. <laughs> it's a glass cannon. Isn't it? Turn one's everything in fucking D&D combat. You have a good turn one, it controls the whole fight. <laughs> yeah, well, I put I, everything I'm, into sneak. <laughs> I'm so far behind that I can't do anything. And I'm frightened. <laughs> <laughs> and I will do two on this shit. Yeah, and sometimes you just get uh, shit rolls. So that's what I guess. So, uh, you're, you're holding the flank. You're holding the flank. It's <laughs> At the end oh, of the turn. Probably more useful. It is going to use a uh, heroic action and is Great. going to essentially howl again, but this time it seems to be more just command and presence and all of its allies get to move 20 feet. And if they are in range after that movement, they have to move though, they get to make an attack. So this wolf at the top first is going to move Great. 20 feet. Bye, Sam. And is going to attack Sam here. She did. Nah, fuck it's for her AC. Or she is bloodied, has one HP. As it oh just runs over and is just going to jump through the air and grasp onto her necks like and just rips and sprays Jeez. blood everywhere as you just hear her scream for a second before it turns into like a gush rule, just like her throat is filling with blood. This other wolf is gonna move 20 feet. <sighs> yeah, you know what, I'll say it can get up onto this part here. They're highly agile. Um, right, right. They're looking to gang up on Howden here. Um, this wolf is already on New Flare, so it doesn't actually get to do anything. Wolf pup, pups, oh no. How much movement have they got? No, they've got enough. This poor wolf pup. It's going to run straight into the, uh, the hornets. Um, no. And take what? There's one. 
this thing just runs through and these hornets haven't lost its target they all just dive bomb into its eyes and just a drill and just uh, they're fucking pissed off and this puppy is just wailing around on the floor now and is considered dead Biggle. um so there you go first I kill mean, of the combat how could you do this <laughs> If I'm dead. The only kill, I'm frightened. Kill a puppy in room. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I've got to, I can't even get out of his range. <laughs> All of and yeah, these uh, they just go straight for his fucking eyeballs. You know, <laughs> no mercy. <laughs> you, you've murdered a puppy. You've murdered an innocent. It's not a good day for me. Roll mm. three ones. Just be grateful, John Wick isn't here. Well, actually, they need to be further back there. Um, okay, uh, that's the end of his go. Now it is the pup's go. <laughs> this pup on the floor is just kind of laying now, then just like spasming every so often as these hornets just dive bombing it just over and over again, piercing its skin, and then fly back to their original position. Wait, Tom, was the one that charged me supposed to attack me? I think you forgot. Oh, um, yes, it was actually. Try to get myself killed. Let's see. So it attacks you with advantage due to pack tactics. 14. Why did I say anything? No. <laughs> so it, it rushes and dives over towards you. And as you originally hear, heard that roar, you're able to turn in time to catch it as it dives towards you. And you'll just bash it with your, your hammer to the side as it hits and like, ah, it yelps. Good catch, though. I appreciate Good that. Job. Playing clean is the best way. And mm. that will be rewarded. Um, Give him inspiration. <laughs> By another wolf. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Just start off heavy. You can have inspiration. <laughs> Um, I don't have to worry about it. You're so low on initiative. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the fight will be over before. I yeah, fucked either just way. Have to, uh, I have to <laughs> break. I have to break frightened and then do something. This guy is going to charge up here, um, and then is going to charge around to the puppy. That is their turn. This puppy is going to charge through the hornets. Oh no! Um, <laughs> gets hit by the hornets again. <laughs> And they've just found a new target, and these hornets are cunts, and just dive vomit. And it's oh just my god! To death. So the, these these puppies are what I consider two villains. puppies. Oh, I forgot. All right, we've got two puppies left that we can take as pets. Okay, guys. So let's just make sure to kill the rest. What's worse than one dead puppy? Two dead puppies. <laughs> Why? It's a circle yes. of life. <laughs> uh, as they just Nothing. dive forward, and this last one. Uh, uh, up here. And all you hear is. <laughs> yep. As they all just die form and die into that. Good frightens. If the thing that frightens me dies, do I immediately lose it? Yep. Or would I start? Okay. Someone uh, killed the big bad. Oh, yeah, I was please, thinking. I was thinking. Please. Not trying Don't to. Don't worry, break boys. It. I'm on it. Are you going to fucking blow him up? <laughs> I have to deal with all the puppies. <laughs> you take them. Uh, Maybe throw the bomb. It is now it's like seal clubbing, going. but with dogs. All right, well, I shout out to the team. We can. The puppies don't need to die. <laughs> Please don't you can't kill see the this. puppies. <laughs> oh, maybe. No, you can just hear just... the onslaught. You can see the little oh, okay. You behind. can hear the puppies dying. Oh, fuck <laughs> it. And I grab hold of my crystal again and I point at the big bad, the big wolf. Okay. And I do another chaos bolt. Oh shit! Let's oh, go. Come on, big rose. Taylor, you keep putting down. Uh, yeah. How templates. do I get rid of them? So you need to click uh, on the left hand side. Click on the little person. Me. Icon. Oh yeah. Is it me? No. No. Oh. Taylor just keeps. Uh, putting... Sorry. I, I thought you said Teo, like Teo Porsche. <laughs> it a gun for the French French alternative to my name. All right, let it rip. Let's see what you get. All right. 8 plus 1d6, my god. Yeah, it's, it's really yeah, interesting. It's, and by the it's way, it's like, not... Oh, it's oh, no. Who are you targeting? The big wolf? The big wolf. Yeah, no, you... Nine. Conjure up this energy. Um, well, you describe it to me, because this is the second time you're casting a spell. How does this... Alright, yeah, well... How uh, do you miss? Theo's still scared, so he's just grabbing the crystal, pointing his finger and closing his eyes. <laughs> So, where it goes after that point is not up to him. You, yeah, you're holding it and just... Um, and there's just this ball of, like, lightning energy that just spurts, like, 
just explodes out, and the force is so great, you fall back backwards for a second, but like get back to feet very easily as the energy just smashes straight into the the wall behind um, the the wolf, and apparently just, I have a D twelve for my wild magic search. Oh, okay. Let's see how that goes. <gasps> oh, was it one? It's it hasn't loaded for me yet. A tooth. It was close. <laughs> I'll take that. So it's a D eight next. Uh, D ten, I think next. D ten. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, D ten. When does it reset? When you long rest? When I when have you... a wild magic surge. Okay. It resets. Um, to I, I also have a roll table for this, by the way, set up. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I had to look at because yeah, like I said to you before, I've never played a wild magic sock, but I know that. <laughs> It's just fucking crazy, but they can be quite few and far between if you don't alter the sort of rules. So. Yeah, but yeah, uh, I'm happy to look at this, another table. I think yeah, it'd be cool. yeah. I mean, this, so this is a default one, but I have another one in mind that I'm. Would, okay. I will want to do. Um, if it, yeah, sweet. If, for example, if it lands on fireball, I would look to yeah. do something other than that because like, it's just fucking stupid. That's um, insta death. It just yeah. Kills all. Yeah. It literally. It, like, it would kill seen. me a hundred percent. Yeah. If I level one wild magic to fireball, it centers the fireball on myself as the caster, so it would just oh, insta kill me. There's no fucking <laughs> unless I rolled ones on it. There's no way I could survive it. <laughs> what is it? Forty-eight. No, it's not. It's, um... Yeah, so I think it's sixty-six level one fireball. 80, 80, 80, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. They would just incinerate me anyway. Um, right, anyway, onwards. Uh, are you moving? Are you using your bonus action for anything? Uh, no. Okay. I'm going to stay where I am. Shoot the ult. Yeah, that's <laughs> Fiddle it. bottom, it is your go. Right, yo. Yeah. Um, Ping around. Everyone's in a bit of a precarious situation. Brother's dying. Um, your brother's screaming so, as this thing is just quite literally yeah. latched onto his chest which is its jaw yeah okay. well that's not great uh, i think i will use a fairy fire on this 20 by 20 radius okay um do i click the roll on that yeah you could do cast at level one yeah yep and just put the template down where it um you want it yeah um and then like apply active effects. Oh, actually. Wow, this could be unbelievable. Where is massive. that? <laughs> oh, right, so it. this this will basically negate me being frightened. Right? Yes. Yes. Like that, that so could every, be so everyone good. in that arena um, is going to have advantage. Like people are going to be able to use the attacking. With no, advantage. it's placed so there. Sam, 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 <laughs> Sam. No. Yeah, I I'm mean, Sam. for the greater good. Um, yeah. She's yeah, on one much. HP. If she doesn't run away, she's a dead lady anyway. The next if she does she run away, she, they'll get attack for opportunity and she'll be dead anyway. So. Um, unless she kind of killed the wall. Uh, no, she can disengage. That's an action. Yeah, that's true. That's fair point. She, well, she can't okay. anymore. So, uh, what does this fairy fire look like from you? What do you imagine it to be? Um, well, that highlights yeah. these creatures. They will <laughs> become outlined in a violet, yellow. Light, I guess. Sure. Um, and I presume it looks like a many, many, many bright yellow fairies falling into them. Yeah, sure. Kind of in the shape of daggers. Yeah. Just them constantly sort of falling in and around and just pointing with daggers towards these creatures and sound. exactly. Okay. Yeah, love it. Love the visual. Good shit, my dude. So yeah, anyone attacking them, you'll have advantage for you. How you'll have. Uh, uh, normal straight attacks. Yeah, straight calls, yeah. Um, anything else for you, Fiddle? Uh, yeah, so can I heal as well? Um, you can Healing word. not. Because you cast. Does that count as an attack or not? No, uh, well, no, so fire, free fire, fairy fire is an action, but there's the thing with like leveled spells, you can only cast one level spell um, per turn. Unless you're okay. a sorcerer, then there's a way around it. Um, and then otherwise, I'll hop up on this tree. Okay, never mind. A bit forward. Yep. And I shall thorn whip the big boy. Uh, that's a action. So you don't have any actions left. You only have a bonus action. So if you had a cantrip that was a bonus action, you could use that. But that is a cantrip, the thorn whip. No? 
it's, it's a cantrip, action, but it's an action. So uh, the time the time to cast it is longer than you have left in this round, essentially. Right. You can. I think if you go on your character, like you should be able to. Yeah. So if you look at exclusively um, bonus actions. Yeah. So that would be healing word is your only spell you could do, but because you cast fairy fire and it's a leveled spell, which means it takes a certain level of effort um, to focus and uh, to be able to cast it, um, you're not able to do another leveled spell. Whereas, um, yeah. Okay, so when I click bonus action, all it says is healing words, yeah, so that's so the only one I can do, right? Yeah, you don't have anything else. Um, and all your... Okay. Yeah, you have no bonus actions that you can do. I guess I just back the hell up then. Okay. Um, how much do I get with the dash as well? I mean, like uh, you can't dash, feet. you've already used your action, so you have, <laughs> okay. you have another um, 10 feet to use. Fif okay. Well, I'll be over yeah. here. You can you can hide up against that tree. Well, not hide, but just push up against it. Yep. Right. That's me. Figglebottom, you are next to this alpha wolf who has thematically got it, had its uh, jaws locked around your chest. It's sort of lifted you up, shook you around, and then put you back down, flung you to the floor. <laughs> what are you Figglebottom doing? Figglebottom shouts. Guys, where are you? And then he's gonna try and like thrust his short sword into him. Okay. Um, and also your bees are gone now. Disadvantage. Yeah. Thank you for my. <clears throat> does firm. not hit. Not bad. <laughs> no. Doesn't hit. Okay. Can I roll a wisdom less at the end of my turn? Can I roll a wisdom to Yes. So it's only at the end of your turn. Figglebottom is frightened and he's going to try and run away. Okay. Help! An attack of opportunity on you. Yep. A dirty 20. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Ouch. Not get anywhere. <laughs> it hits you for three damage. You're very lucky. Oh my god. You're still gonna move. Though. Yeah, you can still move. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So you can move well, 25 feet news. wherever you want. It just like grabs it like your back and yeah. just rips like off you... a little bit of clothing. It's, yeah, it's just a claw kind of attack. As you move, it just slices down your back and just removes chunks. Like oh, just a stream of flesh. It's just. Wisdom. Yeah. Saving throw. I wish these were ability checks, but apparently I'm terrified of wolves, even Never though they're mind. my favorite animal. Never mind. I'm scared mm. of wolves. Uh, now it's Will's go, who's not frightened. He's going to turn around like, Sam! And he's going to charge around here. I can do it because I'm the GM. Um, and it makes sense. He is going to... Yeah, I mean, he's going to try and shove <laughs> this wolf. Um, yeah, you better... <laughs> Oh no. For him. The wolf contested. Oh. 16's good though. It was hovering around that 5 and then went over to a 13 and it loses. So it's going to get shoved. Yes. Five Yay. feet back. Go. Which he then. I, I, I would have said he would have done it whilst he was running upwards. Um, so it actually moves back and does something. Otherwise, if it just went to the left, it was still going to fuck Looks like. Um. <laughs> So he like runs around and just tackles it for a second and stands back up and is getting ready and then realizes how fucked he is now um, as this wolf is staring at him, who is damaged. No, that's the alpha, never mind. Um, yeah, I don't think you guys have hit the wolves. Anyway, uh, end of Will's turn. Flair, it is yours. You have a puppy yapping and biting at your feet and you have a- They do not concern wolves. me. These are fine. Uh, <laughs> so go. my question to you is, is disengaging an action or, or a is. bonus action? action? Okay. If you are a rogue, you could um, use a cut in action. Oh man. All right. I would like to just shoot the big bad, obviously. Cool. Uh, roll with disadvantage. <laughs> oh no. Because you are currently in melee combat, which means any ranged attacks you make. Do you think, actually, you know what? Can I move, risk an opportunity of attack and then shoot him? Sure. You would be taken okay. to attacks. That's fine. I have a high dexterity. Uh, I'll move up. 
I think. Here? Okay. Let me roll and see if you get knocked out. <laughs> see if you get knocked out. <laughs> <So she's, laughs> she survives <laughs> falling from the tree and dies from a puppy. Mm, oh, yeah. I have a 14 armor class. <laughs> the adult rolled a 14 total and the wolf rolled a 16 total. Wow. They both fit. Good luck being you dead. You can stay there, you can stay there because as you're like going away, the puppy gets in the way of the wolf and although they manage to like, claw, like, uh, claw at you and rip at uh, your legs, essentially your, your calf muscles are just torn up uh, by the main one and you kind of get like a little bit scratched up by uh, the wolf puppy as you take a total of three damage. These, oh, okay. The damage rolls are not working for some of these, which is pretty good. Lucky for you guys. All right. Actually, no, they both had advantage on those. So let me just check if those were crits or not. Neither one of them were crits. All right. Whew. All right. And now I will shoot the big bad. Okay. Do you think we can do like the cool animation? How do we make this happen? Uh, so hold alt and then left click on it. The actual token. Yeah, there you go. As soon as long as there's like the marker on top left of the token. All right. And now I will use my damp bow uh, for attack. Yes. Yep. Normal. Nineteen. Nineteen. All right. Christ. Yes, that hits. What the Don't fuck is wrong with you? Rolls. It's not my fault. I made an OP character. Don't worry. She falls at trees. <laughs> That's my weakness. It's trees. <laughs> Fucking trees. Damn you trees. Okay. <laughs> oh hey! my god! It's Someone so much damage. Rolls. Man, it means I'm be dead, right? Dogs. Is it dead? How do you want to do this? I'm As sorry. You kick it along the street. You killed it. it. Oh, no, not over yet. How was it meant to survive Wait. this? It's just a poor little boy. I pull my bow back. It feels damp in my hand. It feels right. I uh, remember my father's teachings of you know what I know about direwolves, and I'm like I can do this. The arrow flies. It goes into the snout of the direwolf, and he just goes <laughs> and dies. So. <laughs> As you you run away from these wolves, you have no care in the world about these. They they scrap at you. They tear up your legs. Huh. <laughs> but you're brought back to a nightmare that comes to you over and over again, of a just a screaming, howling noise that you've had ever since your father was torn apart by wolves. And it just feels right, and you let flow Oof. less. Let flung. Let, let flung. Fly. Let fly. Let fly. Let there you go. fly. fly. Let fly. <laughs> the arrow, which yeah, goes straight up and splits its nostril as it goes straight up through, and one of its eyes just rolls back, like <sighs> steps forward, and then just like nose into the floor and just carries dirt forward wow. as it travels ten feet forward there, as it falls dead, and you have killed this motherfucker. Redemption. <sighs> She's fucking 12 damage. What is wrong with you? Are you hacking? No! Eight? Can I like a natural eight? I can drop that? Pride, right? Are you Check. hacking? Check. I, ho I wish. Checking PC. Have you got word.exe on your. I'm streaming. I am joking. <laughs> Stream sniping. End of your go. <laughs> Stream snipers. Oh, this is epic. You have, um. You have about, uh, what, 10 feet left of movement as well, if you wanted to move anymore. Oh, wow. Okay. I think I will move. Can I move down here? 10 feet. Here. Yeah. I'll move here. Yeah, that's fine. This feels nice. All right. Any of you will go? End turn. I can drop frightened now, right? Uh, yes. yes. Anyone who is frightened, you can drop it. Like it's hot. You're welcome. Uh, include Sam, by the way. <laughs> yeah. One of the. Got it. Thanks. Good chance. Um, that's always help very helpful. Um,. Where's um Jack the Butcher or whatever his name is? I can't see him. Uh, you can't, but he's just uh, right here. Okay. Um, he's slightly off just because there is technically a tile there, um, so I'm just being a DM. Uh, but yes, yeah, so Sam's go, <laughs> and she like blood is just like squirting out of her neck, um, and she is just going to turn around and like run backwards, um, and as she does so, so she is going to just try and throw her last remaining um, glass shard uh, bomb at her. It's not actually a bomb. An 11, and that does actually hit. These things don't have a high AC. So damage coming out from that is going to be three points of damage. 
which is still, you know, nothing to... It's not that. End of there go. Howden, finally mm. we get to you! What are you gonna fucking do? I'll keep it simple. The hammer's coming up. I'm gonna attack oh. the one on the left. Uh, this one. Go for it. I'd say you have advantage because it's actually on uneven foot in here. Oh, you ha you have advantage anyway. So. Fairy fire anyway. Yeah. Come on. Double advantage. <laughs> oh my god. My god. Oh, <laughs> well, you Thank hit it. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, I have my shield out, so it's uh, uh, D8. Oh. Yeah, because you oh, one-handed it. Taking eleven. Eleven. Yeah. How do you how do you want to fucking kill this thing? All oh, right. So. The hammer he has is actually a, a farming tool. So on one side it's a hammer, on the other side it's a pick. Okay. And as he, as he raises it, he spins it in his hand, so that the pick is on the bottom, and he Ooh. just drives the spike straight through the skull. This yeah. Thing. It it just collapses. You found a weak point um, in the top of his skull as you just bring it through, and it just splits and like down through his throat. As you just hear this gargled yelp that is just stopped by quite literally just metal uh, in in its throat right now. And as you just swing it down further, it just goes flying down, rumbling down this like five foot of rubble. And it's just now laying in a bush. What? And I'll uh, step to the right. There's this one. a tree there, you can't. The trees. I'll probably move. Uh, okay. Our I'll worst stay. enemy. No, I'll stay. You can, you can move around to the left. I, I, I yeah, will that's uneven to me. Yeah. Yeah, I'll leave it. All right. Oh, actually, can I go diagonally? Sorry. I yeah. Didn't. Um, I mean, cool. like, uh, here. So Yeah, yeah, oh, you can. Yeah, you'll stay. I don't want to leave. Uh, yeah, you'll stay in its reach, so you can. Yeah. As long uh, as I don't think I can anymore, because it's not my turn. Oh, okay, there you go. Thank you. Uh, right. Funny enough, oh. it is now the wolves' turn. Oh. So... Sorry, I just moved myself by accident. I moved myself by. Wolf um, turn, yeah? Yeah, it's the wolf turn. I don't know how you're able to even move them. Because um, it says it's my turn. Oh shit, no, you're right, it was your turn. Yeah, it's my guys. Cool. Alright, I'm just gonna move there. And like, I wanted to move here into that five foot and then step into this five foot square here, but it's being laggy. Yeah, there you so go. I wanted to move there, but without doing the attacks of opportunities. And then I'm gonna do. Well, the, the giant wolf is dead, so. Yeah, yeah. But instead of walking like that way, yeah, no, I'm just gonna walk to there and there. Okay. Uh, then go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that combo for funsies okay. on on the wolf. Uh, that's gonna be. Uh, one twenty plus six. What are you doing? Just. Why are you uh, doing manual roll? Uh, because I don't think this longsword is set up properly. Or to do the pack, the hex weapon stuff. Um, that's because you. I don't think you have it at your level yet. Yeah, it's the my god, the the pack, like the actual thing is the hex weapon, not the packed weapon, which is different. Okay, that's fine. I will. Can you take? I thought you take. Fly. Do you take no. hexblade level one? Uh, yeah. So the patron is the hexblade. Oh, I see. Yeah. Because yeah, and then you get one. you can choose the pact of the blade at level three. Mm -hmm. So the Hexblade gives you, um, it makes it so your Charisma is your to hit modifier yeah. instead oh. of your Dexterity. Okay, that's fine. Then here, I'll just change that on the sword as well. So I get plus six to hit and then I get plus four to damage because I get to use my Charisma modifier for damage. Um, yeah, if you just uh, use your use the sword, we'll count the, it as a hit either way. It's 20 hits. Um, sure. But first off, just... uh, use, the, use the spells. Yeah, uh, so the spell is going to be that one. I'm going to cast the spell. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to cast Booming Blade as well. Okay. Uh, Weapon is going to be Longsword, okay. And then roll for damage? Uh, yes, because 20 hits. And it will make a wisdom oh, save. It says I must roll the attack before damage. So I'm just okay, just roll, just roll it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, just roll. Cool. Same roll. <laughs> Same roll. And damage. And then. No. So it'll be. Uh, I'm 
I'm just gonna click the roll damage anyway, and then I'll just roll the normal now. What they should be. Yep. So I should be doing 1d10 plus 4. That's for the longsword, and then I do Wrathful Smite for 1d6 damage. Yeah, you can, you can roll the damage, but you've killed this thing. <laughs> Boom! Yes. That's 17 damage 17 at level 1. 10. No, 10 oh. damage. Ignore the because he's the the booming blade is wrong because he's doing uh, two hundred. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll sort that out later on. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. How do you want to do this? <laughs> just I grab the sword and it's just like it's just coated in a aura of black, but the blade itself is illuminated jade. Mm -hmm. I bring it down and just cleave the beast in two. And then it just like explodes in two pieces. Yeah, just the the pressure from the booming blade and everything, it just separates uh, and splays the chest of the beast, which is very strange, especially because you're hitting it down. The energy just, just pulses down through and explodes the stomach down and through. It doesn't split the whole wolf across, but its innards are just splayed everywhere and its chest, uh, like its ribs are just broken and splayed out. And it is very much dead. Yes. It manually zero. There we go. Awesome. Uh, anything else? I don't think you have anything else. Uh, no, nope, that's movement. pretty much everything. Awesome. Right. Wolf's turn. Um, let's now dive into this quickly. So this wolf up top here is going to snarl at Will and is going to take a attack at them. Nine. That actually misses. Um, and it's going to circle round and just stare at it the will and it's going to be walking over towards you, Halden. And as a, an attack of opportunity with the pitchfork, will does hit. Oh my god, he kills this thing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay, he doesn't kill it, but he does six damage to it and it has one HP left. Um, so it's bloody like... <laughs> right growls around and it's gonna be essentially biting and snapping at your feet Halden, um, which is gonna help this wolf as it moves into next to you Theo as it snaps at you but turns back and dives for your face Halden. as it's gonna roll with advantage an 18 to hit that is my DC my uh, AC 3 Fish. points of damage points of damage for you and I think you've killed all the other fucking wolves uh, so next up <gasps> Alpha was dead wolf pup uh, attack against you 14 does that hit you Mar Marco uh, yeah definitely take one point of damage um, this wolf pup and this wolf pup here I'm going to They'll have enough movement there. So Will is now just going to be surrounded by four different wolf pups who are all going to take an attack with advantage on him. 21, 12, 16, and a unnatural 20. So they all hit and he just gets bombarded, is clinging on with one HP. Next up, another wolf puppy here is going to uh, come up here and move just dash all the way there and that is the end of there go Theo what are you doing uh, I'm going to again shout don't kill the puppies we could we can take them. We d they don't need to die. We can take them with us. Like <laughs> as you show, Will's like fucking kill them. As he's just having like <laughs> he's lost a finger now. He's just been ripped off. He's got one puppy that is just clawing onto his clavicle, and he's like, ah, and yeah, he is getting absolutely murdered. So he's like, no, kill them. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! I'm gonna run over. Oh, I don't even need to move. I'm just gonna 
whack this closest wolf with my quarter stuff. Go for it. I'm just gonna smash it. Cause smash I got, it. I've got nothing left. I got nothing left, Captain. Nothing. Uh yeah. Quarter stuff. Do I just Oh yeah yeah, dice icon here. Well I'm versatile in it, cause use two hands, so yep. You must roll the attack before rolling the damage. Yes, yep. I'm, I'm pressing the reverse style. <laughs> oh, sure. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 21. You hit. That hits, yes. Right now I do versatile. I see, I see. Oh my Ooh. god, Jesus Christ. You oh my god. You don't quite Was that a nat 20? No, it was a 19, no. wasn't it? Yeah. Wait, why does that have plus zero on there? Because <laughs> you're straight, okay. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, oh, right, yeah. Because of my strength. Because of my strength, Tom. <laughs> you're weak. <laughs> my plus zero strength. <laughs> <laughs> you don't quite get the proper leverage, but you do a shit ton of damage and you bonk it. And it's like, it, it, you can almost bonk. see a uh, little canary flying around its head. But instead of canaries, it's just um, some of these uh, fairies flying around with daggers in their hands <laughs> pointing at its head. Nice. I do nothing else. All right, me. Fiddle bottom is now your go. Talking of which. Okay. Um. What are people's health like? Is anyone fucked what up? I think. I'm not uh, well, this I'm well, the NPCs I'm are. Five. I think the rest of us are okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm five. Out of seven out of eleven. Five out of what? Is that Fourteen. Ah, uh, okay. Oof. Well, I'll give Fiddle bottom a healing word. Awesome. Thank you, brother. Uh, if you alt left click them, I want to see if this has an um, animation or not. Alt left click the what? Uh, alt Me. click figure bottom. Okay. Yep. Uh, and then cast Keelan Word. So click on it and send it to chat. And then okay. click on the the cast or like Keelan. I think it says Keelan. Oh Ooh. yeah. Nice. Ooh. Um, nice. So how? How do you heal him with your words? What is it you say to your brother? I'm like, you're the best figure. <laughs> Our parents always loved you. You're not adopted. What? Okay. That's <laughs> uh, words of affirmation. You need to hear okay, my fine. Cool. Anything else for you, Fiddle? Uh, well, that's a bonus action, right? So I can still move uh, and attack. Uh, yeah, actually, you can use uh, yeah, you can use uh, Thorn Rope. Okay. All control flames. Yeah, I'm gonna run up next to Sam and just deck her in the face. Can I go here? Yep. I go there, and I shout. Yeah, it definitely seems like Holden is getting a little bit overwhelmed here, and well, Will is pretty much dead. Oh, you can't quite see him. Wait, which um, that one's low HP. Um, so out the walls you can see... How do I uh, see the one on the left? They're both low. You can't actually see their HP, but they are both low. You can okay. see their... I can see the ones on the right's so HP. Um, oh, can you? Interesting. So I'll thorn whip this one. The one on the left. I'll old click it and see if there's something there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I just clicked it twice. Attack or damage? What's uh, attack. Right? You need to see if you hit it. Um... It, the attack just disappears, hang on. Oh, sorry, that was me. That hits, so roll for damage. Oh. Wow. Gosh. Don't think there was an animation, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, how do you want to do this? This thing had 3 HP left. So, again, how, describe to me, but this time it's a fleshy creature, not just a mushroom. How do you tear this thing apart with your thorn rope? Well, the Thorn Whip wraps all the way around it from head to toe and crushes it. Okay. So that it's as flat as a piece of paper now. Yeah. So Dang. it just crushes it into one part, just wraps around, and you're not quite sure what kills it first. The spikes entering in towards its body, and it's just absolutely obliterating it in its insides, or the crushing. But it's definitely fucking dead as the Thorn Whip just falls down to the floor and then starts dissipating into leaves and water. Um, and yeah. I, do you want to move anywhere? Yeah, I've moved 20 feet, so... Yep, 5 feet left. I'll go back here. Oh, okay, go here. Yeah. 
All right, any of your turn. Figgle, what are you doing? There's a bunch of pops and one wolf. I cannot shotgun this glass shard bomb, can I? Shotgun it. Like, hit multiple... No. Okay. Uh, I will wind Don't up the sling and attack the wolves. We can the, take the them. adult wolf. Another wolf? What are you doing? Sorry? Just, just okay. hurling a rock at it, hopefully. It is one HP, so if you hit it. Yep, it's there. Nice. Uh, how, how, how do you want to do this with this last wolf, which is probably the last remaining threat? <laughs> uh, I imagine it's got its mouth open, like, arr, 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 you yeah. know, going crazy. And I'm just winding up this sling, and I let the rock out, and it just goes straight into its gob while it's open, crushes all the teeth as the stone enters, and just, like, gets lodged in the back of its throat. Yeah, it's... It's kind of like ground but at the same time it's not doing it properly because its whole bottom jaw is just shattered from where when it got hit by will with his uh pitchforks he just swung up and around and smashed its jaws uh his jaw and it's just left there hanging loose so it's just an easy target for you to just swing straight on through and so the sort of spike the sharper part of the the rock that he had picked um just goes straight up through into like smashing the teeth like you were talking about breaking its canines and then just lodging and piercing the back of its throat so it like tries to get rid of it for a second, but then just slumps to the floor and dies. Very nice. GG. Um, I will not move. Just so this is easier to see, I'm just going to move those guys there. Because um, it doesn't change much. Uh, all right, end of your go. It's going to be Will the Purchase Turn, who's just absolutely bleeding. He's lost uh, his little finger. Um, I bloody f say a favorite finger. Uh, he is going to hmm. let's roll an intelligence jump. He will action and disengage. Wink, wink. Nope. <laughs> roll Nate. He is going to just swing down and try Oof. to hit one of these pups. Uh, actually. Yeah, no, he's just going to swing down and hit one of the pups. Why is it not letting me... Fucking stop it, you piece of shit. He doesn't want you to kill the babies, Tom. <laughs> Why is it highlighting everything for me? Let me just refresh myself. Come on, Boundary. None right. of us are dead, though. That's a good sign. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I see. There are plenty more wolves out there. There's plenty more trees as well. <laughs> <laughs> the trees. Bucket um, Oh, I see what's going on. Uh, what I will do is... Get rid of this, because I think that's fucking with me for some reason. What? Why did that go? Oh, I suppose you put two, two down. Sorry about that. There we go. We <laughs> got a five. He just swings around blindly, misses. Um, and he's like, guys, help! Uh, end of his go. Okay. Uh, is it possible to domesticate the pups now that the rest are dead? Uh, roll an A. Mm, you know what? We'll say roll an animal handling check to see if you All have right. any knowledge from that. Uh, normal? Yep. Cool. Oh, no! All you know is, like, wolves, they're bad. All right, like, fair enough. they killed your father. Yeah, you're right, they, they did. never found the body. All right, you know what? I'm going to throw... I'm going to chuck a wasp nest at the wolves. Yep. Uh, do how do I do this? Um, Inventory. Hornet nest. Yep. <laughs> I'll just draw it on. Uh, where are you? Like, ping where you, you're going to want to Like, right here. Okay. Um, yeah. It has that range. So it will hit two of them. Um, it would hit three of them. Um, or the bottom three. So. Or maybe here? Do you, with that? Uh, no, no, actually, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's hit all three of them. Don't worry. Oh, um, nice. All okay, four of them, cool. actually, because they're all technically within the circle range of it. Awesome. Um, <laughs> Should I attack? Roll a 1d4. 
Oh. I, oh, actually, yeah, no, roll attack, sorry, yeah. Click the attack. So it's that. Mm. Yeah, you know what, I think that, that's enough. Um, Alright. So, roll a 1d4. Just cuz. 1d4. Enter. Oh, these are Ooh. definitely dead as a doorknob. Um, Deadly bees. Bees. Um, Alright. So, you lob this hornet nade, and it just lands with an impact and sends just individual, like, groups of hornets across. It seems like this one was packed with extra punch. Maybe a last gift from your godfather, him oh. giving you your, his good one, as it were. The one I dig loved. Um, <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, I mean, technically you did. <laughs> um, and it lands, and it just sends these hornets flying who just seems even angrier than normal and just they just launch themselves into the eyes of Lovely. these puppies and essentially that they don't have they have one hp if they die anything else you want to do uh can i move perhaps? Oh, um all right i should have done that before huh but yeah it lasts for four rounds all right. uh sorry uh you can move you can move all right i would like to move here yep just away from the action cool and and turn and if you'll go is uh, Sam's go. Um, she's going to see the situation that Will is in, and she is going to let go of her neck as blood is just tipping out of her throat, and she is going to do a essentially like a last ditch attempt to try and save her friend at the sacrifice of her own. I'm just going to say theoretically because she's not holding on to her neck and stemming the bleeding, she's going to take one point of damage, which will be enough to kill her. Oh, knock her unconscious, I'll say, in this instance. Is we're going to potentially be out of combat if she hits this. Um, so There's two left, isn't there? Is there two left? And that guy oh, yeah. yeah, there's one next to me. It's okay. That's fine. Um, Poor Theo. She hits and is going to do enough damage, but she just chucks this spear through and it, it barely misses Will. Oof. And hits straight into the pup's throat as it's like bearing up and like onto one of like his other hands as Will is just screaming out in agony uh, and that pup is dead. There is one pup left. It is now Yorgo Halden. And uh, Sam the Fisherman, is, she is unconscious at the moment, I would say. Um, but she only has one death save as a NPC. This NPC anyway. <laughs> I'll just shout out at this point. Ten to the injured. I have this puppy. It is mine. So I'm going to move 15 feet forward. But um, I'm going to third draft. Because <laughs> I think he would care more about the fact that the puppy might grow up into something bad. Okay. Of course it misses. Of course it misses. Wait, no, it's plus six. Uh, yeah, that hits. <laughs> hits. Definitely nice. hits a puppy. Uh, you kill it. <laughs> yeah. So how does this there's, javelin this land into this puppy? <laughs> very heavily thrown javelin that just skewers it. Just no? straight, like, down through his, like, mm. throat. Well, I, th I think it's just coming from the side. Right, through. So. Yeah, okay, yeah, through the side, just through straight side. through his body. Pinning it to the floor. Um, and all the puppies are dead. Uh, we are technically going to be out of combat, but um, Sam is bleeding out, so we'll go Friendly. carry on. Malachi, you've had your kill stolen away from you, but hear the voice in your head. So close. Hey, Woods. Yes. In Woods we go. That is why she's telling us. Tells us to go in. Okay. Ah. One more we see. This one looks different. Hmm. How hostile is it? Does it look? It's just kind of like sauntering around, like got a jog on its back, like on its legs, and it like comes around the corner, doesn't notice you. 
I'm just gonna walk in. Okay. Yeah. Just uh, so use the dash action and just walk in. Yep. As best I can, without colliding into things. Okay. Yeah. So this this would be your. Yeah. There. Okay. Yeah. Like it now notices you and looks up and like turns its, like cocks its head and like. Nah. But it doesn't look intimidating. Anyway, any of your go. Next up. Dead. 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 Theo, it is your go. Will's fucked up, but Sam is unconscious on the floor. His blood is just pooling out of her neck. Okay, I'll run over and uh, do a medicine check. All right, roll a medicine check for me. I don't have any magic, so... That's fine. Gonna have to be... Normal med. Oh shit, my click nature. <laughs> you did roll nature, you can just take the... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's just my fucking foundry taking forever. Never mind. Uh, oh my god. You, <laughs> you roll over. And oh fuck, <laughs> she's dead! She's yeah. dead! I don't know what it is! <laughs> she's, she's just caught in blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Theo, as he was just saying, is he's calling her out dead. As she's kind of like jittering. As like life is starting to leave her, feel the feel is now your go. As you're seeing this, okay. So she's unconscious. Technically, yes, but, but he's calling her out as dead. Okay, I guess. Can I go give a second opinion? Yep. <laughs> you can try and no. <laughs> you look at her. You can medicine tell that like, she's potentially got some life into her. You can make a medicine check if you want. Um, with uh, and using your healer's gadget, you just stabilize her. If you want to, or you can use a medicine chip. Why not? <laughs> I love that decision maker's like, no, should I save you a life? Your kit, do like, you, no, you, you don't have to do a roll for it, you save her. Like it you you use the kit. Um Yeah, no, I thought I'd just do the medicine oh, okay. check. <laughs> oh, Why you not? did a medicine check, alright. Yeah. You you try to like tend to her wounds, but this just so fucking severe, um, and she is just bleeding out. Figure bottom, it's your go. All up to you. <laughs> Did you not see the kid? This woman who is just slowly <laughs> die. <laughs> we need more hands. More hands. <laughs> Medicine check. Kaboom! Oh, she's alive. Let's okay. Go. <laughs> and Theo's Thank like, God. she's dead. What are you doing? Why? <laughs> And Fiddle well, he was just trying to stick his fingers into the, the teeth marks and stuff, but um, it's just the pressure, fully a Faramir situation. <laughs> the, 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 the pressure of his fingers just then squirts blood out other holes more. Um, but Fiddle towards bottom, you come on over and like replace his hands and like stem the bleed, and then you stabilize her, so she's not um, dead, but she is um, unconscious. And we will end combat. Um, there is, I know, it's now close to three a.m. I would like to push on a little bit. Just if... to close it, I think would be yes. good. Let's do it. We beat the big bat. Did you? Did, Did we? we? Oh god, no. <laughs> um, everything seems to be quiet. There's no yapping, aside from one, coming in from inside. Um, All right. I want to move in. Yeah, I'll, I'll... I want to follow Malachi. This is crazy bastards sure cool. up to. And I'll uh, grab my javelin out of the. Uh, yep. The old dog. I, I know exactly where I'm going. Can I. Shall I move? Or? Uh, yeah, you, you guys can now move. I'm not allowed to move. Game pause. Game oh, there you go. Sorry. Thank you. No, I'll, I'll hit yeah. him. Fuck it now. I'm going to bring Flair. I'll just be like, Flair. Puppy. Puppy, puppy. Puppy. Do you puppy. Over there. Yes. Oh my Look god. After the puppy. Like, cocks its head at you, sniffs the air. And like whines and like backs up and runs. Can I offer it food? Like throw a little piece of. Oh, I, we have to follow it. Okay. Like you, you, you can drive it. It tried running away. Like it smelled the blood of its family. <laughs> and has I run. see. Um, and. The dreamer sent us the puppy flag OG. I'm gonna She's try and follow it. Yeah, same. I think I'm gonna chase after it. Javelin and. Is that wise? Around the corner, there's just like ten of those alpha wolves. Looking <laughs> 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 around the corner, oh, and they're just playing poker. Um, alpha wolf when the sigma wolf walks in. <laughs> right, yeah. 
Um, yeah, and it's just growling um, towards you guys as you. Does it look the same as the ones that are outside? It's a different coloration. Um, maybe you recognize it, Taylor. Oh. Um. I can't see why. Uh, maybe you should just stab it in the face. Maybe I should try and tame it this time instead of the the puppy killer with bee swarms. Well, you you and Flair are sort of like rushing up to onto her at the moment. Um, Wait a second. Divine sense. Uh, on, is it a fiend? Is it undead? <laughs> How? F is it a celestial? Where are you here? Um, I run up to the room. I run into the room. Can you ping it again for me, please? Oh, so the, the... Sorry. Yeah. One sec. So I thought you meant I ping me. 60 foot. Okay. Oh, are you on the distance on Divine Sense? Yeah, I think it's 60 feet. Uh, yeah, I can't see it in... Oh, you got D&D &D Beyond. It's easier. Is it? It's just in your features. I... Divine Sense. Uh, oh, yeah. More sorry, I didn't realize so that page existed. Yeah, so, yeah, features and then there's... Five feet. Oh no! So yeah, under within sixty feet, that isn't behind total cover. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, but yeah, you don't notice anything about the wolf. It just has different coloration. Um, it's designed after Otto from uh, Dark and Dark before. Oh. Uh, uh, so you could have could have stabbed it. Oh, I see That's where this should go. Girl. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the puppy is growling at you. Uh, you can make a animal handling check good one with an advantage, as if Lair is helping you. Yeah, I'll help him. Okay. I'll pick it up. Um, hang on. This, um... Can I cash here? Um, animal handling with advantage. Yep. Let's do it. Oh. oh. I mean, it's plus, plus something, right? Uh, well, plus seven, not plus five. Let's see. Let's do an insight. <laughs> Roll a natural one. Total negative three. You're wow. Good, You're good. It loves you. Wow. It, it, it's like, oh, it like kind of like growls at you. It's still unsure of you, but it like. It thinks I'm his dad. It thinks you're okay. You s kind of smell of its dad. Um, and I would say you kind of notice sort of along, like, it's got bigger jaw than the other puppies. Its coloration is different. Um, its ears are bigger. Mm. <clears throat> you smell like its dad because you're covered in its dad's blood. <laughs> it doesn't know that. Can I do insight, perhaps? Uh, what to what? I... Notice this isn't like the wolves nature. that I've hunted in the past. Okay, nature, nature then. Yeah. I will do a nature check. Okay. You. Oh, it's a negative one. Yeah. None luck. It kind of. Not on Earth? It's not that. Hard. It might be a cat. It has more. <laughs> <laughs> like 10, like 9 isn't the worst, but because. Okay. You can see similarities between it and the big wolf outside. Mm. More so than the puppies and everything else. Interesting. Um, Malachi, you're just instantly drawn straight towards the statue, and you look at the statue, and it looks familiar. It's a, a I, I try you've to seen in your dreams. I try to open my mind to the dreamer, let her guide. And figure you can see Malachi just sort of like being transfixed. By a statue, um, and you just walk forward, Malachi, and you notice, like, you blink, and then you have to step back because there is just this trap door at your feet. Looks completely clean, undirtied. Looks great. Um, <laughs> great. Is Theo, are you moving anywhere? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, no. <laughs> you hear a voice inside your head calling you inside. Me. Come on, Theo. Granddad? I'm wondering. 
say you weren't too far behind. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, you see sort of Figgle watching uh, Malachi, who's just stepped on, seems to be a trap door. Are you saying anything, doing anything, Figgle, to this? I wait for the most inappropriate time, and then I go, What is this place? Um, you can see symbols in around. Anyone who wants to can make a religion check for me. What about a history check? Um, I will allow a history check. Oh my god! 20, not 20. Hell yeah. Um, for you, um, actually, Fiddle, you can roll a history check and the DC will be slightly different and lower. Okay. Nope. Not I'm not lower. very historic. <laughs> Where is religion? Why can't I see it? Plus three, let's go. Efficient in history, but not enough. Mark, you didn't need to make the roll either, by the way. Oh, um, cool. You know where this place is. And Figgle, you look at some of the symbols and... Actually, wait. What did you roll, Fiddle? 13? 13. Yeah, actually, that is fine. Um, from your books, you recognize it. And actually, as well, for you, Figgle, it just snaps. Like, you shout, like, what is this place? And then you sort of, like, look up at the, the, fa uh, the this body... Uh, of this just statue and the symbols all across it. Um, you just recognize them instantaneously. However, however, maybe you just happen to look through one of the books that Fiddle had on his um, shelves. This is... Uh, this is the god, a minor god called Somnia, who is the god of dreams, chaos, and transformation. And this whole place is just plastered with uh, their, sim and, uh, their symbols and some tenants and stuff, but written in a language you can't understand. I don't think. Is that insomnia? No, somnia. Just somnia. Yeah, sorry, just take away the iron. Yep. I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you, sort of looking around, Fiddle, you recognize it as well, and it plump comes into it. Flare. You recognize it from some questions you've been asking recently, and like it's not like the god is an unknown, um, but it just takes you a moment to realize, Theo, you don't quite put two and two together. Howden, you do recognize this as a place of worship for Somnia, um, and it is just in a state of ruin, which seems kind of wrong for a god, but you do know Somnia and Figglebottom, you know this, and Flair, you know that this is a god of discord. Of mm. chaos, not always for the best intentions, but figure you know that just because a label is put on doesn't always mean it's bad. Yep. Good and bad is, you know, almost like a perception. Um, but yeah, there is just this trap door here. What are you guys doing? I think Can you open it? it? What, where is it? It's just no, in front of um, Malachi here. Someone needs to check Malachi's so fiendish behavior as well. <laughs> Malachi, can you open it? Oh, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. He was in range, so if, if of both of them. So if he's a fiend in, in secret, <laughs> I would have known. <laughs> Unless, no. And the grand reveal. <laughs> the big bad. Um. Right. Uh, what are you doing, Fiddle, and what are you doing, Flair? As there's just this loud amount of gasps and discussions about a god in this main temple um, and a trap door. I kind of want to look at these coffins. It seems like there's some mummies here. Is there anything interesting in these crypts? Uh, sure. Roll an investigation check for me. Cool. One sec. I can't see Flair. Is she in the, the room? She's in the room. Yeah, yeah let me just delete the uh, and add it back in. Might just be buggy. Oh, unlucky. Oh, it's because of... Um, it might just be out of sight. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, because yeah, I've got some walls in there. No, I'll just need to change it. Uh, what did Can you I? roll? <laughs> no, it seems like these have been looted already. No. I head into the other room. On the other side. Yep. Then I think right, I'll go seems. towards the trap door. Okay. As well. Yeah, you can just move. Uh, I it, cannot. Oh, the walls are in the way. One sec, let me remove them. 
Oh, yeah, I can get out of the way, maybe. Oh. No, it's just the Um, But yeah, in the other room, there's again some a set of coffins, shattered and broken and ripped open. Uh, what you would have found, kind of like looking through uh, Flair initially, is there are a couple of bodies in there, but they look very basic with very little on them. Um, mm. But there is um, coins on top of their eyes, which you would have found actually, but they're just copper, copper pieces. But you That's can fine, add I can leave them there. Want. Okay. <laughs> if you want to leave them there. <laughs> um, how long are you checking on the coffins, or what are you doing? Are they, did you say they were empty? Uh, you haven't done a roll yet. We're all in an investigation check. Please. Why can't I roll? Again, just copper pieces in the eyes. Um, one of the skulls is actually missing its head. Which is, uh, the one that is more exposed. Is his head like on the floor? No, just, you can't see anyone. Can't see. It. Okay. No. Um, and you know from your you. like you know from Beryl like that is a big no no in general just mm -hmm. from everything oh, yeah. and 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 from like Somnia's like viewpoint like losing the head like that's not good and being buried oh. with one is not something that would have happened. Right, with one, huh? But the, the last sentence would have been said. Um, it's a very weird situation. Like, the body wouldn't have been buried like that. Yeah, it's just a mistake. That... Yeah, it seems like this place has been looted. It seems very old. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it. Okay, so Malachi, are you trying to open the trap door? Um. Yeah. It doesn't appear to have a lock on it. Google bottom can I just like tries to it? push Malachi into it. What sorry? Jokingly. <laughs> what Google? Google bottom, like jokingly not joke like he does this, but <laughs> it's like in a playful way, pushes Malachi onto the trapdoor. Or tries to, I mean he is a ma ma low. make an athletics check and Malachi make an athletics check as well. I'll I'll go. Okay. I'll just stumble onto it. <laughs> then yeah, he stumbles forward as he go like bends down to open oh, it wow. and just like nice. stumbles onto it. Oh no. <laughs> this wolf pup, uh, Fido is just going to walk into the, start walking into this room. Yeah, I guess I'm following the wolf pup. <laughs> um, uh, and so, yeah, so Malachi, you've landed on it. <laughs> yeah. The, some, the son of a bitch has pushed you. Are you going to open it? Yeah, if I can. Okay. Um, you bend down and lift up this immaculate bronze handle and lift it up and there's just this creaking and then a whoosh, and there are just steps going down that lead to a door yeah i'll walk down the steps and just drop it behind me at the top yeah it, it, <laughs> it stays it stays open <laughs> well while he's keep going. walking down they there, would follow for any dodgy pure behavior. inquisitive nature would just follow to see what's down there uh, what are you saying, uh, in, uh, Fiddle? Um, while they're doing all of that, can I investigate this wolf for some weird, dodgy <laughs> inside check. stuff? Okay. He's your friend. Uh, yeah, he is. But is like, it male or female? Yeah, inside, that's what normal. he's checking. He's checking now. He oh my god! <laughs> oh shit! You, you start like, looking it over, and you just see it has uh, like a small deck. There you go. Um, it's, okay, it's I'm gonna male. walk over this side. Follows you. Oh shit! Rest yeah. in peace. Imprinted. Um, what is everyone else doing here? As I, I would. I think I'm also going to follow. Yeah. You all going down? Sure. With the okay. dog by my side. Of course. So you all start to make your way down these steps, and there's a door at the end where Malachi is standing as he waits for you, I will say. Um, puts his hand on the, the door and just pushes. And as he does so, just a rolling of fog comes spilling out. Do you continue forward? Always. Yeah. I think I would probably try and get to the front of the group. Okay. I, I think I'll cautiously stand near the entrance. Theo wouldn't stop him. He would let him go past. Um, okay, yeah, so you'd let um, Hound go first. 
and you're standing near the entrance of the doors. So you walk in, and there is just a layer of fog swirling up around. And in the center of the room, uh, this room that has just a light emanating from the ceiling beneath the statue is just a giant bowl. Nonsense. Don't we not see much because of the fog? Let me. Can, can I? Yeah. I'll, I'll use my last divine sense. Sure, go for it. Uh, you, within 60 feet, the bowl is just bright, divine. Oh, good, like, good light. Okay. Yeah. Oh. God, good and bad. Yeah. Yeah, God. Is the fog obscuring anything? Or no, it's just it is. Fog. You can still see it. It's like rolling along the floor and it's coming out of the bowl and it's just tipping over the edges and pouring through. You guys are, yeah, about like 50 feet away from it at the moment um, in this room. I'm just gonna keep on scene. walking towards You haven't it. given us tokens that are Oh, you can't see anything? Sorry, let no. me fix that. I can so see the gray squares. The bowl. No. Oh, can you not? Oh, I, well, can, yeah, I can see the bowl. Pure gray for me. Refresh. Sorry. Yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't break it. It may do. Yeah, I'll just keep on walking forward towards it. Okay. Um, if you like, you can just watch the stream. Um, yeah. Trying to keep my mind open. Yeah, I don't think it's working. Trying okay, to just dreamer. click on the yeah, stream. Yeah, just change the stream. Yeah, just change the stream because we're not going to be doing any more combat right now. Um, potentially, we'll see. Um, all right. And it went dust top. I need to go to bed. Well, I can add first. <laughs> Beneath the watchful gaze of Somnia's statue in the this ruined temple, the party discovers this immaculate trap door. Despite its pristine appearance, to door, you know, is in a very old place. And uh, Malika is just able to just easily open it, swinging it forward, going down these stairs, followed by the rest of the party, Howden pushing forward, looking to try and be at the front this time. Descending into this darkness, and then the fog rolling out of this door as he opens it, you find yourself in this vast stone chamber, and at the heart lies this mysterious bowl, an ethereal masterpiece adorned with runes that shimmer in the soft glow. As the adventurers approach, the fog billows out from the bowl, creating a very otherworldly spectacle. You notice pieces of skeletons just scattered around the room. What do you do here? Um, did the dog follow us? Yep. I want to team it some more to help us. <laughs> Um, do you roll another one? Yeah, roll the what? What, sorry? Roll the what, sorry? Animal handling, yeah? Yeah. Um, but how do, um, Malachi, you can hear just the, the voice in your head. It's like, good. Good luck. Uh, Surely this dog absolutely loves me and would never hurt me, right? It's going to take a lot more than that. Um, but it's, I mean, it's following you. It's, there's like, it doesn't, it just like looks at you inquisitively as you like try and like, what are you trying to tell it to do? I'm not trying to tell it to do, I'm just trying to win its loyalty. Cool. Yeah, so you, you spend some time like as you're walking down through and like trying to reassure it and stuff, which it's very confused by, um, but seems to be reacting decently well to it staying by you at this point as you're now at the bottom of the steps. And uh, is everyone stepping inside the room? Mm -hmm. yes. I think I'm still near the entrance. Like, just <laughs> keeping watch. <laughs> I'm not sure yeah. about this. The Discord temple kind of caught me off guard. Yeah. yeah. And there was a voice inside your head. Well, you killed your nightmare. Let's see what you can dream. What's in the bowl? Are you walking up to the bowl? Oh, yeah. I'll walk up to the bowl, sure. Cool. What's you what's walk up to it, crunching of bones underfoot every so often. And there's... Just endless fog within it. A but this this fog is very sort of silver like in essence. Um I'm trying to think of what I could But it's, it's fog, right? Yeah. I can um, destroy fog, no? You can certainly try. Um but as you approach, what languages do you speak? Who who everyone who's who's approaching, what languages do you speak? I can speak uh, common elvish. I speak also common elvish and halfling. <laughs> Where can I see that? But it was it was like in Celestial attributes, bottom left. 
Um, okay, does any okay, so you speak celestial, perfect. And primordial, yeah. Okay, yeah, so I you... speak uh I think I speak infernal and primordial and oh. elvish. Oh, some crossovers here. Alright, so um, it... draconic. Yeah. So most of you look at the symbols tracing around them, they don't tend to make too much sense. Um and Flair, you still staying outside the door? I mean, at this point, I'm like, all right, doesn't seem like anything too bad's happening. So I make my way down, sure. <laughs> yeah, you make your way past the door and the door just slams shut. Oh no! Oh dear. <laughs> what the hell? And the fog starts spreading out as... Do you read this out loud, Fiddle? I read it to myself first. Okay. And f see what it means. It says... Grant one wish, united in purpose. And that's it. Hmm. Okay, well then, I would read it out loud. Be like, well, gang, what do you think <laughs> this means? Can we wish for the dog to be ours? As you say, <laughs> say those words. No. <laughs> Huh? Say, the dog say transforms that. into a demon. <laughs> <laughs> you hear this booming voice resonating through, just seemingly coming from multiple areas, which, if it was whispers, it'd be creepy, but this one is just commanding, and it just resonates and bounces around. And essentially, you have come across the wishing bowl of Somnia. If you are true, you may use it, but each person must sacrifice part of their dream essence to take part. If you do, you must become, you must come to a unified decision on one wish to be used. Can we speak to this voice? Not finished yet. It's just very slow. Commanded. You must designate one person to speak the wish. And the wish can take no longer than six seconds to speak. And the words must be specific. You have ten minutes to come to this decision. Otherwise? Just no response. Okay. <laughs> Let's Lovely. wish for world peace! No, no. Um, no and so, what do you mean? You all have a use of the spell wish as a party. Wow. Great. Oh my god. <laughs> we have to agree on the wish. I really think the one we could all agree on is the dog. It's just taming. No, him. fuck the dog. Oh this is a fucking you the the wish spell. This is a goddamn wish spell. Fuck the dog. <laughs> I mean, okay. That's killing. a dire wolf, baby, surely, right? That's that's fuck the mind. dog. The dog is absolutely meaningless <laughs> on this scale. <laughs> what if we okay. wish for the, the wolves to stop attacking? Yeah, the yeah. see, that's the go to. to but that's too small. If we wish we don't, we that's too everything. small. I agree, that's too small. We go that, you gotta think of something big, right? Like the world turns world into candy peace. or something. <laughs> there's, isn't there like a, there's a financial value that you can go up to, right? What's we the essence we're we losing? Wish, yeah. we so the the, the normal the normal normal limit for this is extended, um, and you have no specifics. Your characters have no specifics of understanding just that you can yeah. make a wish. We wish for world wish peace. peace. Well, I think Theo that will probably wish for a peaceful and prosperous yes! life to Thistledale. Yeah, that's a bit okay. <laughs> it's a bit, it's I think a it's a bit too specific. specific. I, mean, I, I don't uh, think that's specific enough. Well, see, Thank all I'm thinking is, you know, you got to think in the grand scheme of things when it comes to things like this, that's right? Fair. If you say, oh, I want world peace, well, that's fine and we'll get um, world peace, but then some if? other world will get destroyed. Just to mention, you actually have in world, in like IRL, 10 minutes to make this decision. <laughs> yeah. I suppose we can't okay. wish for more wishes. My, my point is, if, if we say something generic like prosperity for the village, that could mean the GDP of the village goes up because one person 
gets very rich. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, neither, neither <laughs> does Hal. Uh, the, uh, General uh, dairy production. That sounds yeah, like yeah. a great thing. We should just get that going up higher. Yeah, that sounds grain, that grain sounds dairy, perfect. and uh, fish yeah, oh, great, we wish great for dairy. We wish Can I ask you a question? <laughs> Can I ask you a question, Tom? Uh, could we, you know, wish upon levels, perhaps? Is this is a wish spell. Yeah. Okay, oh you, so... we can also we can also undo things that happened in the past with the wish. I think, or we can make ourselves level ten. <laughs> <laughs> or session. we could bring every villager back to life. Oh, who cares about the uh, Well, you know, weighing I'm it up. Howard. We could bring Howard. back Elsie. Fair. The dreamer brought me here to Yeah, would you feel witch. bad enough about your accidental murder that you would want to wish her back to life? No. No, <laughs> no, I didn't think so. Let's either. wish for powerful weapons and save the world! <laughs> no, we wish to protect the village. That's why we're here. I think we, we bring That's the villagers that died back to life. That would be mine. But I don't think. Are we like, ever going to agree on this? Like, no, what do you want, thing. brother? You have. <laughs> you you stopped us. You have no. You have we, eight minutes. I'm being generous. Oh my god, if we, guys! If we decide to bring the villagers back to life, then the village is still just going to be under siege from these wolves. They're not going to have any wolves. better life than they did. We haven't killed we have every wolf in the world. Long term. Well, then we if keep we, killing wolves. If we become level ten, we can then pre prevent <laughs> <laughs> any trouble anywhere. Like we can save the village, we can save future villages. It's all that in the grand true. scale. And then we miss nine levels of campaigning. <laughs> we can do that Who anyway. knows? Maybe a level ten can resurrect villages. Who knows? <laughs> if we wish for the protection of the village, then we don't need to be level tens because the village will be safe always. Yes. yes it it's will. not specific. And then we can go. <laughs> <laughs> That's not specific what, enough. What do we do? Wish, if we... wish for a spirit to protect the village in the town or something like that. But that doesn't some bring kind of to magical stave, some kind of magical force field around the village. It's, if you so will. doesn't bring back all the people that died. Yeah, well, they're already dead, so fuck them. That's what I say. <laughs> Real you know, dead the the coming through. <laughs> yeah, they didn't survive the fucking wolf purge. I'm not sure they deserve to keep living in this perfect village that we're creating. I, I mean, they all died with the, the mushroom uh, purge. Not how the about wolf. this? If you, re if you wish for all of them to be brought back, then we'll have thousands and thousands of dead villagers resurrected from corpses and ash. No, the ones that died today. Only today. Makes sense Why special. not yesterday? Why not two years ago? Why not ten years ago? Okay, hear me out. New idea. We wish Seven for minutes. a small fragment of this, like, well, basically, to take with us on our adventures, and we can make tiny wishes all the time. Surely. I don't think it works like <laughs> no. that. You don't know. <laughs> Good. No, that's not how the dreamer works. No, I think you get an opportunity like this once in a in a lifetime. We, we just to like perma buff ourselves, but like right make ourselves we perma buff ourselves, honestly. That's, that's six minutes. Because we could like give ourselves a resistance. If, if anything, we can agree on that, and then if no. we can agree on anything I else. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I won't lie. So how should we phrase this? Be quite Not passionate happy about, about it. Bringing back the people that die. Go on, yeah. How would we I'm... phrase it though? What's specific enough? No, what? For which? I want to hear from the group that aren't convinced by the level levels up. Okay. You, you well, I don't want to be unified level up. in the decision. Yeah. I don't want to level up. Yeah. Purely, purely because I want to. I want to. The lower levels are the do like, that. better yeah, levels. The most no, fun. no, yeah. yeah, for sure. It doesn't. Um, I'm not I talking like game wish. specific. Like, give us XP from and, the witch. And also, but as players, you make unaware. us stronger. Yeah, you're Could unaware of XP. Exactly. Exactly. You're unaware yeah, exactly. of XP slash levels as players. Yeah. So Especially make us stronger. Have to make us, level three yeah. We wish we were strong enough to defend the village. Mm -hmm. And then that could be anything yeah. from yeah. magical yeah, that items just... to XP to fucking whatever. Or it turns us 20 feet tall and, and makes us strong, literally sure. strong. Or it just leaves you as you are. Even we could say, yeah, like, says, yeah, you're strong enough I would like to have 10 years worth of experience fighting monsters, <laughs> right? <laughs> Then, physically, I Man really wants to hear a video game this. I think, I think it's, a <laughs> it's a very particular situation. I think we should wish for the 
ability to protect our village. Okay, I agree. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. I think we're not we proving today that we already are capable of protecting the village. Well, well, there there, might, be, there no, might be 50 not. wolves next time. Can you fight 50 wolves? Maybe no matter what, we can and say that. Did, wish did it say we have to wish the village to protect itself? What? Mm. But are we wish not the village protecting village. itself? Is that not what yes. we've just done? Fiddle's just talking! Uh, Tiddle, Go on. Uh, Fiddle, what are you saying? Um, did we, he did forgot! We, did it say we have to wish? We, no, did, for didn't real. say we, we have to. No, she didn't no, specify. Yeah, we minutes. really should. And there's a bunch of scares and bodies around you. Okay, guys, yeah, let's I really think, think about this first. hard. Let's save the village and give ourselves the power to do that, no matter what. We're gonna end up killing ourselves. What if these people? They only died because they wish for bad things. Can I perceive how the skeletons died? Um... I feel like they're gonna rise from the dead. If anything. I would have known. Because <laughs> I used the vines since I walked in. Uh, so so you said, sorry, yeah. you said, um, you want to do what, Taylor? Can I, like, see how the villagers died in some type uh, of roll a, villages? <laughs> roll a medicine check for me. Just send you a message to on Discord. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go. Um, there's no obvious ways on most of the bodies but on one you do you see there is like a knife mark on some mm. of the bones and actually you know multiple of the bones have like different dents and stuff in them but there's no obvious <laughs> way do you see the knife there's no weapons in here it's just guys weapons. i think i solved it i think the other groups killed the other members but are they, are they, they, the wish. Are they obviously you villagers uh, Malachi, you can make a religion check if you want. Yeah. And then, yeah, uh, yeah religion. For now, I'm they... going to think about the semantics for the villager question, just in case we run out of time. I'll take 18. Um, you've been led here. You've been given a reason to doubt. From your current level of understanding. But if we go the resurrection route, it would be resurrect every villager that died today, defending or trying to defend the village. I think it's like a G. <clears throat> Whatever you say is going to come back. And yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, Which is why I don't want it. <laughs> yeah. The best genie wish is to not make a wish. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, really? I don't know about there that. There are a lot of, like. I wish we were strong enough to defend the village. There's nothing specific thought, enough. So the problem really with that question is, is if, like, if we're already strong enough, we gain nothing. Yeah. If you, if okay, you guys so... want help on potentials, then I. Can... All right. Well, then you just phrase it differently. But we could also. I wish we just... were stronger. I, I think so that I we have a, a good phrasing. Village, because so... then you skip, the, you bypass that bullshit about... of you're already strong enough. Hold on. Here, listen up. Listen up. Yeah, yeah. All right. We have no. one minute. Listen up. Give us each a power to keep the village safe no matter what kind of danger we may face. Straight up. That sounds okay. Okay, are you guys ready? Uh, you. We have one minute. Yeah. This is gonna go terribly. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> fuck it, juice me up, daddy. Alright, <laughs> who's, <laughs> who's gonna do it? Who's gonna do it? Could we specify that? I have it here. Go on. Let us choose. <laughs> okay. Let us choose the power. Can you send it to me as well? Um. Yes. What is let us choose a power. Should I say let, let us choose, choose a, power? a power? Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll change it. Let us choose. Because then, it, it, to then it gives us more agency about what it does to yeah. us. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, this is really, sure. I think, really well phrased. I'll send this yeah. over to you, Tom. Like, for example, you might choose wait uh, permanent resistance. <laughs> really this is well gonna, phrased. You'll find a way. <laughs> you no, were greedy and you all will be <laughs> smited. You will turn into cats. Your power is to turn into a cat. That's why we say choose, because. If, if that's we the said option, resurrect, then we could. So is that all you're going to say? Let's talk about adding something else onto it there. Here, I can even put it in the chat if you guys want to put it in the Yeah, go on, on phrase the wish then. But I think this is, if we don't have time, this is what we should do. One sec, SOT chat. There's no I time! Do do time. <laughs> yeah, we don't have time. Well, let's choose a power to keep the village safe, no matter what it can. That lets us keep the village safe, maybe? I was, uh, all I just said is let us each. 
Yeah, that's yeah. Let, Let us each, each. yeah. Choose Sorry. Let us each choose a power to. Okay. You need to. Okay. I'm going to do it. That's the way. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm wishing. Are you all happy with Flair saying this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Let us each choose a power to keep the village safe no matter what kind of danger we may face. It's happened. Okay. Uh -oh. Cool. Um, there is a. The, the booming voice returns after this collective agreement is made and the wish is uttered. Resonated with the resonate, it resonated with the unity forged amongst the party after back and forth. The air crackles with energy as the room pulses with bright celestial level light. The fog, now imbued with a spectral luminosity, swirls and dances around with newfound vitality. As the fog rises, it wraps each one of you up in a cocoon of smoke. And then there is just a loud bang and a flash. And that's where we'll end uh, the session. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Fuck. Awesome. <laughs> you didn't say everything they, what they, were, they had said, so we'll see where this fucking ends up. Yeah. All right. This will that's be exciting. Good, <laughs> good, good session, man. Enjoyed it. Oh, I'm glad we God. came to a conclusion of some sort, at least. I think it was a good wish. I think we could have fucked that wish a lot harder. More yeah, I could have. <laughs> Could have been a lot worse. Could have All been right. Worse. I was, I was, I was very much thinking if we said something like that. strength, then it would literally just make us giants. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> so, like that. <laughs> the, you, you got a little bit more specific with the undead thing, because if you hadn't, just hundreds of undead were going to be rising. <laughs> like, oh my yeah, god. Well, that's why I said today. I specifically said today. because. Yeah, I know that you, you fixed yeah. it, but originally it was like, and I was like, oh boy. <laughs> You'd have also had to specify, Even if like, you'd have fucking said though, with I hope answers. all of the un I hope all of the villagers. I wish all of the villagers that had died today would be re like reborn yeah. or return to life or whatever. They'd have just been fucking zombies. Yep. Or you'd have been fucked mm. either way. Yeah. Yep. And and uh, if you hadn't specified which village as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. yeah every a, village ever across the world that died um, today. Yeah. We did say to keep the village safe. I oh, wonder yeah. if that's, like, acceptable. Oh, that's a very good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you've written there is very specific, and I mm. now have time to figure out, pick it apart, cool. and pick it apart, and put it together, <laughs> and see okay. what is going to happen. We did it, guys. All yeah, everyone, I, I yeah. would say it's actually fairly well written with all things considered. It could have been Thank on Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah. You I'm glad you said let us, because like that's a good one, yeah. is to allow us to choose. Yeah. But you didn't, you didn't. Oh, you said. Oh no, you did. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, we yeah. said. Let us yeah. each choose. Let us each choose. Yeah, something that will allow yeah, us. I think. To I think the choose was an important addition. The, to the, the village, that, though. Yeah. I think that's our non-specific. Also, the the version the that village. I sent wasn't the updated one. There is an each in there, so I'll just send the updated version that yeah. I said. I, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll double check to make sure you said. Yeah, on stream. Um, but yeah. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I'm so glad we pushed all the way here. I know it's mm, half same. three in the morning, but I think it was worth it. it uh, to be able to get to that <laughs> point. Because just going into another session, just for you guys to finish that fight and then um, get to do a wish, like it would have been cool, but it would not have been as sick as this. I'm so happy there was yeah. that reaction. You guys were just chaotic. Uh, I love it. Yay. Yeah. But, awesome. Yeah, you were good. You, you enjoy it. That's you that was such a fun time. Yeah. Good job, Tom. Yeah, that was awesome. a really good one. Yeah, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can, I can already see a floor in that wish, by the way. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. What, yeah, what, yeah. what do you think the floor is? No, oh, shut the oh, fuck up. Yeah, you tell it. Don't tell it. Don't fucking tell it. Shut up. I didn't really like this one. Two days. That was pretty good, honestly. Oh, man. Like, multiple encounters, getting the images, doing the map, doing a bunch of writing, had a bunch of other stuff. I was up until 5 a.m. yesterday or half or doing a play test or something else and yeah. i was on a podcast earlier like it's been nuts um but yeah Congrats, absolutely worth it i love it does everyone want to continue on oh yes. hell yeah yes yeah yes. that's a yeah show. that's uh, very cool. <laughs> awesome all right okay well we'll leave it there for the stream i'm gonna cut that off um and we'll hang out for a few minutes um or whatever but thank you very much for everyone for watching who has hung all the way through uh rowan welcome thank you very much for being here and watching throughout a lot of it um but yeah we'll see you soon um maybe in a couple of weeks i will post it about it on twitter uh, we will see you guys very shortly i did not make a proper end of the stream i think so i will do <laughs>
<laughs> Just all of us yeah. screaming bye. Yeah. Bye. bye.